account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish, making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always making improvements to give you a better shopping experience. We've recently upgraded our website to make it more user-friendly and easier to navigate around. We now have the Guest Checkout function, which allows customers to check out quickly without creating an account. Our homepage now informs you with what's currently live on the show, recently aired items, and today's deal of the day. We've improved our website navigation and added new categories to help customers quickly find the products they want. Our online range is growing fast with over 7,000 products available for you to purchase. And don't miss out on hundreds of brand new clearance lines with more added every week. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always making improvements to give you a better shopping experience. We've recently upgraded our website to make it more user-friendly and easier to navigate around. We now have the Guest Checkout function, which allows customers to check out quickly without creating an account. Our homepage now informs you with what's currently live on the show, recently aired items, and today's deal of the day. We've improved our website navigation and added new categories to help customers quickly find the products they want. Our online range is growing fast with over 7,000 products available for you to purchase. And don't miss out on hundreds of brand new clearance lines with more added every week. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Buying with Jewelry Maker online couldn't be easier. Just head over to our website, jewelrymaker.com, and click on the register link. Simply fill in the required fields and you can shop 24-7. You'll also be privy to a faster checkout and personalised offers. Jewelry Maker, your one-stop shop for all your jewelry making needs. Did you know, no matter how many times you purchase with Jewelry Maker in the same day, you'll only be charged one fee of postage and packaging. Select our standard delivery for just $3.95, or if you'd like to receive your goods sooner, upgrade to our premium option for $5.95. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page in a community of over 65,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. The Jewelry Maker phone is free from a UK landline, so call us today to place your order. Good afternoon, welcome to Jewelry Maker. If you have just tuned in, I'm Hannah Stewart. I'll be here until six o'clock this afternoon. In an hour's time, we'll be joined by the lovely Alison Terry. She is here and she's got some amazing jewelry. She's done extra homework, actually, as well today. Uh, she's worked out some prices, hasn't she, for the trade show, as in what her cost price is, what she's going to sell them for. Like, she's got a whole spreadsheet. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, Alison will be here at two o'clock with some incredible, incredible kits for you today. I've got storage. It's all about the storage for you today. Um, in the first hour, I've got lots of um, different uh, storage. The, the Wham ones, which the colourful brand is amazing, isn't it? So uh, the Wham coming up for you in the first hour. Three o'clock this afternoon, I've got loads of your Deflecto storage coming up for you as well. Your deal of the day today is amazing. You know me, stacking and racking. I had to put them straight on. These are beautiful. You're going to get a selection of gemstones. As your dealer today, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten strands of gemstones. <sighs> That's coming at view at five o'clock. Incredible, incredible treats. I've got blue sapphire cubes coming up for you a, late, uh, a little bit later on as well. And let, 
let's have a look at these amethysts. They're amazing. Oh, two fantastic strands. Now, it has been very, very busy uh, this morning here at Jewelry Maker. If you do want to get interactive with us, 60777, start a message with the word JM Studio. If you want to let us know what you're up to, um, if you want to let us know what deals you've managed to get this morning so far, they've been amazing, they really have, incredible. And the trade show, um, it is all about um, the craft fairs that you might have coming up, so storage solutions, display, which I understand you've had this morning as well. Let us know if you've got any craft fairs coming up and you're planning for them with your makes as well. There's so many treats today, I could spend the whole first hour just showing you. Brand new, oh this. Look at this! Oh, this is ginormous. One huge aquamarine. Look at the size of this. Oh, this is 180 carats in a single gemstone. Oh, look at that. This is amazing. It's brand new, but it's limited edition. We've only got 45. The price of this is phenomenal. They will fly out the door. That's great for display, because obviously we're in the trade show, and, and things like this, I don't always tend to think straight away, jewellery. Um, if you're selling a ring, perhaps, I know Alison's got a beautiful Amazonite ring. Um, I'm not sure if it's coming up today, but I know she dropped it on the floor. The Amazonite ring of Alison's that she made earlier on. Anyway, if, you, if you're preparing for your trade show, um, perhaps if you just want to pop a ring on there for display purposes, or take in photographs as well. So you could place your jewellery on there, take a photograph. Do you know what? A little tea light candle would be lovely on there as well. Just at home, if you love your gemstones. It's fab, that. And when Alison gets here, we're going to give her this multicolour agate, double drilled strand. Look at all of these. These are amazing. Very, very colourful. So Alison's going to get to work with these. She's going to be very busy this afternoon, isn't she? Look at those. Lovely size as well. So those are coming up for you a little bit later on as well. Oh my gosh, so much to squeeze in for you. Let's start. Hmm. Becky's just making a mind up. Um, have a look at these amethyst. Absolute must. Look at the colour of these. So, so intense. Now amethyst is probably the most popular gemstone here at Jewelry Maker, particularly for new viewers, but also for regulars as well. And, do you know, it's simply because we're very familiar with this gemstone. You see that incredible intense purple hue and you instantly know that you've got amethyst there. It's beautiful. And you know what? This is natural. Now, this is the Brazilian parcel that everybody's been talking about lately here at Jewelry Maker. We've always told you that Zambian is cream as a crop, and do you know what? It's fair to say that it is. However, there is a new parcel of Brazilian amethyst that we've managed to get our hands on that is on par with the, the beautiful Zambian amethyst hues, and this is that parcel. That is, it's almost ultraviolet. They are so purple. 6 by 9 to 8 by 12 millimetres in size. And you've got a 38 centimetre strand. There's 120 carats in total. The size of these, I love them. They'd be perfect for rings, wouldn't they? Ideal for very organic design. So perhaps if you're using... Uh, something like your champagne gold wire or your silver or in fact any colour that you want to with these just a simple wire wrap around them you've got the great size on the drill hole there as well so your wire will go through them no problem at all just something really organic it would look amazing wouldn't it dvgp 80 five pounds and 95 pence I think it's time to open up your order if you haven't done so already. The way that you can do that is either by dialing 0800 644 655 or you can join us on the website at www.jewelrymaker.com or alternatively you can tap the app as well. Either which way you're buying, you can shop as many times as you like today one postage, just three pounds and 95 pence. Uh, Janice in London uh, says, what time is the large aquamar... Ah, uh, three o'clock? No, 2.30. 2.30. Look at this, Janice. <gasps> this is amazing. I love this. Now, 45, it's not going to be anywhere near enough, is it? 
We've only got 45 of these. Brand new and the price point is ridiculously low. Ridiculously low. Amazing. Not long to wait for that one. Uh, do get checking out for your amethyst. 0800 644 655. Remember, you can multi-buy as well. So if you know that you're going to be using these to make rings and maybe you've got craft fair coming up, but you need to fill that craft store. So perhaps you haven't quite got enough on your craft store yet or for your craft store yet, then perhaps multi-buy for them. Do you know what? It's natural amethyst. It will always sell. And it's just £6. Less than. Jump rings. Absolute essentials these are. Um, now jump rings, before I worked here at Jewelry Maker, I didn't really have a clue what a jump ring was, if I'm honest. <laughs> didn't have a clue. Um, but if you look at jewellery that perhaps you've already got in your stash, particularly bracelets and necklace designs, it is a piece that finishes off, that completes your design. So it will be placed at the end of a necklace or a bracelet design and it's a connector that will connect to your clasp. So it gives your clasp something to attach to there. Um, so they're absolute essentials. You don't have to have 925 solid sterling silver. That said, I think all genuine gemstones deserve 925 sterling silver. And for lots of you, you do commissions as well. Um, so if somebody is asking you specifically for 925 sterling silver, you need to make sure that all of those components are indeed 925. So the inner diameter on these is 5 millimetres, which means the outer diameter on them is 7 millimetres in size. So the industry standard is the inner diameter. So if you're doing something like chain mail, whenever you look at weaves online, it will always give you the inner diameter of the jump rings needed. These ones, I think you can pretty much do all of your Japanese weaves with these if it is chain mail that you're doing. And there's 50 of them. So that is a lot of 925 sterling silver. Seven and a half grams in total you've got there. It could be that you're just simply making... I don't know, Mobius rings to go on a shepherd's hook. So that is just simply linking three jump rings together to give you a really delicate design. Something very, very beautiful. Something quite simple, actually, and understated. So you could do something like that. You could even just literally link them one in one and make yourself a chain if you wanted to. Um, get them home and, and have a play. If it's not just the, the, the basics that you're using them for, then perhaps have a go at chain mail. YHRF79, £9.95. Amazing. 9.95. Amazing price point for you this afternoon. 0800 644 655. They are an essential in your stash. I would get them today while you can. You can guarantee that when you need them, we don't have them on air for you. Check out this price. Amazing. Collect it in West Midlands. You've got two. Tracy in London. Well done. Liz in Surrey. You've got two. Irene's there. Vivian. Tracy. Collector in the Channel Islands. Collector in Warwickshire, Collector in Suffolk, amazing, well done to you, 0800 644 Um Susan Glossier says, Hannah, stop teasing us with a large aquarine, it's gorgeous, I can't wait. <laughs> oh, do you know, Susan, Susan, if you do want it, honestly, 45, how, why have we only got 45? I mean, with a price point like what I'm seeing on my sheet, You'd think, I don't know, that's what I'm assuming, maybe we, we would have been, obviously not. That's amazing. 45 is all we have. 230, not to be missed, Susan. Honestly, you won't to see that price. It's ridiculous. Um, if you do want to get interactive, 60777, strike message with the word JM Studio. Righty ho. Um, sorry, Beck. What should it be? Oh, I've got it. I've got it. <gasps> Look at this. Oh, oh, this matches my skirt. Look at this. That's my reason. That's my reason to come in this afternoon. That's a perfect round that you've got there. Seven to eight millimetres in size single piece that is utter perfection that pearl do you know what i love the color that you've got here natural in its color so basically the color of a pearl will depend on the shell um, in which the, the pearl comes from that's what, what, what will kind of distinguish the color that you're getting this one it's like it is a lavender but do you know what it looks quite bronzy as well it's quite bronzy and quite golden i love that 
bridal. If you are somebody that is making for a bride or specializes in bridal, you've got to get this, you know. This is perfect for mum of the bride or mum of the bridegroom. Now, I'll just show you the drill hole in this. That is a pretty perfect drill hole you've got there, you know. You know, because sometimes with, with pearls, sometimes they need reaming. So sometimes they will be drilled, but the drill hole may get full of dust, if you like. So sometimes we do have to ream them um, ourselves. With shell and something like the Swarovski pearls, you get that really kind of clean drill hole. That's what you've got on this. This is fab. And you know what? All you've got to do is either pop it onto one of our half-drilled pendant bales. If you haven't got those, don't worry. You could probably get, I reckon, a 0.8... Um, millimeter gauge wire in there just create yourself a loop on the top allow it 24 hours drying time once you've glued it and then you can attach that to a shepherd's hook for earrings you could just have that on a pendant how beautiful would that look on a pendant that's around Helen in Cambridge straight in you've got three earrings and the pendant I'm thinking seven pounds and 95 pence UA GP 53 remember this is around and do you know what looking at the skin of this pearl I cannot see any imperfections at all with this particular pearl I can't promise that there won't be any rippling or any natural markings on your pearl but multi buy if you can if your budget will allow you to please feel free to do so now remember that your order stays open until midnight tonight so that gives you until midnight to add to your order if you want to to adjust your order so maybe if you only check out one now and then you get to I don't know five o'clock this evening you think do you know what I wish I'd have got five of those come back in add them to your order love that one I do have it, I'll just get this out for you. So, silver plated base metal findings pack you've got here. Um, if you are brand new to us here at Jewelry Maker, with your very first purchase, you will get two genuine gemstone strands and the Getting Started DVD free of charge. There is no minimum spend requirement. No minimum spend requirement for you to qualify for those. Now, this is a great auction to come in for because you will need them and you will use them at some point. Even as a regular here at Jewelry Maker, we always have to buy these essentials because to make bracelets, to make necklaces, to make any of our earrings, we need them. We absolutely need them. That's why they are called essential finders. So you've got 21 pieces in total. You've got a 50 centimeter length of chain there. So you could be making bracelets or a necklace with that. You've got two pairs of shepherd's hooks. You've got four of your head pins, standard size head pins five of your five millimeter jump rings, four of your crimps, and two of your toggle fastenings there as well. So you could really make two bracelets, two necklaces with this, or big you couldn't make one necklace, two necklaces, sorry, you could make one necklace and a bracelet with this if you wanted to. You could make tassel style earrings by using the chain and the jump ring and the shepherd's hooks if you wanted to. You've got your head pins to pop gemstones onto there as well. It's a great starting point. You will always use them. So come in and multi-buy as a regular. If you are brand new, just to get your two free Genuine Gemstone Strands and you're getting started DVD, come in and get these today. NGAZ53. So actually, if you get this findings pack home and you get your two free Genuine Gemstone Strands, you can, you'll be well on your way to making jewellery. You see... Now, is that not a fantastic price point to try us out? Two ninety five. That is amazing. Oh eight hundred six triple four six double five. I do talk about sterling silver a lot of the time because I love to use a precious metal. But do you know what? Having that base metal means that you've got items that cover every budget so you'll have something for everyone if you want to make something more affordable then use your base metal findings and they are just two pounds and 95 pence for you this afternoon 0800 644 655 or on the web at jewelrymaker.com lots and lots of you are multi-buying this afternoon a massive massive well done taking advantage of these incredible prices throughout your trade weekend tracy in greater london's got two vera you've got two congratulations moira you've just checked out michelle in dorset's got three uh, Lindy, you've just got two. Collect it in Gloucestershire, you've just got two as well. Pretty much every person that's checked out so far, multi-buying. That's the way to do it, isn't it? Amazing. Righty ho. Uh, remember to get interactive today. It's the weekend. Yay! Six zero triple seven. Start message with the word JM Studio. Let us know what you're up to. <gasps> Nuggets. Oh, now look at. 
the shine on these. These are very, very lustrous. Really, really pretty. Now, chips and nuggets are great for creating texture in any of your designs. So it might be that you are um, just using them in with wire work to add that attention to detail and add that texture somewhere. We can macrame with them, we can kumihimo with them, we can simply pop them onto memory wire if you want to as well. So just pop them onto a memory wire bracelet. They look fabulous, they really, really do. However, do you know what? Black gemstones, white gemstones and clear gemstones, for me are gemstone essentials in your stash. You will always use them and you will always be able to put them with everything. So, you know, I could take any strand, any, in fact, I could take any strand, I could take any finding, any thread, anything from the show today and these would work with them very very easily i love the, the nugget strands as well because they work so well because you've got such a long strand which is normally about 85 centimeters our standard strands are 38 centimeters in length so you're really getting two strands in one but what you can do with them is literally just pop them over the head have that as an over the head necklace if you want to if you decided to put a clasp and a jump ring in there you could make that interchangeable so you could wrap it around the wrist as many times as it will go and just fasten that clasp so you'd have that that stacked up look um, you could wrap that around the ankle if you've not had your holidays yet Rebecca um, if you're going on your holidays and you wanted an anklet that would make a great anklet design or you could just tie a knot in it as a necklace you could layer it up as a necklace design four pounds and 95 pence for 245 carats of genuine spinel again great one if you're brand new to us here at jewelry maker purely because you don't want to be spending 20 pounds if you're just trying us out you do want to be spending as little as you possibly can with that no minimum spend requirement you could come in for this and still get your two free genuine gemstone strands hivx76 is your code for this one wow four pounds and 95 pence well done right emerald tumbles look at this these are huge ninety five carats of genuine emerald genuine natural emerald now uh, do you know what again speaking about having budgets for everyone obviously there are varying qualities of emerald out there and there's lots of different locations so we can get our emeralds from Zambia, we can get emeralds from Colombia, we also get emeralds from Brazil, which is where this particular parcel is from. Now what you do tend to get with Brazilian emerald are the deeper, darker tones, those rich forest green hues. It is, I think it's fair to say, some of the most affordable emerald that we bring you here at Jewelry Maker. And it is the real deal. And you've got 95 carats of one of the world's most precious gemstone. 17 by 7 to 13 by 6 millimetres in size. You've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 individual gemstones. I just make rings with these. Well, Becky just said, I just can't believe we're doing genuine emerald for £6.95. and pence. Six pounds and 95 pence. Now, if you are tuning in for the first time and you're thinking, that's not emerald, 6.95. It absolutely is, 100% emerald. We couldn't tell you that it is if it were not. The reason that we could do this is because of the way that we buy. So we buy in bulk, we cut out the middleman, we go direct to the source wherever possible, which means that our margins are teeny weeny weeny. Six pounds, you can tell I'm a mum, can't you? Teeny weeny weeny. Uh, six pounds and 95 pence for genuine emeralds. So I could make two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. I could make twelve of those. So at a cost of, uh, I don't know, 50 something pence each. Little bit of base metal wire. One of those, ten pounds. 
be a great price tag, wouldn't it? AJIM01 is your code for this one. 0800 644 655. Put it with your rubies. Put it with your sapphires. This is one of your big five. And we're at just £6.95 pennies one postage in any one day so loads of you have already been shopping with us this morning massive well done to you take advantage of that one postage if you've already paid it you've got nothing to lose by coming in and adding to your order get shopping it's amazing um star by where did that half an hour go time for a star by Do you know, I was just about to say, with all the treats that you've got this morning, but with all the treats that you get every single day here at Jewelry Maker, you need storage. You do need storage all of the time. Um, and I, what I love about our storage here at Jewelry Maker is there are so many of you that use the storage for so many other things. So it doesn't just have to be for jewelry making or crafting. It can be literally anything. So we've had, with, with all of the storage, We've had um, people that use them to, to put in their um, hand luggage when they go on holiday, to put tablets in, to put cosmetics in, um, lots of things like that. People that use them in the kitchen to store spices or um, little things like that. Co cosmetics is a very popular one for the ladies. I think it's a genius idea, that one. Toys, little bits of Lego um, and those kind of things. Stationery. So it can literally be anything three boxes you're going to get so the smaller one has got five divisions so I'll just open that and see this one I think is a great desktop one um, if you've got children at school you've probably just been and done the whole I used to love the stationery thing as a kid new stationery new pencils new rubbers and all of that as well so if you've um, if you have just um, been and done the stationery run this is ideal I think for desktop for carrying around in your school bags as well uh, so you can get things like paper clips in there you could get rubbers in there as well um, any of your little bits and pieces drawing pins and things like that so ideal for that but obviously from a jewelry making point of view as well your findings things like jump rings and um, head pins in there, little bits of wire, offcuts of wire and findings. It might be that you have a box for sterling and then you have a box for your plated as well. So it can be anything. So on the front of these, um, there's lots of little uh, threads of sewing type things as well. So if you want to put your needles in there, little cotton reels um, and, and needles in there. You could put those in there as well if you wanted to. So the dimensions on this one are 145 by 59 by 40. No, I beg your pardon, I'm looking at the wrong numbers. Uh, 14 and a half by nine and a half by four centimeters in size. So really, really portable that size as well. The next one down, this one's got nine divisions. Two, four, five, six, no, but you couldn't. Seven divisions you've got on that one there. So pens and pencils you could get in the top of that one. Pens, pencils in there, crayons. Ideal for Lego again. Drawing pins. Yes, in the garage for the guys as well. Nuts and bolts and nails and things like that. Perfect for that as well. So that's the other one that you're going to get. And then the largest one. And this one has 13 um, divisions in there as well. So again, all your bits and pieces. I can't get in this one. <laughs> there we go. I'm just trying to protect the nails. Um, so 13 divisions in this one. All of your findings <laughs> and needles, pencils, paint brushes. 100 6x6x5BPXC69. So all of them, all three, whether it is for crafting, whether it is in the garage for the guys, bits and pieces, whether it's in the kitchen, whether it's for cosmetics, stationery, it's entirely up to you. All three boxes for one amazing price. And let's be honest, that's going to be a, a, a big and bulky package, isn't it? Posting that via Royal Mail, 3.95. Jewelry maker? Yes. 
Oh, gift ideas. So you could come in and get all three, but actually you might want to um, gift this one. Maybe put the essential findings pack that we had. Uh, you could put the essential findings pack in there. Maybe come in and buy somebody a strand of gemstones as well. Something like that. Brilliant idea to get somebody started. Yeah, I agree. Do you know what? Director Ben just said, storage is really good to have. It's good for your mind. That's my motto. Tidy house tidy mind it makes you feel better when you've had a good sort out I don't listen to me uh, when you've had a good sort out and you are organized it does make you feel better and time is money as a jewelry maker having all the right things in the right places is going to save you time instead of rifling through drawers looking for needles or whatever it is so you can label these up as well if you want to you can pop stickers on them if you want to um, you could write on marker pen if you wanted to again that's entirely up to you you can color code you can do things in alphabetical order if you're that organized <gasps> imagine all three six pounds and 95 pence how good is that they'll stack up as well so you know if you are somebody that doesn't have a massive amount of storage at home just stack them up underneath your, your workbench in your craft room under your desk if you want to so these ones on the top the large ones I think I just stack them up and I totally multi buy for these as well uh, VPXC69 is your code picnics I've done that before not with these ones I did it I can remember doing it with those ones I emptied cheddars in there raisins nuts in there Take those on your picnic. Not that it's picnic season anymore, but you know. Uh, VPXC69. Uh, Kimberly in Aberdeenshire. Well done, Sinead in Lancashire. Julia. Uh, Magdalene, Hertfordshire. Sandra's got two. Helena, Beverly, Elaine's got two. Gail in North Yorkshire. Eric in Greater London. Collect in the Channel Isles. Uh, you've got so Channel Islands. Uh, you've managed to get three. Collect in Surrey's got four. Christine in Essex. Patricia in Cheshire. Vivian in the Highlands. Anna Toyin. Carolyn, Mary, Claire, Shandy. Collect in Merseyside. Beverly, you're there as well in Cardiff. Good afternoon to you. Keep coming through and keep checking out. 0800 644 655. I can honestly say that is probably one of the best deals I've seen on storage for three boxes, three great sizes as well. Really, really handy. Uh, collect it in Shropshire, Irene, Anna in Essex, collect it in Sussex. Lots of you coming through on the telephone lines as well. Now, just remember, if you were in a queue, it's just seconds. It doesn't cost you a penny. Not a single penny. Even, let's say, if you're waiting on the phone lines for half an hour, not penny. Free telephone number. You won't be waiting that long. Uh, it is just seconds at the moment. 0800 644 655. Well done. Right. So these ones. So do you get all three? Oh. All three of these ones. Do you get all six? Um, right, look at these, oh, see now that one's ideal for paintbrushes, isn't it? Makeup brushes as well if you're a makeup artist, um, you can put all your brushes in there. I love the colours of these, they're very, very trendy, aren't they? Um, so your tools, whatever trade you are working in, paintbrushes, pens, pencils, again, excellent for stationery, these ones. Um, so you get two different colours, the same boxes, you've got the orange one um, and you've got the pink one there. You've then got another orange one here. Let's see. Two, four, six, eight, ten compartments, ten divisions. This one's got on it. So for findings, that one's going to be brilliant, isn't it? Things like um, jump rings, your toggle fastenings, head pins. You may be able to get in there. I wonder what size. Yeah, you'd be able to get a head pin in there, standard size head pin. Um, you'd be able to get your your spacer beads or your seed beads. You know, you can get seed beads in there as well. Sharovsky. Yeah, your Swarovski, your little bicone beads and your Swarovski pearls and things like that. So, yeah, because Swarovski comes in the little bags, doesn't it? And, you know, if I'm completely honest, there's been many occasions where I've opened them and they're quite difficult to get hold of. Um, you, you have trouble getting in and then when you do open it, they fly everywhere. It's one of those, isn't it? With, so, actually, I, that's a really good idea, Ben, putting your Swarovski bits and pieces in those. Um, so, that's one of the larger ones as well. Then you've got two of the smaller ones. These ones are exactly the same. So, the six divisions, you've got the orange and the purple on these ones. And then you've got the pink one here. Whoopsie. Sorry. <laughs> And you've got the pink one here as well, ideal for pens, pencils, rubbers, 
drawing pins, all your stationary bits and pieces. So these ones, I've got six, six boxes. Six boxes. Fishing tackle, DIY and stationery. Hobbies, crafts, bits and bobs indeed. 0800 644 655. So you haven't got to choose. You're going to get all six boxes this afternoon. There's so many of you coming through. Um, so just to take you through, uh, the Fuchsia Organiser with seven divisions is 19 by 14 by 5.4 centimetres. Uh, the Fuchsia with two divisions is 30 by 10, which is this one down here. Um, 30 by 10 by three and a half which will be the same for all of those ones um it's a sunflower sunflower is that this color yes um and then this one with six divisions again 14 and a half by nine and a half by four centimeters in size so great sizes great to stack up very very portable as well they are lightweight as they are um, obviously they will become a little bit more heavy depending on how much stuff you're putting in them but still they'll fit in the craft bags you know the craft bags that we have the jewelry maker craft bags the bigger craft bags that we've had those amazing tool bags i think i've got a few of those coming up later on as well so one fantastic price for six of your storage boxes zsxc37 is your code for these 0800 655 and um, we're limited are we not 47 chances no 27 chances so we had 47 20 have already been checked out uh, caroline in pembrokeshire caroline how's the weather today in pembrokeshire oh it's cold last time uh, Gailey, North Yorkshire, Margaret in East Lothian, Patricia, Sally, Marlene, Sandra, Michael, Mary, Sinead, Julia, Collector, Lana, Christine, Michelle, Collector, uh, Leicestershire, Merseyside, Cheshire, another Cheshire, Oxfordshire, Surrey, Gloucestershire, Suffolk, well done. £9.95 for six boxes. That's £1.66 each. Now, you know those, the takeaway tubs that you can buy from supermarkets, you know, Tupperware kind of um, store your food in and things like that. There's nothing to them. There's absolutely nothing to them. They're very flimsy. Um, these, look at how well made they are. They're so strong as well. You know, these can take a lot of weight as well. So if you are stacking them up, they can take a huge amount of weight. £1.66 per box. They're really, really sturdy. Uh, Jenny West, Sussex, Dawning, Glamorgan, Ray, um, Irene, Dorothy May, Jean, Norma Shandy's there, collected in Gloucestershire, got two, collected in the Channel Islands, got two as well. Lots of your multi-buying quantity, way over allocated. Now, if all of you checked out, in fact, all of you are not going to be able to check out. But be as fast as you can. It is fastest fingers first in this auction. What an amazing, amazing price point you've got there. ZSXC37 is your code for these ones. A massive, massive well done. You've got to be quick. Speed is the name of the game. If you can download the app, then please do that. Um, go to the app store on your device or your Android tablet, whatever it's called, um, go to the app store, search for Jewelry Maker, you just download it free of charge, it takes a couple of minutes maximum, really straightforward, then once you've got that app, open the app and just follow the instructions, it's so easy to shop, it does mean that you can take us everywhere with you as well, so you don't have to miss a thing, ZSXC37 is your code, well done if you managed to get those, what a great deal, amazing. Oh. Right, so that we had one box, that's it Pete, it's that one that you've got in your hand. Yeah, lovely, thank you. Have a look. Do you say five divisions, Beck? Two, four, five, six, it's not that one, Pete. Yeah, okay, we'll do this one. Yeah, it's this one. And then it's the smaller one, I think, Pete, the five divisions, I think. Um, so this one, <laughs> five. Oh, thanks, Pete. It's like my Debbie McGee. Um, <laughs> seven divisions you've got here. 19 by 14 and a half by four centimetres. So we did do the pack of three before, but if you want more to add to it, go for it. 0800 644 655. UJ WM45 is your code for this one. Great for cosmetics. You know if you're going on your holly bobs and you can only take your hand luggage... 
do you know that little cotton wool pads you can buy the little which we bring you here at jewelry maker as well the tiny little pots the clear pots so you're limited aren't you to liquids um, with your carry on as well so you could just take those little pots put your liquids in there things like moisturizers and serums and cotton wool buds and all of those kind of things pop those all in there pop that into your hand luggage for your weekend away or your holly bobs whatever it is perfect ujwm45 now what? if you're brand new to us here at jewelry maker you can use this for anything like anything you could put um your stationery in there oh well, i've given you lots of ideas already your, your spices you can use it anywhere anything anyhow 2.95. You've got yourself some fantastic storage, and you will also get two genuine gemstone strands and a getting started DVD free of charge. All you're spending is 2.95. Goodness me! I don't know how we do it. Um, so this one, five divisions you've got here. Do you know what? This is. I could probably fit all of my sewing accessories in this one. Like a few needles and literally just a couple of reels of different uh, black, white, cotton. That, that's me. I always remember my nan used to have like a biscuit tin, the old <laughs> biscuit tin, buttons, threads, needles. It was like a treasure chest as a kid. Um, but yeah, mine, mine isn't that because I just don't do much sewing. Um, but that, that would be ideal for me just to put those bits and bobs in. Perfect size. Get organised. Do you know what? You don't need to wait until New Year, do you, to, to have that kind of New Year's resolution. You can start any day. And I always, I always try and be organised. I try. I'm quite good. I'm not too bad. Um, but as Director Ben says, it just makes you feel better when you're organised. FDWM, in whatever aspect of your life it is, £1.95. One pound ninety-five. £1.95. Try us out. 0800 655. Again, if you're brand new, you don't even have to register if you don't want to. You don't have to sign up if you don't want to. You can check out as a guest. If you don't want to talk to anybody today, uh, check out on the web, www.jewelrymaker.com. Uh, come in on the web and you can check out that way if you wanted to as well. £1.95. Alison's here. Do you know what? It's because there's so much, so much going on. We've got so much storage. We've got so much signage and things. Um, have a look at this. I love this. Do you know, if we had 500 of these, Alison, it wouldn't be enough. I've not seen those. That is a huge slab. I love that word. Um, of, of aquamarine. That's Genuine incredible. aquamarine. It's 180 carats wow. in total. Oh. 180 carats. You're fighting away through deflecto. <laughs> hey, I'm happy with the deflecto. <laughs> I'm a deflecto girl. Oh, um, that's coming up three o'clock this afternoon. All the deflecto. This is coming wow. up at two thirty. Alison, the bad news is a quantity. I've got forty-five. <gasps> 45. Like, right honestly, the price of this <laughs> durable. <laughs> The price of this, I think people will be buying. <laughs> I think people will be buying five of these, genuinely. Is it that good? Yeah, Alison. If I had to put a price on that, even jewellery maker, absolute lowest, I would say twenty nine ninety five. Yeah. No. Oh, you're kidding me. I've got forty five. I know. Oh. Sorry, sorry. Right, so, um, Alison. Yes. Um, what do you um, think of this strand? I love that strand. When they got promoed, yeah. um, Simon did a bit of promo with, all, with the strands. I'm like, I need those, I need those. And I haven't been able to find out when they're on. I love that. I love the double drilled. They're fab, aren't they? Absolutely fab. So these, coming up a little bit later on, um, but what we're going to do, Alison, if it's okay with you... Is give you them to work your match. Oh, go on then. Give you a challenge. <laughs> if I'm a, she hey. says. Um, I wouldn't like to let you down. Just, they're absolutely stunning. So we'll hand those over to Alison um, and have a look at five o'clock when we play the auction. Alison Tarry's here. Write the date and time down. I haven't got my ear in yet, but. How are you? I'm all right, thank you. How are you? I'm so 
Glad you're here. Oh, oh it's glad. been ages. It has been a while, it's hasn't been, it? Looking. Can I just say, I feel a bit worse today because the crew and you are all looking amazing. You look amazing. Oh, she does, doesn't she? Look Becky incredible. Says always looks oh, look, I know Pete's done his hair today. I know. Our, uh, Have you seen Ben's director outfit? Ben amazing. Our director Ben is hot to trot Becky today. Becky always actually. looks amazing. Becky looks very glamorous anyway, yeah. doesn't she? Beautiful. And Michael. And yeah, Michael Pindical. as well. Yeah. It must be the weekend. Must be. Um, Alison's here and she's here until six o'clock this afternoon. So loads more coming up for you. We'll have a look at that strand at five o'clock. I'll hand that over to Alison as well. Um, so Alison can work her magic on that one. Um, Deflecto coming up for you a little bit later on as well. I've got the Aquamarine. Look at this Amethyst as well, Alison. Oh, is that that new funky... <sighs> Two o'clock, these are coming up. Faceted... These Tubey. aren't faceted. Oh. No, oh, these are the plain nice. tubes. I've not seen these ones these before. Are lovely. I love them. Fantastic for your for your um, craft shows. Yeah. Especially with the tassels so heavily exactly. in season. Perfect, aren't they? Lovely. So these are coming up in 15 nice. minutes time, so Ooh. not too long to wait for those. Right. Oh. These are nice. Can I chop this up? Yeah. Oh my gosh. What kind of challenge would that be? No, Alison, you can't chop it up. <laughs> well, no. yet. It might not no. have been yet. <laughs> um, do you know what? This cameraman, Pete, that looks like a Tahitian pearl to me. Look. Yes. That was cameraman, Pete, not a sound effect, by the way. Um, doesn't that look Tahitian? It does. Wow. Um, do you know, if that were a Tahitian pearl of this kind of size, oh, well into three figures for something like this, easily. Now, just to let you know, your dimensions on this, 13 by 9, we've measured that to include the bale on there as well. Um, so it's actually a 9 millimetre, oh, do you know what, we're calling it a knee around. Anyone? I mean, we're pretty close there. And although, although I've not got 20-20 vision, I've got a sharp eye. So I'm very good at seeing things that are a little bit off wonk. If a picture is not perfectly straight, I can see it. I've got a sharp eye. Do you know what? That to me, <laughs> I was just looking at it. That's, that is, that's round, isn't it? It, it certainly, because... Looking at that, says so 13 by 9. That's quite we, we, we have oval. included We've included the bale oh, in the measurements. Oh, that's why. Yeah. That's why. Ah. So we're looking at... Okay. I, it says knee around. I think this is round. I think that is a perfect round. But knee around, we're erring on the side of caution. Not every single one may be identical, okay? So those measurements are including your bale on there as well. So that bale will take it up to 13 millimetres top to bottom, if you like. I'm going to show you around the pearl because this is absolutely, I mean, Alison, all you've got to do is pop it onto a jump ring yeah. and add it onto a chain. Yeah, absolutely. Or pop it onto your shepherd's hook. Yeah. That's like the most straightforward, easiest jewellery making that doesn't require any skills. And I'm going to say it doesn't require any skills. You know, you could literally, so the jump rings that I had earlier on, you might want to use a smaller jump ring than this, if you have any. Are the tools there? Yes, they are, Pete. Right, so all you've got to do, if you've got your tools already, as a new viewer, brilliant. If you haven't, don't worry too much. There are ways that we can compromise, because it is just literally opening and closing a jump ring. But just be careful, okay? We do recommend that you use your essential tools. So you always open your jump rings at front to back. So like you're opening a door, not, not side to side. Open them front to back, okay? Um, take your jump ring, pop your pearl on, and then pop your chain in and close your jump ring. And as quickly as I've just done that is how quickly you'll be able to do it at home. And it literally, you know, I wouldn't call myself a skilled jewellery maker. I don't have any um, wire work skills as such or seed beading skills. I've kind of done what I can when I can. Um, but I'm no, I'm no professional by any means when it comes to jewellery making. Any of you, any of you could do this. And you could pop that onto a chain 
And I think with the roundness, yeah. with the size of this, you could probably be looking between 40 and 50 pounds, depending on where you're selling quite easily. Oh, gosh, I just thought so. I would have thought so, definitely. It's huge and it's round. It's stunning. And it's beautiful as well. Absolutely <laughs> stunning. And you know, I love the fact that this has already got that half drilled um, kind of bale in there already. So we don't need to do any gluing, we don't need to find the wire, you don't need to worry about that. It's nine pounds and 95 pennies. Winner, winner. Right, pop those away. Oh, this is a pretty strand. Midnight rutilated quartz. Have a look at these. Wow. Look at those in Oh, they're so it's like I love it. It's like Mother Nature. Oh, showing off, isn't it? Look it at is. those rutile inclusions. Absolutely Stunning, beautiful. Stunning, isn't it? With rutilated quartz, um, basically we're looking for those inclusions. So without them, it would simply be quartz. It's one of very few gemstones where inclusions can actually increase the value of the gemstone because it's what we're looking for. It means that you are never, ever going to get two that are identical. So each one essentially is a one of a kind. How fabulous to say that you have something that is a one of a kind. Now, I don't know if you have been following Fashion Week, but that kicked off a couple of days ago. Uh, so Fashion Week kicked off on the 5th of September. We see a lot of the biggest, well, the biggest designer houses in the world. Um, you know, like Gucci, like Dior, and etc. We see them on the catwalk. And we see clothing that is limited edition, that is one of a kind. Um, we very rarely, as the public, get to, to, to know prices. Um, but when you do, if you've been or you know anybody that has been, you could be looking at an item of clothing that is tens of thousands of pounds because it's been made by a particular designer and it is a designer. So to get a one of a kind, whether it be clothing, whether it be art, whatever it may be, comes with a premium price. This is why I love gemstones. Because you have, you have so many gemstones whereby you have these amazing inclusions that make each and every single one completely unique without that premium price tag. You've got 100 carats of your midnight rutilated quartz here. Lovely size as well. Perfect for a stacker, perfect for a stretchy bracelet. Six millimetres, that is your desert island size. Nice. So, you know, macrame, kumihimo, in Ooh, with yeah. wire work, in with sea beading. Soutache. Yeah, you Beautiful name it. Beautiful size for soutache. We can wire do it. Work. I yeah. always forget about soutache, you know. Um, PYKY8. Seven is your code for this one. Do you know what? It's not quite coming. It is a little bit on that recording, but not so much on screen. It's almost like a, um, an indic, not an indicolite. Uh, what's the other one? Oh my gosh! <laughs> when, you've had, when you've had a few days off and you just forget everything, not indicolite. What's the other one? The Vikings used it. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I liked. I like. Hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I like. It's a bit in. Uh, no, I was going to say decolite again. A bit of highlighty in its hue. It's kind of like an inky blue colour mm. that you've got there. But do you know what? I'm thinking again. If you don't like the harshness of a black gemstone, yeah, this is a dark tone, but not black. You know, P Y K Y eighty seven eight pounds. And 95 pence. Beverly in London collecting Cambridgeshire. Uh, Anusha in Tyne. We are Tracy in Greater London. You've got two. Karen in Essex, Stacey in Essex, Mary in Renfrewshire. Congratulations. We're under 10 pounds for you this afternoon. Now, with a 38 centimetre strand, averagely you can make two bracelets, no problem at all. So, if I wanted stackers, two stretches. At a cost of £4.50 each, approximately. How fabulous is that? Well done to Beverly, collect it in the Channel Island, Stacey and Essex, Mary, check out. Well done. Right. Findings. I see a 925 sterling silver sticker on these. 925 <coughs> sterling Sorry. silver you've got here. So this will give you a suite of jewellery, i.e. Um, a bracelet... 
fancy. And a necklace. Some earrings, maybe, as well. 925 sterling silver you've got here. So there are, again, I think all genuine gemstones deserve 925 sterling silver. 925 will withstand the test of time it is it's a valuable precious metal so wherever you are using it please make sure that you take that into consideration when it comes to pricing your pieces because it's very important if somebody comes to you and asks you specifically for 925 we need to make sure that all of those components are indeed 925 sterling silver so i always always have had an issue with crimps so a crimp is something we squash and I don't like squashing 925 sterling silver, I'll be completely honest with you. But again, if somebody asks specifically for those precious metals in that design, we need to make sure that we are using all of those pieces. Um, so you, you're going to need to have them. If you're making something perhaps uh, as a family heirloom piece of jewellery, so maybe you don't sell, but you're making to gift or you are making that family heirloom piece, then... You, you know, sterling silver is always going to be my first choice. VYRF56 is your code. So I've got 20 pieces. 20 pieces in total. Four of your standard size head pins, your ball head pins. I've got four jump rings that have an inner diameter of three and a half millimeters in size. I've got a pair of shepherd's hooks. I've got four of your crimp tubes, four of your crimp covers, and two of your five millimeter bolt ring clasps there as well. So these bolt ring clasps, I think, will be ideal to go with your deal of the day. So if you're making stacker bracelets, that's a perfect size. And you know what? We're at just four pounds and 95 pence for you this afternoon. Oh. I know, for sterling as well. Wow. Sterling silver. <laughs> Four pounds and ninety-five pence. Liz in Surrey's got two. Karen's got two. Karen in Essex. Well done, Linda. Collect it in the Channel Islands is back in. Remember, you can shop until you drop today. In fact, you can every day. It doesn't matter how many times you come in, how many times you're logging in, how many times you're checking out. It doesn't matter how many times you dial in on the phone lines. It doesn't matter how many times you tap the app. In fact, you can do all three. One postage. How fabulous is that? VYRF56. Remember to get interactive today as well. Alison is here until six o'clock. If you've got any questions um, for our Alison, 60777. Start your message with the word JM Studio. There she is. <laughs> Take advantage, I tell you. Um, right, coming up for you after the break, I've got the amethyst. There it is. <sighs> Two o'clock oh. amethyst, half past the hour. Slab of aquamarine. I've only got wow. 45. 45. And do you know what? If we were allowed to, 10 would go like that just in the studio today. Yeah. But because quantity is so low, we're not allowed. Um, that's coming up at 2.30, that beautiful, beautiful aquamarine. We will also have the first kit for you this afternoon as well. First kit this afternoon, beautiful kit and a phenomenal price. Alison will be showing you her first demonstration as well. So don't go anywhere. We'll be back with you in just a couple of minutes' time. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 65,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Did you know, no matter how many times you purchase with Jewelry Maker in the same day, you'll only be charged one fee of postage and packaging. Select our standard delivery for just $3.95, or if you'd like to receive your goods sooner, upgrade to our premium option for $5.95. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share.
name is Helen Bromfield uh, Jones and I come from Swansea and I've started making jewellery um, because of Jewellery Maker. Uh, they completely inspired me. Um, I got made redundant from my job of 16 and a half years. Um, and I was flicking through the channels and I found Jewellery Maker, which is now my life. The first experience for me was I set my jewellery up and I thought I'm going to get all these customers maybe rushing to me. Uh, it didn't quite happen that way. <laughs> and I thought, oh, what am I doing wrong, you know? Um, and I thought, oh, what should I do? But then I started thinking about it and logically I thought, you know, you need to embrace customers, you need to talk to them, you need to explain that they are gemstones, they're not plastic. You, know, you need to say to them, you know, these gemstones are from, you know, India or they're from, you know, wherever, you know, America, or if it's turquoise and the mean is behind the stones, you have to know your stuff. Think about what you're going to do firstly, obviously. Make sure you've got a range of designs to suit different pocket sizes, shall we say. Think about the gemstones and have an array of them. Um, and also less is more. Did you know that when you book a Jewellery Maker workshop, you're given exclusive access to our Jewellery Maker shop? You can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call centre. I'm Tony Johnson. Um, I live in Essex with my husband and my little tabby cat Bert. I'm a dental nurse by day and a crazy passionate jewellery maker by night. <laughs> my first experience at a trade show was um, Christmas time. Uh, I think it must be two years ago. A few people commented, oh your work's beautiful, yours really lovely, um, very detailed which is really nice to have strangers be really positive about the work that you're doing and something that you're really passionate about that it's not my full-time job, you know, it's, it's what I do in the evenings and at weekends. Often you do more than one day, so you'll do a whole weekend or, or three days. The first day will always be quieter than the second day. Guarantee they'll either come back in the afternoon on that first day or they'll be back on the second day. But don't panic. Trust in your work, smile, it improves, it gets better. Just keep going, don't give up. goodies. I, I, I love all storage but this is my favourite storage. The deflecto is like... I love it. It is like yeah. Uh, I've got loads of it. We, I'm trying to go took, for analogy and I can't think of one. When we first got it we took two huge boxes like this down to Devon with Did us because we picked it up on the way. <laughs> My father-in-law's like, it's what? <laughs> but no, that's the great thing with that. It, it is so portable. Oh, yeah. A lot of it is big. Um, well, there, well, there was packaging portable, in it, so it we, is yeah. portable. It, you know, it's oh, large, it's but it's definitely portable. It's brilliant. I've got, a, I've got a tower, and I've got. Yeah. I'm building my tower on the boat as well. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It, it, it but is. But it's like because you can just pick it? it up and take it from yeah. one place to the other. It's, it's fab. brilliant. Uh, there's not a huge amount of the deflecto storage that we have left, oh. um, but we've got lots of it coming up view in an hour's time. Um, so not long to wait. At oh. all. Um, your kit's coming up in just a few this. minutes' time, but have a look. I love that. Brand. This goes what you're wearing today, I don't have Amazon. A it. Look at this. I love this tone of amethyst. So, yeah. um, we bring you Zambian, in fact, the Brazilian amethyst that we had in the last hour, which was really intensely purple. 
but it's so dark in its tone that it doesn't allow any light into the gemstone. So the darker something is in tone, the less internal light you will have. So with internal light, that will either be in the form of brilliance, if it's bouncing off facets, or if there are no facets, it will be um, in the term of a, uh, an internal glow, if you like. So when you're looking at that light tone, you are more likely to have um, brilliance or an internal glow. So if you remember the term, the lighter, the brighter. The lighter something is in tone, the brighter that brilliance or internal glow will be from that gemstone. So with this kind of amethyst that we're looking at here, it's Amazing. somewhere in the middle, isn't it? So it's not kind of like your pink amethyst, nope. very, very light in its tone. It's not like your Zambian that's very, very dark or the Brazilian that we had in the last hour that was very, very dark in its tone as well. It's somewhere in the middle. So this, for me, I love it when we get gemstone tones like this because you get the, most of both, the best of both worlds. You've got that amazing colour, but you've got a great internal glow to these. So because it's faceted, sorry, not faceted, and it's a plain gemstone, you haven't got light that bounces off of the surfaces and you haven't got light that bounces off facets from within. You've got a plain surface, so that allows light to travel all the way around. It allows more light to be absorbed into the gemstone instead of just bouncing off of a surface. And therefore, traveling through, as the light travels through that gemstone, it's being slowed down by that tone. It holds the light, it creates that glow. So we've got a beautiful, beautiful um, internal glow from these as well. It's stunning. It is gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, and I love these shapes. I, I love these shapes. Whether you want to use them individually, because uh -huh. they're, they're amazing individually, one in a slider bracelet would oh, look wow. amazing. Yeah. Pair of ing inglings, earrings, <laughs> inglings, they're those things that drop from your ears. Yeah, I like that. Inglings. It's a new one. Pair of earrings. Yeah. Perfect for tassels. Mm -hmm. Whether you're doing them wire, beads, seed beads, chain, whatever, yeah. absolutely gorgeous. But even like that, on a statement necklace, would look amazing. Yeah, that like you Abs need I, I know. to get this strand today, Alison. It would look beautiful with what you're wearing. I, it would. Gorgeous. I love it. You've got a big, big carrot weight here. 85 carats in total across two, four, six, seven individual gemstones. So individually, they are mahoosive. They are. Ideal, as you said, Alison, earlier on, for um, the tassel designs that mm -hmm. are so on trend at the moment. So whether it be a tassel from a strand or this strand um, that you've already got, or whether you want to make tassels of chain or, you know, tassels with some cord that you've got already, that would look amazing. And just popping that onto a bag as a bag charm, yeah. having them as earrings or in a pendant design, you've got so much versatility with this shape. And, of course, it's amethyst. You know, it's got to be top of the list in yeah. terms of popularity here at Jewelry Maker. Oh, gosh, absolutely. And it's the one everybody, and everybody has heard of amethyst. I've never met yeah, anybody who doesn't know what exactly. amethyst is. Mm. It's a recognised gemstone. It's a readily available gemstone, but you get your greater quality, yeah, obviously. Absolutely. So, you, you, I mean, this is just stunning quality. I adore it. It's gorgeous. I love I think that one's my favourite. I that, that one, one there. see I'd take that one out yeah, that. uh, that's definitely an individual for me yeah I think so too on a pendant mm. and what what colour findings or why would you use with this Alison do you think I would go either rose gold or gold yeah but silver I do a lot of silver jewellery yeah. so I'd, I'd more than happily wear it with silver mm. it would go with it anything it would go with the, any of the it? metals yeah um, it would go with anything and everything £19 and 95 pence not your price point this afternoon. 0800 644 655 or on the web at jewelrymaker.com this afternoon. ELVR69. £12.95. Wow. You see, each of those individually. So, so we're, talking, we're talking trade here, aren't yeah. we? We're talking trade. Usually, with most things for the trade, breaking them down you get your, your biggest return on your investment. Yeah. Okay, so you could take each of those as an individual, mm -hmm. turn them into slider bracelets, 
absolutely amazing. Do macrame slider wow. bracelets yeah. or, 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 you know, your sterling slider bracelets. Mm -hmm. You've automatically made loads more than that. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. You're going to way blow that out of the water. Mm. You know, keep it as one piece. You've got to be looking at 40, 50 plus, yeah. depending on whether you're sterling mm -hmm. or not sterling. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. I That'd love that. And what a great price point as well. Um, a it is a price. premiere for you today. You will be the first people to get your hands on these and you could well be the last as well. Just make sure that you are checking out as soon as you possibly can. Amazing. Right, kick time. We'll start with the cabochons. Oh my. Look at that for spectacular I banding. I absolutely, see that would go with the amethyst as well. Wouldn't it? Perfectly. Perfectly. Look at these. <gasps> Isn't that amazing? And I love that they're all so different. Yeah. They Each are. one you get is going to be different. I love those markings. Aren't they? That one. I think just that they're so yeah. um, prominent, those markings. It, it creates so much interest in the yeah. gemstone, doesn't it? Doesn't it make it look really 3D as well? Yeah. Those bigger ones going into the. You do. You, you kind of like lose yourself. In. Yeah. yeah. You kind of lose yourself in that. Stunning. That's Fabulous. So in this particular kit, you are guaranteed to get one of each shape in there. Um, so you're guaranteed to get um, 50 carats in a green stripe agate heart in one gemstone. That's wonderful. Oh, look at that. It's got a little um, heart thing on it. You know, a, a pulse point thing. Oh, yeah. Hasn't like it? Like a heartbeat. Yeah. yeah. A heartbeat. That's yeah. what I was trying to Can't think guarantee of. that in everyone, <laughs> but that's good. Yeah, that's, that that's nice? perfect. That is. I love that. So you've got 50 carats in your green stripe agate heart, which will be 40 millimetres. You will get 50 carats in your purple stripe marquise as well. So that Beautiful. one is 30 by 50 millimetres. And then you are guaranteed to get um, the round one um, in pink, which again, oh no, sorry, 80 carats this one is. Wow. So 80 carats in the fuchsia which is 40 millimetres in size. I mean, again, Alison, I think this is great for beginners. Absolutely brilliant. Well, it's great for beginners because it's got the drill hole. Yeah. So, so straight away you're like, okay, if you want to, you could either do a lark's head knot through it. It's a really mm -hmm. generous drill hole. You could, you could, you could um, pop a jump uh, ring through it. Yeah. You can do loads straight off without having to, to yeah. go any more complicated. Mm. But then you can use it and, and, Take it away. You don't have to use the drill hole, but it's there if you yeah, want it. That's exactly. what I like about it. Versatility, isn't it? So you're guaranteed to get the green heart, the purple marquise, and the yeah. pink round. Um, you've got your copper wire in here as well. So it's your rose gold coloured silver plated copper wire. 10 metres of your 0.8 millimetre gauge, 10 metres of your 0.4 millimetre gauge. And you've got a 21 piece findings pack in there as well, yeah. um, which will include your 50 centimetre length of chain, uh, two of your toggle fastenings in there, four of your standard size head pins, you've got five of your jump rings, five of your crimp tubes, two pairs, oh hang on, how many pairs of shepherd's hook? Have I got a sneaky extra pair here? Two pairs of your rose gold plated copper shepherd's hook, so I just take those ones away, I've gained an extra pair there. So 21 pieces in total. And three amazing cabochons Stunning. and 20 metres of wire. Have a look at Alison's designs. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, just beautiful. See, look how different the markings yeah. are on oh, that marquee. Totally, there. totally. And mm. I wanted to just do something at the top with that, just to to look at all that yeah. marking. Yeah, yeah. And I've used I've used the um, drill hole, and I've got three of the 0.8 wires through it. Really? Yeah. Goodness me, that's really handy to know, isn't it? Yeah. Really, really handy to know. Amazing. I'd probably multi buy. Oh, look at that, Alison. Oh, I love that. I love that. Do you know what that looks? I'm trying to think there's a designer in my head and it's not coming to me just yet, but that is a very... Um... Alison Terry. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> At the same time, Director Brown said, Glenn Bibbs. <laughs> um, it is very designer inspired. It reminds me of something I can't think. I'll try and have a think. That's Look at that as well. Wow. 
do look at the wire work. Alison, these are amazing. Thank you. Absolutely amazing. And I think it's fair to say that these are very um, red carpet statement pieces. Yeah. Like for, you know, if you're going to any special events, yeah. if you've got any charity balls coming up, yeah. or you are thinking of the festive season already, or, you know, anything like that. Perfect. Just, and for me, that would be the only piece of jewellery that I would wear. Yeah. It would all yeah. be about that, wouldn't it? You'd want that. Or maybe a, a little something in yeah. your ear. You don't want too much because yeah. you've got that big statement. Wow, they're amazing. So you are getting three huge cabochons, two wheels wow. of wire, 20 metres, and your findings pack, all for just £18.95. I thought it was more than that. Yeah. So <laughs> I'll let you into a secret. Yeah. So I haven't been i've done commissions but i haven't actively gone out to sell jewelry for a few years because yes. i've been so busy busy yeah. been so busy um so i did some research before this show when she says research <laughs> she did a lot of research all to shame. but there's no point in coming on a trade show and talking about trade and prices and stuff and and then my pricing's all like five years old yeah. Um, based on 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 a a wage that's below minimum wage, yeah. I was like, oh, I was cheap last night. <laughs> um, so I went out and did some prices, and looking on a well-known um, craft selling website, cabochons like this are thirty, forty pounds each. Yeah. Mm. With some wire, not just you know, if you just pop the jump ring yeah. on it. Mm -hmm. You're looking at less. You're probably yeah. looking at about twenty pounds. Right. But once you've started doing some wire work, putting some some expertise into it, mm -hmm. then they were going for thirty, forty pounds. Goodness me. So, let's say, let's say thirty for each. That's yeah. ninety pounds. And you're paying less than twenty. Eighty. And that's and that's not me. That's me going onto the website yeah. and looking. That's not. The heady weave stuff that I do, yeah. which goes into three figures, yeah, that, that far more time yeah. taken. That's just at, at this yeah. sort of level that I was looking at. And it, do you know what? It's really, it is really important to do your research yeah. because we, we can get very complacent and stuck in our ways, can't we? Um, and like you say, you know, that, you know, five years ago will be massively different yeah. to, to what prices are now. Oh, absolutely. You know? I mean, you could, you could say, Leaving time out of it, which I'm not for, I, I am all for taking your time, mm. but leaving time out of it, you could say, right, a ten region you've made a profit. Yeah. Exactly. That's ridiculous, yeah. you made over, yeah. you take £12 profit. So, yeah, even if it isn't particularly to make money, but you're doing it just for fun, yeah. but you'd like to get your money back. Like, you know. But I'd always advise you oh. to price it properly. Yeah. Because, because you're undercutting people... Who are making a living. Yeah. If yeah. you're just doing it to get your pin yeah. money or your money back, what you have to think about is the people who are trying to make a living at it, mm. yeah. you, you're undercutting, like our yeah. Ben. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, look at I know. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I love this. I absolutely love them. Just a little touch of red and you're ready for that season. Oh, yes, Alison. Oh, my God. Look at I didn't these. say it. Yes, pretty much. Uh, producer Becky just said, so Hannah, um, I've got to ask, are you uh, just over summer now? And pretty much just all about, well, yeah, because it's gone now, isn't it? It feels very autumnal now. All of a sudden, it feels cold. Morning, oh, gosh, cold the last few days. The last it feels few very autumnal. I came down now. in a jumper. T-shirt's yeah. gone. I'm, I'm jumper and yeah, big coat. that's it. I think it's time to put some wardrobe yeah. on, don't you? You know, it's happening. Um, embrace it. Yeah, right, absolutely. Like, and autumn, isn't it a wonderful I love season? Autumn. The texture, the colours. Colours. Oh, oh stunning. It is. It's as fabulous as spring, I The think, sunrises, autumn. the sunsets <gasps> as you drive. Oh, I oh, no. love it. They are beautiful, yeah. aren't they? Um, anyway, it doesn't the, have to be for Christmas. Green. No, it Do you doesn't. know what? Green is, is the backdrop of Mother Nature, isn't it? You can put these with anything. They are suitable for any time of year. Yeah. It's my colour. They'd, I love them. See, they'd go with me. Yeah. They'd go with what you're wearing. Yeah. They'd go with what Pete's wearing. Yeah. yeah, totally. They'd work with anything and everything, wouldn't Tassel they? Tassel earrings. Yeah. <laughs> they would um, go with what you're wearing, Ben. Yeah. Yeah, they would. Totally. The green would go with what you're wearing. Do you know what? Green does go love with it. anything. It, does. It, it really, really does. And, you know, <laughs> these price points and these gemstones, it's a, it, do you know what? It's a great 
opportunity to experiment. You know, get it them is. home and, and put them with something you never would have dreamed of, perhaps. Just see, just see. So you've got here marcasite coloured, not marcasite, what am I on about? Malachite. <laughs> Malachite's the one I was looking for. Uh, malachite green varicite, six millimetre rounds, and they are 70 carats that you've got across the strand. 140 carats Brilliant. you've got in your green stripe agate, eight millimetre rounds. And do you know what? That for me is a, is a real kind of cry as a praisey. <gasps> I, I it's got that, that almost that bluey tone to the green, hasn't it? Yeah. I, that, that's my green right yeah. there. I love that tone or tones, I should say, with these. They are absolutely beautiful. Lovely. So you've got 100, 210 carats in total in your gemstones there. Well, look at this for a stash. I know. Well, I can't remember the last time I had this many head pins nope. in, a, in a kit. 200. 200? 200. Wow. That's... That's so stash crazy. building. That's amazing. Oh, yeah, it? absolutely bubble style. Just incredible. Uh, silver plated brass ball head pins, 40 millimetres in size, two packs of 100. Sorry. And silver plated wire. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> 10 metres, 10 metres of your point four. 10 millimetres, uh, <laughs> 10 millimetres. 10 um, millimetres. <laughs> it's 10 metres, not even millimetres, it's metres of your one millimetre gauge as well. So you've got your structural, you've got your weaving wire. Yeah. I'm getting this kit today. The head pins, brilliant. I've got loads left over and, I, you know, I've used head pins all over the place, but I did oh have loads left over. Gosh. And um, have a look at Alison's designs from this kit. £17.95. Yeah. So I've, I've, I think I've only done five with this kit. Yeah. Oh, a bit wonky. Oh, that's... Um, you can also... <laughs> sorry. But you can also colour graduate the striped dye gate. Oh. <laughs> As you do. <laughs> Wonderful. That necklace is amazing. Oh, look at those earrings. Do you know, they look very Meghan Markle. Oh, oh, yeah. Because I mean, this is so me. That, so me, this yeah. style of earrings. Yeah. I love it. They're beautiful. The I necklace. Think. The necklace is one of my absolutely all time. I've, I've made that. When I used to sell, they used to go yeah. straight out. I've had commissions. They wanted those mm -hmm. in certain gemstones. To, yeah. To go. I've had, I've had Mother of the Bride say, can you make me one of those? But in this gemstone. Yeah, yeah. Love them. Love them. And I wanted to show you that because the three pairs of earrings... Mm -hmm are the same, or, or three of the pairs of earrings are the same shape. Right. Three different earrings, three different styles. Yeah, so yeah. three different... Oh my gosh, look at those. <laughs> <gasps> oh, I love them. <laughs> I love them. Uh, 17 on 12. So when you say research, Alison, like you've got I've, I've, red I've, sheets I've, I've, and... <laughs> can, we, can we do this bit now? Yeah, can we do this bit? And I, I will, I will, I have got, I've got several demos. Yeah. Um, right, so if I if I put this up here, so yeah. when I say I did research, I did. What I did was I took the kit. Can, can you see see that on the overhead? Okay, we're just going to try and zoom in. Hmm. Uh, right, ah. okay. I'll, I'll move it around yeah. within there. Okay. So so what I did, I took the kit. Split it between six. I know it only says five, but the two head pins, there's 200 head pins, so I took it as six items. Yeah, yeah. And that was how much per item. So £3.16 per item. Amazing. I think that's with the right price. I yeah. Hope. Right? Broke it down, counted how many beads on each strand. Oh, my. Took it down oh. to, we've got 10 metres, so how many centimetres of wire we've yeah. got. How many head pins? So, yeah. so there's two lots of that. Now the shepherd hooks. I took um, some silver, a pack of silver she sterling silver shepherd hooks from the website, mm -hmm. and priced that in. Right. So it, I, I don't know if we've got any um, packs of of head pins on the trade show. Okay. Because you'll you, you'll be reducing the price. So these are sterling yeah. silver. So this is my price per unit. Okay. So that's what I used to do with everything when I was yeah. when I was doing the trade shows. So I'm going to shove this over. And if anyone, what I'll do is I'll put this up on my Facebook Excellent. page. So this is for the green kit. Yeah. Okay. So this is the big chandelier earrings over there with, with the multiple drops. Right. So um, unit cost 4.7 4, 4 pence right. per unit. I've used 18 stones. Mm -hmm. That's 84 
6.9 pence. Um, same with each of the other components. I didn't use any of the 0.4 with it. Yeah. Um, so those pair of earrings work out at two pound seventy-six point wow. one pence for the earrings. Wow. Now, but you can't charge that. Yeah. Because okay, so fetch this one in. So my hourly rate that is minimum wage in the UK as of April the first, two thousand and nineteen. Yeah. I think. Okay. So. Let's say they take an hour, possibly slightly less than an hour, so they would cost you £12.40, mm -hmm. okay? At £10 an hour, which I think is a very reasonable price, it's still, for a, you, yeah. you're talking skill here? Yeah, yeah, So absolutely. I think, you know, £14 an hour. Yeah. But then you've got to think, you need your add-ons. So right. whether you're your commissioner to place, whether you, you've got your fare costs, mm -hmm. your table costs, you've got to add that in. You've also got to add in your equipment costs, yeah. buying new equipment, um, things like that, maintaining your equipment, um, transport, your, 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 travel, your, your packaging, your, your storage, yeah. all that, it's all costs. So I've added 20% on. So those big earrings would be at the base seventeen pounds and tuppence at ten pounds an hour. Right. Now I don't think they would be a miss at twenty pounds for the big earrings. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I did the same process. Now let me just work out which ones are which. So the little earrings. So so the same version but the smaller ones. So these are with what have I used? Unit shoes. Oh, so these are the little diddy, diddy ones, just one, ah, just okay. two drops. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So these work out at, uh, hang on, a pound wow. and threepence. Okay. So they're a pound and threepence. Yeah. Plus, um, so that's that one, isn't it? Hang on. Yeah. So it'll be plus. I take. I reckon they took. Let me shove you that over. Took about. Um, let me move it up. There you go. Quarter of an hour to make. Okay. That's being quite generous, but yeah. trying to break it down to less than quarter of an hour. I think quarter of an hour is a reasonable. Yeah. With your add-ons, three pounds. Now, I think you should be selling those for a fiver. Yeah. You, your base yeah, yeah. level, oh, fiver each. Yeah. You know, I was wow. looking um, in um, a clothing shop, and they had they had um, sale items, and mm. their minimum for a basic pair of faux. Well, they were just plastic yeah, costume earrings, jewelry, yeah. costume jewellery, you were looking at £10 in the sale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah. wow. Yeah, that's what you can be Like I say, yeah. this opened my eyes because yeah. I haven't done it for so long. So we'll go to the necklace. So the wonky necklace. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, it's a bit wonky on the, on the, I've got to do it. Sorry. Sorry. It's, it's really, yes, really, well there done. you go. Oh, I can't. Gosh. So, there we go. So we've got, surprisingly, you're actually using less gemstones in the necklace wow. than you were in those earrings. Yeah. And this is what people forget. And yet, <clears throat> and yet it's more expensive, usually, for a necklace than yeah. the earrings. So I'm going to slide you that over because that was our base. So that's what I use. So it's coming out as, oh, wrong one. Let me zoom up. That was for a pair of the earrings. There you go. Two pounds seventeen point seven, so two pound eighteen for the necklace. What I haven't costed in was the chain, yeah. but I did cost in a wire uh, using the wire to make. Um, I did a basic chainmail one, but I didn't touch it for some reason. So when I got here, I went, "Where's my chain gone?" So yeah. I've had it. So that did include the amount of wire to make Gosh. the jump rings to make a chain yourself. Yeah. Okay, so that would be with. Time-wise, let's slide that one in. So with time-wise, um, I've estimated two hours. You've got a lot of looping. You've got some basic wire wrapping mm -hmm. um, you, and making your chain, your jump yeah. rings and things. So I've said two hours to make it, mm -hmm. which I think is quite generous because it's not, it's not massive, yeah, complicated. Yeah. Um, so that's coming out with commission at £26.61. <sighs> now, with the chain mail, not, not the standard chain mm -hmm. then I would look to be doing 35 pounds 30 yeah. to 35 pounds so 
those are your costs because you have to count your time. Yeah, you do. Your time is not free. I had, and I've said it before, I had a lady, and when I used to do um, professional photography, I had a lady who came to me, um, I used to do a lot of animal sports, dog agility and yeah. things like that, and, and um, show jumping and stuff. And she came to me and said, oh, could you take some pictures of my dog? It was a lady from our dog club. And I said, oh, yeah, fine, you know, I'll, I'll fetch the um, proofs with me to club on Monday. And price list. And she went, are you going to charge me? And I was like, hang on a minute. You work in an accountant, oh, don't you? Gosh. So she said, yeah. I said, oh, great. Can I fetch my accounts? And you do those for free for me? No. Yeah. It's my job. Yeah. This, if you're selling it, is a job. Yeah, absolutely. You need to count your time. Yeah. Why should people expect you to do it for free mm. when they wouldn't do your job for free? Yeah. Exactly. And that, that really does annoy yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. So I would say, you know, round me £35 for a necklace with a, with a handmade, yeah. that would go. No worries. Amazing, and, and other places you might have different places you might need more commission yeah, yeah. a lot of if you're doing them in galleries you're looking at 50 percent commission yeah. you need to take that into account mm -hmm. but they would expect it to be more yeah so sorry i'm, I'm i need to re-put re me okay there you go which is There you go. Is, uh, I need to readjust. I am so sorry. <laughs> Reading. So, so that that was an interesting exercise for really me. Really useful. I'm more than really, happy really to put useful. this up. If yeah. people think it will be useful, That'd I'll be put great. this up on my Facebook page. Yeah. Because it's a basic way. There are lots of formulas on how to cost. Yeah. And do you know so. what? It would be it would be interesting as well. I think because perhaps uh, maybe a lot of people just kind of guess. Yeah. And then just put the price on at the end. Yeah. It's interesting to know exactly um, what you've got. Dawny Buckham, she says, Alison, not only are you an uber talented jewelry maker, this insight into oh. pricing is amazing. Uh, thank thank you. you so much for your insight and tips. It is really helpful, isn't it? Um, <laughs> Charlie um, says, great educational session. Oh, that's <laughs> a message from <laughs> Sheila uh, says, Alison, this is Brill Info. Thank you. Could you put this info somewhere accessible? I did a commission recently. This would have been fab. Oh. So I'll put this and I'll, 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 what, because I'll put it like this, but I'll also put under what I've done and yeah. how I've, uh, so okay. these columns are where I've calculated it. Yeah. And I'll put it on JM guest designer Alison Tarry. Excellent. So it'll be accessible to you. Fab, isn't it? So the other thing, while I'm going for my demo, the other thing to remember is, you're not that's not always going to work on the higher hourly things so yeah i've done things that have taken me 100 hours that formula oh, won't necessarily work yeah. so when you're doing a trade fair you make your money so where i've said you those earrings were costing out at 17 you put them in at 20 25 pound right things like that that's offsetting you're maybe not making as much as your hourly rate on yeah. something bigger. Like you were saying, if it's an individual item, yeah. if, if it's an individual item, then um, what, what you're having is time mm. to work out how to make it. Yeah. So what you need to do at a craft fair is have ones that you can almost churn out, right. that, are, that are good, easy makes to do. Like yeah, those yeah. Are earrings, all the same make, on a jig, great. You can you mm. can pop out those. They're still handmade. Yeah. But they're they're where you're gaining your time. Yeah, of course. Then when you have a more elaborate piece, yeah. which is going to take you a longer, mm. that's when you perhaps and look at you, it and go. Mm. Would you kind of balance that out, Alison? Because I am I'm just thinking of the pieces that I make because yeah. I don't have a lot of time at all. So and I don't really sell as such. But so for me, my jewelry making is just open the jump ring, pop the component on add it to the chain, close that jump ring. Right. So it is literally seconds of work. Would you kind of balance it out? Do you think I would say like you that? want 15 minutes minimum yeah. to add to that. Yeah. So you're still getting your time in it. Yeah. But then also think about where you've bought it from and how much would those components be. I've worked that out with kit components. Right. If you haven't got that kit, if you need a specific, you might have to pay more for it. So yeah. think about that. If you're using JM chains, mm. if you go somewhere else, you're not necessarily going to get the chains at that cost. So this is where your market research does. So like the cabochons, yeah. you'd go have a look at different places, be it walk down the high street and see what's selling, doing a craft yeah. fair. 
Yeah. So. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, if you've got any other questions for Alison, 60777, uh, 60 start your message with the word JM Studio. Um, if you've got any questions at all, if there's any hints and tips you want, any hints and tips, Alison will be only too happy pockets. to help you um, as well. So do get texting through for us. And remember as well, if you are watching on the web, you can also send through a message. So if uh, just below the, the live feed, there is a little box that says send message to studio. If you type it in there, click send, it all comes through on the same system. Um, so don't think that you have to send a text via the uh, the text messaging number that's on your screen on a mobile phone. If you send it in on the web as well, which is obviously free of charge as well, um, then actually it all comes through on exactly the same system. Our Becky, producer Becky, in the hot seat. There she is. Beautiful oh, Becky. The Beautiful am Becky. I, am I switched on? Sorry. Are you switched on, you're good to go. Am I good to go? Sorry I was making lots of noises that's apparently. Nice. <laughs> Tried to say I've had my dinner, then. but you know. <laughs> Right. Um, yes, if you've got okay. any, any questions, just, just text through. Right, so what are you going to show us then, Alison? Okay, now, now um, I wanted to show you something with the jig that we've got. I know, I, well, I've spied it yeah. coming up later. Um, Which... Well, it happens to be the one that's in there, but can we do that a bit later? Shall is, I do is, this? Is... Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so if we do that later, yeah. when we do that, because I was going to show you how to do the pink one. Brilliant. Because it's, it's, it's a technique I've done for a while. I know it's a very popular technique. I love doing it. Um, I very, oh, do you remember the little booties I made years yeah. ago? Oh, God, do you remember been those? here so many years. I've, yeah, I've still got I one. I think next time you should come in, you should bring in a few, a few of your older <laughs> creations. They made the mistake of saying that to me once. Did you have like, like, you know, a trailer? You know, you know the, the the room in in the ga in the kitchen. Yes. That meeting room. Yeah, yeah. I filled the table <laughs> like fetching ten to. I have I, I have imagine. a problem with the mount quantity. Yeah. Um, right, so this one here, Okay. if I fetch it through to here, there we go. So this one here, what it's got is a weave, a standard weave. Mm -hmm. Let's see, Pete's coming back to the run. So it's got a standard weave here. I you hold that on two. There you go. And what I've done is I've pulled the wires out. Uh -huh. So you used to, so Claire's done it with the spike. Um, I've used it for dragon spines. But using it as a fill-in area, it gives you such a beautiful design. Yeah. And you'd think, if you thought, oh, well, if I try and do, do point 0.4 like that, it's not going to hold. It does. Okay. It'll hold. So I'm going to show you how to do that. It, it, it's, it's great for a bezel fitting. It can do, it can do all sorts of different yeah. things. Um, I've lost my point four somewhere. Do you want, do you do want you to carry on with something? Um, Can I borrow that one? Yeah, yeah go on. Thank you. It's, it's underneath. I've got so much stuff around here. <laughs> I'm loving. I love it. Okay. Okay. Uh, eh, 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 eh. Right. There we go. On we come with that. Okay. So, point four. It's just a standard weave. You can do this technique with any weave you like. Okay. So, so um, for an edge, you do it with a spike, okay. but, but you can do this with any weave and you just get the most amazing wires because your point four will hold its shape unless you, you know, you really stretch it out or, or pull. Yeah. It's like a coil. Yeah. It will hold its shape. So this is literally just, just what I call a zigzag weave. So we're going to start at the bottom. I've only tweaked it. I've only tweaked it because um, I want to hold it on both the top and the bottom wires. Right. So I'm going to do twice round the bottom, twice round the next two, so the bottom and the next one up. So if we go one, two, three, four, five, if you want to number these, you can. Okay. I'm doing this short. I have got a longer one there to show you. Okay. Um, in between one and two. And then you, you're stepping up one each time. So you're now going over two and three and come between. Going on three and four. That's fab, that. Wait till you come to that. Oh, I've not seen it. Really. Oh, have you not? <gasps> right, and then you're going four and five. And then you're going to go twice round number five on its own. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to do the same coming back. So we're going to go four and five through the middle. Now it's changing direction. So we're going to go three and four. 
and pull it through the middle. Two and three, through the middle. Down to one and two, and then round one twice on its own. So you're getting this sort of pyramid, this zigzag, and then you chase it the other way. Now if I put this to the side, can I pop this over there? There we go. It's all right. I've got... Sorry, I'm saying it's all right to Ben. I don't often forget, but I do every now and then. So what you end up with is this zigzag wow. going down. But unlike a, unlike a normal zigzag, what you've done is you've captured it here. Yeah. Because if you just did the two round the top, when we pull the wires out, it would be loose. Okay. So that's why you want it just round the one. Yeah. Now, you want to pull the middle wires out. This is where you need a little bit of care. So you might start with the middle because mm -hmm. it's the one with the least security. What you can do is gently squid your wires if right. you want. That will just hold it in if you've been a bit looser. But you're going to pull this one. Now, if you've got dexterity issues, this may wow. be difficult or it may come straight out. Okay. Now, you start going along and you think, well, actually, that's quite a nice pattern on, on, on its own yeah, like, that. I like that. So you can start using these. Mm. So we're now going to try and pull the next one out. That's going to be a bit tight. So I'm going to go in. Now, take care. You just want to snip the inner wire and not the point four. And I'm going to need a finer... Where's my thin ones? Here we go. Okay, so you just want to get into that inner one there. Okay. So we're just going to snip that. And See, it means... where the zero mind is brilliant, isn't it, for things like oh, that? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. You can, you can get in with others. It just, it's a little bit more difficult. You can pull it, but if you can snip it halfway, I'm going to hold the top one. See, sometimes they get a little bit stuck. Okay. Depends how tight you've woven. Yeah. There you go. So we're, we're getting there now. Wow, look at yeah. that. Yeah, so, so like I said, again, you could use a pattern I like that. I love that. And like I say, you can do this with any weave. It's just a, it, it's a voyage of discovery when you start pulling your wires out. Yeah. And then you get left <gasps> with this that amazing... Is so cool. Now, you can actually take all the wires out and this oh just becomes gosh. like a spring. And it's put, but it holds its shape. Yeah. So it looks amazing. That is so cool. Now, we want to work this round into a circle. So we're going to ease this around. I'm going to bend these out just so they don't get in the way. Can I borrow your round gemstone, please? Of course you can. There we go. So basically what you're doing is forming this. You could form a bezel. It will push this out a little bit. So okay. you could form a bezel around. But mm -hmm. what we're doing is actually just taking this so that it goes around. Now you want the um, hole at the top because you'll actually, you'll actually um, fill in the hole on that. Just flat pliers now. So then we're going to bend our flat pliers out and get that to a point where it's going to be meeting. So that's about where we want to be. So that will stop, if I turn this over, this basically, you know, you can do your egg and spoon yeah. race with it, it's not going to fall through. So we're just going to tie these temporarily together. I'm just going to bind those together. Now, of course, that's got a problem because it's just going to fall straight back out the, the bottom. So what you need to do is we now need to put something behind it. You could do that front and back if you wanted. Okay. You, 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 you could do that most definitely front mm -hmm. and back. You could do it with ten. This was with five. Sorry, I didn't right. say that. That was with five. Okay. And you can see I've left about three inches after I've okay. done the diameter. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't say that. I got carried away. It's all right. Um, so you could do it front and back. Mm -hmm. If you did it with, if you did the zigzag coming out and then did it out, you could do it with the same wires, ten wires, and then pull through. Wow. Okay. Um, so with this, what you want to do is have another loop at the back. Now, if you've got something like um, pill bottles, are quite often quite good for that, or, or um, 
glue bottles yeah. or um, hammers are quite good yeah. for this sort of diameter. Okay. So you want to get something that's basically, of course you can always use the stone itself mm. because you want, you want a circle that's right. just smaller mm -hmm. than that gemstone. So get your rough circle and it, it'll, it'll tweak. So you can turn that out and you want to be able to sit it on the back. That's too big. Take mm -hmm. it down a bit. So I want to be about by there. Yeah. So we're going to bend your... It doesn't matter whether, Ben, it doesn't matter whether you start with it too big or too small because you can ease it out or okay. con contract it. Mm -hmm. It doesn't, it's not an exact, and even, even when you've got it to that stage where you're ready to wire it in, right. again, it doesn't matter. Okay. So we're going to take now a length of wire and I'm going to start, it's probably about a metre, it's about a metre and I'm just going to start in the centre here. I'm going to wrap it a couple of times round and you've got the most easy way to attach because if you look through here if you pop your wire through here I'm going to I'm going to do this to camera 2 so you're going to come through here you've now got the perfect gap ah. that wire you're never going to see so basically you go through there come back to the back and I'm going to swap over to this one can I pull this one down yeah so on the back, can you see how I've gone through there and then I catch it on the back and you uh -huh. do that all the way around. So you get this crisscross around it, ah. but you start in the middle yeah. so you can get it a bit even. Now, if it goes a bit out of space, then right. you can always just size it, but it looks okay, top mm -hmm. and bottom. Yeah. And then all I've done is made a gizmo, wow. a, gizmo a coiled coil, Popped two of the gemstones, two of the gemstones, two of habit, the wires through, two habit. of the wires through there. Yeah. Then, because you've got uh, two, four, six wire mm. ends, so two have gone up and through the middle, and that will be these two here. Okay. These two, I fetched around, and I fetched them. Th let me take this off. There we go. I fetched these two through the middle and formed the loop at the back. And this is just a six and two weave. Okay. Very, very straightforward weave, which we've done loads. And then the other two I fetched around and then just formed the loop. So it's covered the hole in the front. Yeah. It's covered the hole in the back. It doesn't matter if it flips round because it looks okay front or back. Mm -hmm. Slide that round. There you go. Covered my hole. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to put, if you want to pop a piece of wire through there, you can do yeah. a, a point four. <clears throat> you won't see it underneath there, just to stop it sliding round. Yeah. And then you've got a real statement, unusual wow, pendant. You can do that for any shape. That is super cool. I love. I love. And do you know what? It'd be really nice, I think, to experiment with different numbers oh. of wires, wouldn't it? Yeah change your wires yeah. it makes a fantastic ring shine yeah you can use it for great for doing a gallery prong set beautiful thank you so much fab. Alison I love that right it's a great time <laughs> I would probably just literally carry it round and, and just use it as a palm stone. Is it? Oh, it's just incredible. You it's, could do that technique with that and it would look amazing. Oh, imagine that, Alison. Mm. Um, uh, do you know what? There's 45. That's it. It's all we have. We could have done with a 500 quantity in this auction, I think. Yeah. Um, but unfortunately, we don't. We've it's only got... Four. I know, that, that cut is just super can, cool, isn't it? Just, it looks... It, it, do you know what? It reminds me of something, and I can't quite put my finger on what it is that it reminds me of. Can I borrow it? Yeah, of course you can. You see, so if you want to do it with your photography... Yeah, this is what we were saying. Oops, you're not going to sit up right, are you? You, you get the idea yeah. this ring isn't, isn't being the yeah. best. But, you know, as a display Perfect. for your photography, 
a stunning with things draped on it mm -hmm. all sorts absolutely I love this. Do you know what I would if if we had quantity of these today and we were allowed to I'd come in and I do you know what I'd get five and I would have them all the way down the centre of my dining table and I would have I'd just have little tea lights on top of them. Yeah. I think that would Amazing. just look beautiful, you know? The wedding. Yeah. Stunning. They're, they're, just... they're, they're so tactile, oh. they're so um versatile. Mm. I think for display, I, I don't think Fabulous. I would personally be using that in jewellery. I think I'd, I'd be using it for display, as Alison said, for photography, you know, if you're just, just taking a, a photograph, just having them on your craft stool, yeah. having that on your desk Mine at work, too. perhaps. If you are somebody that, um, you know, believes in the metaphysical properties of gemstones, just having that on your desk at work. Palm stone. <gasps> I'm not surprised. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Can I just say that there's... Over a hundred people at the moment that are going to mess out with these in baskets. I am so sorry. I am so. I can't so believe. So sorry. That. Many years Becky. ago. Becky. That 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 is well done, Becky. Well done. Sixteen ninety-five, and wow. it's gone. Look at all of those people. I know. Um, and I didn't even get to say John. Oh. Lots of multi buyers. We need lots. We do. And lots and lots more of those. Just imagine that in a Labradorite as well. <gasps> I, it's lovely. It's stunning in the aquamarine. But I mean, all the gem, all the gemstones. Is this new? Let's have a whole, yeah, it's brand new. We only had four to five. It's limited edition. I just love it. I know it's just... so tactile, isn't it? Love the colours. I love seeing the natural. It's state like the water, the... isn't yeah. it? You know, it is the gem of the It's just like. Oh, I love that. I'm so sorry if you missed out on that one. Um, our buying team are off again at the end of this month, so I shall um, give them a little nudge and ask for more of those. Fabulous. Right. Um, this Ooh. jig is coming up very, very soon. Excellent. Alice is very excited about this as well. I've not seen this one before. Um, we had them um, earlier in the year. We yeah. had three, three wig jigs. Um, I think by the time we described them, each one had sold out. We had so many people missing out. Wow. We'll do it in the next. <laughs> We've only got three left, Becky. And if you're... Becky did say, we'll do it in the next few hours. <laughs> if... um, yeah, we won't do it in the next hour because we've got deflecto. Um, but we will do that. Oh, it's inside. And, we, and I think they've got some of the... Oh, it's the, pe it's the pegs. Oh, it's the pegs in yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Silly me. Do you want to do it now? Should we do it now? Or do you no, want to, no, do you no, want to use fine. it in your demo later um, on, Alison? Well, I can use it in the demo later anyway. Should we do it later on? Yeah. I think we'll do it later on. Okay. I'll leave those. Ben, ben just said in my ear, there's a little bag stuck to the bottom. No, <laughs> it's, it's the pegs. You need the pegs. You do need the pegs. <laughs> but I will warn you because they just disappeared. Oh, and really? we've got the DVD to go with it as well, haven't we? Wow, we do. So. How about some more head pins? Mm -hmm. Move these out of the way. We've got lots of uh, deflecto storage oh, today I coming know. up in the next hour. It's so popular, and I just I know. Love the do you know? I think with a lot of um, storage, a lot of the time we we tend to think, oh well, people have already got it, so they won't come in again. Deflecto, people just, just buy more because it does. It stacks up and it fits together so and, well. And it's, that's your footprint, so yeah. it doesn't take much room, but it goes on. It's brilliant, isn't it? Uh, not long to wait for your deflecto. Uh, silver coloured brass ball head pins, 40 millimetres in size. They are absolute essentials. Now, if you're brand new to us here at Jewelry Maker with your very first purchase, you will get two genuine gemstone strands and a getting started DVD free of charge. There's no minimum spend requirement. I feel a very low price coming on for these. Ooh. A hundred. A hundred head pins for earrings yeah. for pendants yeah. for bubble style bracelets bubble style yeah. necklaces you're always going to see i always like to finish um a piece of jewelry on a head pin because i don't want a loop at the bottom yeah. so i can rosary link anything like that yeah. i want even if you're just using them to pop a head a, a gemstone uh -huh. at the back of your piece of jewelry yeah. just to finish it off yeah 
It, 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 it does. It, it, it's that a little bit of attention to detail Tis. that makes a huge difference, yeah. doesn't it? You know, it makes you look very, very professional. Two pounds and sixty-five Brilliant. pence. Now, if you know anybody, if you've got any friends or family members that have shown a slight interest in what you do as a jewelry maker, let them know that if they come in today and get these two pounds and sixty-five pence, that they'll get those two free genuine gemstone strands and a getting started DVD. Now. On the web, if you are coming in and you are recommending a friend, just below your details oh, yeah. on the web, there is a link that you can follow. If you click via that link, when your friend places an order of £20 or more, you both get £10 credited to your account. Really? Yes. Oh, wow. How amazing is that? And we did have a confirmation today because we was like, well, hang on a minute. So if it's £10 for every time you recommend a friend... If I went out and did a huge jewelry maker recruitment, <laughs> yeah. like I could, there's if, no limit. If you've got a bead group, there's no limit. If you go to a craft group, ten, them all ten up. pound for every friend yeah. that you recommend. I think that's it's absolutely brilliant, brilliant isn't it? Um, and there are no limits. So get everyone involved because all they'll be spending today is two pounds and sixty-five pence. They'll get their two free genuine gemstone strands and getting started oh, DVD no. as well. And all they're spending is two sixty-five. Honestly. That's brilliant. Honestly. Want me to put those away? Yes, thank you, lovely. <laughs> um, oh, how many of these do we have back? You're good, you are. Okay. Fastest fingers first. I've got 52. Don't these look... I think they look like gold-plated 95. These look they very high-end. They look very luxurious. They've got that high gold content feel to them, haven't yeah, they? Yeah, they just they, they they don't look brassy. No. It looks more of the kind of champagne gold, mm. the more softer gold. Oh, I love these. Do you know what these are gonna be very, very popular? Um there's a hundred pieces. I have a feeling you need to get involved. Same. They're last of stock. They're last oh. of stock. That's it going to go. This this is my ideal bundle for me. I mean, I've never made a bubble star bracelet or bubble star necklace, yeah. but I love movement in jewellery. So I think this would be the opportunity that I would take yeah. to try and create want, that design. Do you want me to grab the example that they had behind here? So, so, so the, the people pearl. know what, oh, what, yeah. what one is. So, so this is what she's talking about as a bubble a style. Edition, isn't it? I what? That one there. I've not seen that one before. Oh, that's from, that's from the second kit. These oh, are, that's it? my second oh, kit. Oh, is it? <laughs> when did we put them there? When, when, when you were over there. Oh, okay. we, we put them there earlier. Super efficient. Yeah, I like that. It doesn't. It does. That's new to me. It's normally over there. You see the second kit. You see, to me, Bubble the style. difference is where you've got the the loop at the end yeah. to a head pin. I much prefer. That still looks lovely, but the finishing detail of having that head pin at the end instead, I think, is incredible. Yeah. It does make a huge it's difference. Huge difference. It's attention it's, it's, to detail, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, bubble style. And guess what we have now? Wow. Do we? Yeah. But I've only got 15. Do you say one five, Beck, or five zero? One five. Oh dear. I need it in bingo calling. <laughs> One and five. Fifteen. Fifteen. Um, somebody just bought ten of the cold ones. Oh. Mm. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised at that price. To, the thing is, it must be terribly frustrating if you're making a design and you run out of headpins. I oh, mean, yes. Yeah, we can make them ourselves, but it's not the same finish, is it? To get, you can do them in sterling. Yeah. You can't do them in plated. No. Um, and and the time that it takes to do them, would you like me to put them away for you? <laughs> I, I don't mind. I'll Aww. clear up after you. Yeah, you go to the next one. Oh, lovely. So lovely. Oh, is it that time? Where did that hour go? Sorry, <laughs> I talked a lot. Sorry. No, I love it. It's, it I, just, I love it. There's just so much going on, isn't there? Right. The next hour. Deflecto. Um, we've got loads of Deflecto coming up for you. They are last of stock, I do believe. It's a very, very popular storage range here at Joymaker. It is not to be missed. Do not go anywhere. We'll be back in a few.
I'm Tony Johnson. Um, I live in Essex with my husband and my little tabby cat Bert. I'm a dental nurse by day and a crazy, passionate jewellery maker by night. <laughs> My first experience at a trade show was um, Christmas time. Uh, I think it must be two years ago. A few people commented, oh, your work's beautiful, yours really lovely, um, very detailed, which is really nice to have strangers be really positive about the work that you're doing and something that you're really passionate about, that it's not my full-time job. You know, it's, it's what I do in the evenings and at weekends. Often you do more than one day, so you'll do a whole weekend or, or three days. The first day will always be quieter than the second day. Guarantee they'll either come back in the afternoon on that first day or they'll be back on the second day. But don't panic. Trust in your work. Smile. It improves, it gets better. Just keep going. Don't give up. Tune into Jewelry Maker every morning at 8 a.m. for our Breakfast Club. We'll be bringing you low, low prices, last chance to buy, and end of line stock. Make sure you're watching because once the deals are gone, they're gone. Check out your Wall of Fame entries in this hour and be in with a chance to win £100 credit to your account. The Breakfast Club on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker have an extensive range of DVDs for all abilities. Each of our mediums has an introductory DVD to help you get started. If you're already an experienced jewellery maker, we have a collection of projects and more advanced DVDs to take your designs to the next level. So visit our website for more information. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Wake up and tune into Jewellery Maker every morning at 8am for our early bird special. We have some great offers, amazing deals and great prices to bring to you. So that's 8am every morning and you know what they say, the early bird catches the worm. If you have a question or a query for Jewelry Maker, then you can contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewelrymaker.com. Did you know that when you book a Jewelry Maker workshop, you're given exclusive access to our Jewelry Maker shop? You can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call centre. Did you know, no matter how many times you purchase with Jewelry Maker in the same day, you'll only be charged one fee of postage and packaging. Select our standard delivery for just $3.95, or if you'd like to receive your goods sooner, upgrade to our premium option for $5.95. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. We have got 
Oh, <laughs> it is a one to own hour. We don't really have a one to own because we've just got everything you need to own. John, um, I hope you're ready. Oh my gosh, like I just don't know where to start. Now, um, the Deflecto range. Now, I do forgive me, we have a lot of guests here at Jewelry Maker. I think it's. It wasn't Gavin, Gavin's from Connoisseurs. Andy Gentleman. from Deflecto. Oh my gosh, it's literally just gone out of my head. I've, not, I've never met the, the chap, but, but I've been yeah. Gavin. No, Gavin's from Connoisseurs. Oh. Yeah. I think it's Andy. Peter Larson was from Carson. <laughs> That's a waste of Isn't Andy Dremel? Oh. But there could be more I'm than one so Andy. I'm sorry if you're watching. I'm sure it was Andy from Deflecto. It might be. It might be. If you're watching, text us. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm so sorry. Um, either way, um, every time Stop we've had anything. this range, um, it, it, it's just flown. It's, it's, it is, it's like, it's like the sterling silver of the storage world. It is. It's, 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 it's for the absolute professional. It, like, it's just, it looks so professional, doesn't it? You it, know? It, it looks professional. It is so amazingly functional. It's brilliant. I absolutely adore it. I have quite a lot of it. Um, yeah. I, I just love it. John's bought a load for John. Wow. I I'm, know. I was on with Lara and I'm like, I want one of those. I want some of those. Yeah, I love yeah, 10 yeah. of those. I love five of those. It's, it's brilliant and uh, you Love know it. every time we've had it we've had so Love many it. text messages in um from customers again with it's yeah. always the same with all of the storage but the different uses for all of you, the different uses for all of the storage like there's so many different ways um in which we can use them so this is the carousel so this one spins oh. around and it you just you can build on it. That's the great yeah. thing about this storage, as you were saying, Alison. You just build on it. Um, we kept uh, on the um, the international beading week. We gave away that huge bead scoop that was in one of these. Yeah, um, we kept that in one of these, and obviously that was layering up different colours of, of beads. But how cool did that look? If you are a seed beader, just to have that even if it is for display or whatever it may be, you know, it just looked fabulous. It really did. Um, but these, I mean, for tools, they're amazing. For your tubes of seed beads. Yeah. So I think we did experiment once upon a time and managed to get around 12 to 15 tubes of seed beads yeah, in there, stood up. Uh, no problem at all. Um, so they're great for that as well. So if you wanted to maybe, I'm thinking like, you know, colour, cool. so we have lots of different tones of green in there, lots of different tones of your blues yeah. in that one, reds in that one, if it is seed beads that you're using, for example. Um, obviously, they're a great size for tools as well, so if you want to get your pliers yeah, in there, your pliers are going all there. of your, your tools, fantastic. It, it sounds quite obvious again, but I think this is something that we see throughout the storage here at Jewelry Maker, whatever the branding, is when you've got that transparency, you can see what you're looking for. Because so many jewellery makers and crafters alike just spend so much time looking for things, That's you know? That's why I love it. Um, and this, obviously, you know, we can, we can spin that round, we can find exactly yeah. what we're looking for. If you've got some kind of system going on, whether it to be, uh, you know, colour coding or doing things alphabetically or graduating, whatever it may be. Um, that I love the fact that we can just have that on our workstation, find exactly what we're looking for. If you are a, a card crafter, you know, putting yeah. your little bits of ribbon and paper and all these little accessories and stick-ons, sequins and all that kind yeah. of thing, you know, it's great for every craft it's absolutely brilliant and i can remember when we had uh, these on air um we had somebody texting in that was um that made cakes yeah, and, yeah. and said how useful brilliant. that would be um to pop toppers. Your toppers in there and, and things like that and different tools yeah. that are involved with cake making and stuff like that and these again will stack up so if you've got any more um that you want to to add to that you can just keep stacking them as well so with this one you've got nine individual tubs or compartments so you've got three of these larger ones here 
And then if I turn that round, you've got six of the smaller ones there as well, which is still a really, really great size. I mean, you're going to get a lot in those, oh, aren't gosh, you? Oh, gosh, yeah, absolutely. So you could put, <laughs> I mean, you could put your gemstones in there. You yeah. Can put, see, this, this going to a show is great. Most yeah. of this storage, I, which is why I love it, it's so well thought out mm. for, for different sizes, different uses. You could put all your herbs in there. Yeah. You could put your rices in there. Because mm -hmm. if I remember Pasta rightly, rice, it's, cereals. It's, yeah, yeah. yeah, absolutely. I've, it's fab. It's brilliant, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You know, John can put... Put, put his different, so he uses different gla grasses, I know it sounds funny, so you get a little flock that would go, you can have yeah. a different one in each yeah, colour, yeah. easily accessible, wow. spin it round, absolutely brilliant. That's Love what it. I mean, it's like anything yeah. and everything when it comes to storage it doesn't just have to no. be about jewelry making and this is why i love it when we get new customers coming in for these kind of things because it might be that you know you've got a very disorganized other half that has got bits and bobs all yeah. over the garage and whatever there's so much of this storage that is ideal for the guys as well uh, b t d f 62 is your code for this one half of the stock has gone how many did we have back originally Cause this is Okay, we only had 45 of these last of stock. So, um, lots of you that have already been in, and this is what I was saying before, kind of in my head, I've always thought, ah, look, people have got them, so they won't come in again. But we always need more storage I, because we're always buying more. I thought this was more expensive than that because that surprised me because that's such a brilliant price great, for what you're it? getting. And like I said, it, like you said, it spins, you can, you can access it easily. Yeah. Exactly. It's got quite, you know, it's got quite a tidy little footprint as well. It's yeah. not taking up tons of space mm -hmm. for for the volume of stuff you've got yeah. in there. It's which brilliant, to me, isn't it? I've got quite a small house and a lot of stuff. Right. <laughs> so, so anything that saves space yeah. is amazing. That saves floor, floor space. Absolutely. Especially now we've got a big and, and again. especially being able to stack that up yeah. as well, yeah. which I think is is brilliant with Absolutely. these as well. There are a lot of people multi buying yeah. for these as well. It Don't might be that you them. already have have it it might be that you only got one last time and you're coming in for that second one today to stack up on top of there as well absolutely fantastic bt df i want to know if you're multi-buying are you going to have one full of big ones and then one full of little ones are you going to swap them over oh i would i'd have all my big ones yeah, in yeah. one and i'd have all the little ones I quite like the idea. I mean, I'm not a seed beater, but I really like the idea of just just, just one putting of all the different colour, like tones yeah. of green in one, reds in the other, you know, purples. Let's say having all of that, I think it'd be really yeah. satisfying. And, and then you can put your delicates and the smaller tubes yeah. in the others. Yeah, exactly. You can have it's one ideal. for all your all your threading materials. Yeah. You can have one for your needles. Uh huh. But it's good. like you say, whether you're doing needle craft, if you're doing, you've got Anything. all your different silks, again, you can split them because mm. I do like having my stuff in colour, sorted by colour, yeah. or gemstone, then colour. Yeah, it's really helpful, you though, know, isn't it? Now, one for your blue, yeah. one, for your, one for your blue amethyst, one for your purple, one for your. The wheelie base. Oh, it's my favourite bit. This is so It cool. reminds me of being a kid. Do you know what? And my dad having something in his garage that we used to use just to literally sit on like a skateboard <laughs> to go down hills, yeah. Um, don't do that with this. <laughs> um, so this is brilliant. And I love, and it sounds nuts, but if you're a parent that's ever used a pushchair, the wheel thing is important. <laughs> you need those wheels and the suitcases as well yeah. when you're trying to wheel your suitcase around. Um, the, the wheels that spin around. So, you know, you can literally... That's that is thought a yeah. big piece like of the say, thought process. This is got such a this. well thought out packaging um, series. So if so. you can just pass me that one. Over so do you want the tray? Yeah. So so these stack up. So this is your base. You can use them without. Yeah. I've got two of these. Like I say, one for home. One yeah. For, one for the boat. You pop that in, and then you just it's, clip it in. Yeah. And it. And then you can go. Carry that one. to go. I think mine's five high at home. Is it? I think it's five high. It must be good though, if you, if from from your point of view, just having it by the side of you when you're working, and and, and being able to just, you know, push it around and take it to different rooms. And Absolutely. Take one off, put the others back. Because you can do that, and take. Or you can take the top four off yeah. and go to the bottom one. Because mm. there's nothing worse than having to take. All of them all off of them individually off. and stack yeah. them all back on. But they lock in. But so they lock can... in, so you can you can carry them individually yeah. or together. And if you don't want to have that, if you want it low level, mm -hmm. then you don't have to. You can literally just pop 
a couple of those in. <clears throat> Brilliant, and you're good it? to go. Yeah. It's and these brilliant. stack on top of each other as well. They're and they're all made like that. So yeah. I love these because you can stack, but they've also got the things on the back as Ooh, well. Got that. So you can take these out, and then if you've got the bar. <laughs> I love this. How cool is this? So the bar screwed to, to the wall, perhaps, at your workbench. Yeah, you can take those off and you can pop them on. Genius. Absolutely Super. genius. Uh, so the wheelbase for you by itself, DNDF32, £12.95. Get it home. And do you know you've got a 30 day money back guarantee yeah. on everything here at Jewelry Maker on your gemstone strands, on your tools, on your kits, everything, including uh, the Deflecto range as well. So if you've not seen it before, if you've not tried it before, this is brilliant. See, again, if you've got groups or, or there's a couple of you working, of you can just you can pass it along. You're in the middle of doing something. Can I have something out of that? Yeah. <laughs> Boop, slide it. You just pass go, it along. off it goes to yeah. someone else. And, you know, it sounds mad, but you will understand this if you've got anything from the Deflecto range. Sometimes you can buy products like this that are pretty naff. And they're very flimsy, and they no. they look quite cheap. They fit. No. It, I mean, it sounds nuts, doesn't it? But if you've got the deflector range, you'll know exactly what I mean. Like, you can just tell that you've got that that stability and that strength. The weight I've got in mine. Mm. There's a lot of weight in mine. Like I say, I'm I'm five of these. Yeah. I'm I'm five of these tall. Yeah. And I've got another one with more. Mm. And they're fabulous. The weight in each of these, I have, these are packed. So, so each oh. of these are packed full. Yeah. Gemstones. So I've got things like, um, we've, we've, are these the little ones? Or are these two big ones? Those are the big ones, Those are yeah. the two big ones. So you also get little ones. Mm -hmm. And I've got, say, one's got all my, all my, um, DVDs. Yeah. So I've got those are the makes for that DVD. So if yeah. I need to fetch it into the studio, I just pull mm. that out. Brilliant. Um, um, Tracy's just texting as well. Oh. Dried food storage. Oh yeah. I like that idea. I love that. You could just have those stacked high, pop that into the pantry, couldn't you? Yeah. When you need pull anything. Yeah. See, I was also thinking because oh, it was Tanya, not Tracy. Because sorry. I've got um, three dogs that have three different lots of food. <laughs> I could pop the different food Gosh, in. Gosh, kids is easier. Different, yeah, no. <laughs> but one I'm trying to get weight on, one I'm trying to get weight off. Oh, my God. And one is just dried, but it's only little, so oh. that's a lot less. Gosh. Oh, yeah, it's not Nuts. There. Um, so I think it's this one next. Yeah. Uh, this one, Sorry, so I'm this is, no, 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 I know. <laughs> well, to be fair, Alison, you've used them a lot more than yes. I have anyway. So this one is the double, it is this one, isn't it? Did you get two? Is it this one? Is it? Oh, it has got the little ones in. The little ones are this side. Do you get the whole... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Excellent. Um, so you get the whole... So perfect with the wheels and this. This is a great gift That's idea right. as well, you know. So you get... A, Two of a those. Big, a big, a double one and a single. Should we and take three them out? Should we take them out? Are we gonna? Yeah, right. I think we need to. We need to show them. Exactly we're gonna, are we gonna have to rip it out? Yeah. Are we all right? Yeah. That's fine. I'd rather everyone see exactly oh. what they're getting. Oh, there you go. Do you want me to, yeah, Can just, you see that on camera four, Ben? Or? They just, this okay. will just slide we'll just take them out. out. Just... There we are. It's like Christmas, isn't it? Um, so they all come out. So this is, the, is the, 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 the carrier, if you like, that slots into the wheelbase. You can then take all of your tubs out individually. So we've got four of the singular ones, um, like Brilliant. this. And then you've got the double one there as well, which again, I think is great for tools, this one. Yeah. And Definitely. then if I just show you, I'm going to show you the bar again on this one. So the bar, uh, which we'll do in a little while for you, just literally screws to the wall. You've got two um, screw holes at the bottom. Sorry. You can pop that again into the garage if you want to, above your workbench. So you can take them off the caddy and as you're using them, just pop them, just where you're working. I love that. I know. <laughs> Lara and I were on a show with all this and we were exploring it was the first time we were having we we were going mad we're like oh, no, no, no. This, each new I piece know. the thought is it's amazing brilliant. that is just incredible it's, that you can do that so, with it it's brilliant and I, if we had a drill I would literally yeah, drill in it we'd have loads sure. of them along here and we'd just, oh, it's just really that. really handy but 
again, you know, you could pop those at the, at the back of your, your pantry if yeah. you wanted to, to pop those on the wall. Yeah. That's great space saving as well, yeah. isn't it? Because you're taking them off of the floor and then you're putting them onto the wall as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. If, you, if, you, if you've got, if you're doing, you know, we're talking trade. So this situation is fantastic because you can take them out of your craft room pop them in the caddy you can wheel it to the to the show so yeah. long as it's not six foot of mud to be fair yeah so long as you're on car you know so you don't need your trolley you can wheel them on that on on reasonable ground and off you go you're there to set up you can offload them brilliant so you can have all your earrings in one lay them in you can yeah. put all your necklaces lengthways in one of these because you can lay yeah. them out it's long yeah, enough yeah. you can do all sorts of things like that you can have your bracelets in one it's brilliant you just take them and and it's so easy when you come yeah. back you pop them pop them away either on the slider or mm -hmm. on this wheeled out the way yeah. ready for your next craft show yeah it's sweets in so one easy. money in the other if you wanted yeah. to as well yeah um and these again these ones all stack up yeah. so obviously you pop those back no reason why you can't pop on those top. on yeah. as well we haven't had these since birthday week i'm not surprised gosh years flying isn't it so i don't know when we're going to have them again what kind of quantity did we have back we started with 87, over half of the stock has gone. Um, just to let you know, there's a lot of people buying two and there's a lot of yeah. people buying threes of these as well. 19 pounds and 95 pence. So you've got your little, in there, you've got your little grooves that they sit in and then your little lock plate. So they're really secure. Secu yeah, they don't slide around. So even if you just put one in, you can hook it in there. And even if you've got the Gosh, one in, it doesn't go anywhere. anywhere it's it? so, so clever. Um, Sheila in Northamptonshire says, Alison, this is brill info. Uh -huh. Thank you. Could you put this info somewhere accessible? I did oh, a commission yeah. recently. Oh, I'm on the wrong message. Oh, it's not on my screen. Uh -huh. um, Karen in Devon uh, says, love Deflecto. Got 12 of the caddies. Um, and two lots of the wheels, uh, two carousels, four cubes, and two drawers. She's beating me on the caddies. Do you know what? I've got it, two wheels. Really, I need more of the caddies. So many of the customers that have been waiting for these as well. These are just Ingrid amazing. says, I love this storage, slowly transforming all my stash yeah. into Deflecto, and JM prices are great. Do you know that's Brilliant. a very good point? Because if you research it, these prices are amazing. Yeah. Fabulous. It's amazing, isn't it? Absolutely amazing. Um, uh, SKDF79 uh, is your code for this one, 0800 644 or on the web at jewellerymaker.com. Right, so... We just stack, can I just say, you just yeah. stack the next one on that and then that clip clips in. in, so they all clip in, so all these are securely it's clipped. Easy, or they flatten isn't down. it? It's so that's easy. So well done. To use. It's brilliant. So amazing. Though. Right. Now, the wire dispenser, I've seen this once before. So I'm this... I'm so excited. I didn't know... Have you got this? <laughs> well, you've got... Yeah, I've got... <laughs> I got just everything. love them. I just... This must be brilliant for you, Alison. Uh, do you know? As a wire worker. Talk about such... Oh, I'll leave such, that next year. This, this is... This, I reckon someone who does crafts has really thought about this storage. It's amazing, isn't it? So I'll try and open this one for you. These just slip slip in. So these are these are like your your um, I was going to say hinge. So that's not what I mean. Brackets. So these are where your your rod goes. These literally just slip into the side. Beautiful fit. They're not fixed, so you can take them back out. So if I if I can you see? There you go. You can see it. You can see it there. Just slip slips in. Like I say, they're not they're not glued or or, or mm -hmm. whatever. And then you just pop your rod. onto there and it clips in I put you there you go it. whoops Ooh. that's why that's why it wasn't going in because it wasn't in the right place that just clips in there yeah and it does clip in securely you, i wonder how many reels i'm sure um andy said was it 15. so it's it, i mean on on the packaging they've got ribbon so okay. if you, so if you, you could use like, your ribbon so as well you obviously your ribbons in, or, or, yeah all our yeah. ribbons and everything so would you mention Obviously, with wire, you're not going to be able to close the lid. You will, you will perfectly. You will, but and dispense it because it obviously will. Do you know what I mean? But well, with ribbon, it will slide it with, no, through. I don't, do you yeah, see what I mean? Yeah. Hang on, let me pop. You not can, that that would be a problem. No, because you, you do it with it open. Yeah. The whole point is, it, it keeps it contained. So, 
Oh, it would if I hadn't attached. Don't worry, we get the idea. Isn't but that you brilliant? can pull that out. So, and I know that you, because you said lots of times, particularly with the, 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 when they untangle and it unravels, which is why you always, always do that as well. Yeah. Brilliant. It's brilliant. Absolutely fantastic for wire. But as Alison says, on the uh, on the picture, it's got ribbon on there as well. And I know that if you go into the crafting stores, actually, um, that when you buy ribbon by the meter, they are in yeah. these kind of storage already automatically to, to be dispensed by the meter. We do chain ones. You can put your your threading material yeah. on here. You can put your fire lines on here, Ooh, your wildfires, your, your monofilament, your elastic. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. Love 11 it. pounds and 95 pence. I do only have 45 though, so you're going to have to be super duper quickly. Uh, we are way over allocated. Jojo, you've got yours. Christine, Susan, Jean, Jane and Terry, Sylvia, Diane, Neil, uh, Linda, Andrea, Ali, Sarah, Eileen, Shona, Tracy, Angela. Bear in mind again, all of this deflector that we have for you today is last of stock. I don't know when we're going to have it back. And they fit in the caddy excellent same so size so your three one fits in the caddy perfect isn't it i think you need to get it home 30 day money back guarantee see. you see i just I, I keep thinking about the, the chaps with this and how organized you could be in the garage yeah stack that up on your wheels <gasps> off you go yeah do fixing your car up yeah you know bits and bobs. the other bit of a car and those are, are, are on the wall in the garage as well oh, you yeah. see all your, nuts, you've got all your screws nuts bolts all your spanners. And exactly, my husband. He doesn't know what a nut or bolt or screwdriver is. Uh, £11.95. Lynn, Jenny, Rosalind, Leslie, Charmaine, Sarah Lynn, Kim, Zoe. Check out as soon as you can. Right, so the large caddy container. Right, so it's, it's this one without the attachments for that. And I think it has the tray in the top. Ah. Uh, if I remember Is right, it that one there, Emma? So you might. That one. Oh, there you go. Yeah. So does it have the tray in the top or no? No. It's without the tray. So it's the empty one. Okay. Um, so this one, and just bear in mind as well that they all have, all of these ones have the uh, the clips on yeah. the back so that you can clip it to the rail um, if you have screwed it to the uh, to the wall in your in your workshop. So this one again, I mean, there's loads of room in there for tools because it hasn't oh, got yeah. any dividers in there. Um, loads of room for tools. Again, it could be paint brushes, makeup brushes as a hairdresser. Oh, this is brilliant for a hairdresser, you know. All your brushes oh, that'd be and great. your nail rollers. artist hairdresser. Yeah. Yeah, genius, isn't it? Oh, 800, 655. So this one, that all, my, all of these ones are made to the same size specification so that it does stack in the wheels and they will stack on top of each other as well. So if you wanted to stack that one onto the three individual ones, easy peasy, just fits in. JADF47 is your code for that one. You could literally put anything in that one, oh, couldn't you? Could. And you could put, you know, several, like, you could put wire in there, you could put tools in there, you could put a mixture of this, that, and everything in there. You could put your underwear in there, your socks in, in the rolled up ones, your, your, your knickers in a big one. Sort your wardrobe out. What kind of craft fairs is Alison Terry going to? <laughs> uh, well, admittedly, <laughs> not for a craft fair. <laughs> J -O. DF47. Do you know what? We've only got 53. It's just £7.95. Again, in the bathroom, Alison. Pop that Pop on the wall, wall in the bathroom. Have your cosmetics in there, little yeah. bottles of this, that and the other. Different soaps in your different, different. Um, you know, like if you it. have your bubble, yeah. not your bubble bath, the salts. Yeah, <gasps> salts in your bath Ooh. bombs and things like that. Yeah. Nice. Um, £7.95. Oh, oh. I know, it's brilliant, isn't it? And I love I this one because we can put everything in it. Does. together as well you know that i oh, think that would be my can, kind of can throw i show in. you something about those yeah and, and have we got any, some of these bags coming up very later? few okay right what i found out how cool Perfecto. is that it's brilliant just goes in oh i like that alison oh these are ace these are oh it those. does it comes out it's fine <clears throat> Because I've actually that wasn't shut properly, but I've actually no, I've carried stuff. To, I've carried stuff around. See, I think that is the best. In. It's it's better in the one with the mesh. Yeah. Because this does stick yeah, out a bit. But if you, oh sorry, Genius. do you want me to put them back in the Genius. Yeah, I'll put them back on. Right. That's the one. Um, is it this one, or is it that it's one? It's the top one. Okay. Oh, this one. Ah. You want that one with it. So the tray that goes in there. Stationery. How 
All your findings. All your CBs. money at the craft fair. Yes, money. You've got your you've got your your card reading stuff underneath. You've got oh. your coins. You can put your notes underneath. Yeah. That's great, isn't it? It's oh, just no. so fab. Brilliant. I just love, love, love this. Can you There's tell? no end. <laughs> I, love, I love the fact that we say no, no, no. You just keep building it. You do. It just keeps growing. It's great. But, and because they're all modular, you pick it up and go. And yeah. It stands on its own, so the footprint is that big. Yeah. That's you can have brilliant. towers of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was from... Okay. Edgar. I'll put that one over. <laughs> so much Sorry, I'm, I'm being so bossy today. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You're not at all. Uh, MKDF13. So that is for the little compartment that pops into that one as well. So we'll see. So you have to do it, do it, do it from the middle. middle. From the middle. Um, four pounds and ninety-five pence for you this afternoon. So remember, any crafting. Anything, yeah. absolutely anything, anywhere around the home, for craft fairs, you name it. It's brilliant. Kids' it really toys, is. like you say, crayons. Oh, gosh, yeah. Your stamping stuff. Yeah. Your Christmas stuff. Sorry. Ooh. Christmas deckies. Yeah. In one of these. <gasps> Christmas deckies, all in the trolley. Gosh, brilliant, isn't it? Four we pounds, like nine Christmas. Pounds. Yeah, I like that idea. Because like I'm Christmas. sure everyone's Christmas box is the same, is it not? It's, Tangles. Yeah. Yeah. Right, interlocking storage organizer. That one? Uh, that's not the. I think it's that one. I think that's the oh, interlocking is, one. Is this the cubey one? Oh, oh, is this the? Is this? What shape is it? It's a square. Oh, is it this one? No. This is a stackable cube. Oh, it could be cube. that one. What's it called? Oh, is it that one? Is it oh, this that's one? Fab. Oh, look at this. Tools, pens. Brushes. This is brill. Love this. I got these for John for his brushes. Yeah. It's ideal, isn't it? Yeah. Look at that for organisation. Ooh! Um, now you can see that you've got these little, um, what would I call them, Alison? Grooves. Yes, thank you. Uh, little grooves. So obviously you've got the ones that stick out, the ones that go in. So they literally slide yeah. into each other so that they fit together. So if you've got, you know, I don't know, five of these perhaps along your workbench, three of them, all you do is slot them in together and then that will become one unit for you, if you like. So you can have it that way if you wanted to. You can have it that way if you wanted to on your desk. It's entirely up to you. They're so good. These Back are. Back to your good. makeup, your lipsticks, your, yeah. you know. All your brushes and, and things. And the, the right size to fit in the tray and the caddies as well. No, no, the, the big. Oh, these ones. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, perfect. Absolutely. The other way, perfect. I think they go the other way around. No. No, they do. I'm going to let you do it, Alison, because you're the pro. I'm being too they careful. Do, they do go in. They, they go in. They go in. Oh, no, no, they no, go in this that one. one. Not the wheels. Not the wheels. They, in go in, they go in that, in the tray, in the caddy. If you've yeah. got the caddy, they fit. To carry They're it. the same size as the small. Bring it over, Alison. We'll take one of the small ones out and we'll pop that in so you we'll can see what back. we mean. Oh, I was getting confusing. You know when you think? When yeah. you think, I know I've seen it. I know I've seen it. There and I go. knew Alison was right, but I couldn't understand why that wasn't working. It's because we had the wrong thing. There you go. <laughs> um, so just pop that in there. Off your pot. And off you go. So you can have a load of that. Yeah. Again, you're back to, to your makeup or going to a craft show. Mm. You've got your various um, tools sitting in there. Yeah. Because I know it's not designed for pools, tools, but it will take them. Yeah, Because this is, this is squidgy. Yeah. So there's so, room for so movement So this bit here there. isn't rigid. Mm -hmm. So it will actually take, if you want to be really posh, you could actually oh. take. That's organised, isn't it? Look at that. Off your pot. I know, very professional. Very, very professional. 0800 644 655 BSDF34 is your code for this one. All the way down to £9.95. Do you know what? I love the design of that as well. Yeah. Um, in that, I know that my son would just think that's a really cool pen pot for his desk in his bedroom. Yeah. You know? That's, that's great, isn't it? It really is. Um, £9.95. and pence. Remember, any of these items you can multi-buy. They are last of stock today. We don't know if or when we will be having them back. So do take advantage and remember that you do have a 30-day money-back guarantee with everything. Brilliant. Thank you. Interlocking. Stacking. That one. 
Look at these. These are ace. Ta-da! They're great, aren't they? Look at that. All your seed beads in there. All your findings. Gemstones. Colour coordinate again. Both ends come yeah, off. They're both, and they just, it, like you say, it keeps building. Yeah. It, you know, they all interlock, so you can just keep um, popping them on top of each other as well. Oh, gosh, Alison. <laughs> there we go. There we go. You know that knack we always talk about? I don't have yeah. it. Uh, oh, like putting a lens on a camera. There we are. Look at that. Imagine having all of these, Alison. Oh, no. Like, I'm calling it the pen pot. It isn't necessarily pen pot, but that one. And then these on your desk. Yeah. And then these little drawers oh, as well. And then your wheels and the caddy and everything else. I know. I know. It's just amazing. Sto amazing storage solutions you've got here. Oh, 800, 644, So you get three of these. Uh, in one tier but obviously you can multi-buy stack them up higher if you want to or just have rows of yeah. them uh, along the back wall on in your craft room on your workbench as well at uh, 27.9 by 7.6 centimeters in size i'm thinking food again for again. these i'm thinking kitchen with these yeah. ones herbs yeah your herbs up in brilliant here. for herbs and spices aren't they yeah oh 800 six triple four six double five qg df three zero is your code for these lots of you getting involved um, with the storage at this hour make sure you're calling in and checking out nice and early on the web as well just seven pounds and 95 pence so again i'm thinking of my son's desk now um because we're reading yeah. his room so getting that one for the pens this yeah. one elastic bands paper clips yeah, yeah. drawing pins all that kind of thing yeah fab. brilliant for that wouldn't it Absolutely. crayons i think even the smaller crayons he's got would fit in there as well oh. Mm, you know the little yeah. crayons as well and obviously if you want to just take them off and take that one with you somewhere take them wherever you're going yeah. for the day whatever it may be that you've got in there you can do that with these um, just 7.95 for you this afternoon. Oh, 800, 655. None of these items are huge quantities, okay? Just be quick. If you have just joined us uh, and didn't realise we've got Deflecto for you this hour, check the web because there may still be some art items available. www.jewelrymaker.com. Right. Um, is it that this one. one here? Yeah. Yes. Um, four drawers, stackable. I'm just going to take... Keeping this because I'm not keeping it. Just keeping it there. Just in case. Look at this. So these have got the grooves again. These are great, aren't they? So these ones are grooves at the side, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, and you get little little things that slide onto here. Yeah. Oh, there they go. So it's four drawers. These yeah. are great. I love it. Do you know what you put your, your seed bead tubes in there as well, yeah. wouldn't you? Yeah. Easy. So these kind of where you if you've got another one next to it, you'd slide that over both of them and it locks yeah. them into place. Ah, brilliant. Yeah. So so that this little if I hold it up that way, can you see mm -hmm. you've got a little almost um paper clip sort of yeah. thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it just clips over both. That's and easy you to clip do. It over well, isn't it? Two, because that's obviously too loose for one, yeah. and it holds them in place. How clever. They have thought of everything. everything. Every little detail. I think it, it is from, you know, coming from, if you speak to any kind of inventor, if you like, or it's it always tends to be a problem that they've had. Yeah, they found it's a like solution. simple solutions to yeah. problems with this, obviously, that, that all crafters have. It's amazing. Brilliant. So these ones, you get your pens, your yep. pencils in there again, tubes of seed beads. You see, threads. I was looking and I was thinking, well, I could put my cabochon so I could have the labradorite in one. Ah. Where you've got sometimes, you, you know, sometimes you get small amounts of, of certain cabochons because mm -hmm. they're not as prolific. Yeah. I've got loads of labradorite. I hoard it. Mm -hmm. Loads of agate cabs. So I'd have yeah. a labradorite one. I could have an agate one. You could split the agate down by colours. I've got... Um, amethyst one yeah and then you could have a mixed one of of different types yeah, yeah. you know so mm. brilliant yeah and also i'm just thinking um our shop I and mean, we haven't got unfortunately any deflecto storage in our shop but we've got little we baskets of the yeah. cabochons that we sell so if on your craft store you were selling yes. some loose gemstones or loose cabochons How you could just have them be? in there maybe prices on the yeah. front for yeah. different sizes that you might have and then the customers can just take them out and have a little Brilliant. rummage through it can't they and obviously you can just pick that up pop it Probably. away um 11 pounds 
and 95 pence for you. But finished jewellery as well. You yeah. know, there's no reason why Storing you can't your keep your own um, um, jewellery in this one. £11.95, AKDF69. It's, it's, I think they're all great gift ideas for, for They everyone. link top and bottom, so you can go up yeah. and side. Yeah. Excellent. Brilliant. I'll be multi having this one. multi that, Was on that those. glued on, was it? Mm, yeah. Yeah, hang on then. Maybe we can just improvise. Two draw stackable cube organiser. So this is this one. So I will just show you actually the picture of the Deflecto um, card on the front because this will give you an idea. Are you just going to glue? There we go. <laughs> oh, look, yeah, so stationery, glues on there, paper, paper clips. Because you can rubbers, also toast them out notes. as well. Brilliant. Also, if you're um, if you go on the sewing quarter and you get a fat quarter, I'm sure you'd get um, your quilting stuff in there. Ah, handy. Yeah, I've got a feeling, if I remember rightly, the quarters they call them a fat quarter. I'm sure they're about that size. Yeah. They might be a bit bigger, but you might fold them over. But they'd be brilliant because you'd yeah. see again at a glance mm. what you've got. Brilliant, isn't it? You, you, your shibori's and, and things like that as well, you know, and all your ribbons yeah. and e any craft, card crafting, card making, all your little accessories and bits and bobs that you yeah. have to stick onto cards and things as well. They're, they're, they're just, really... There's no end, no end to what you could be storing in these. Things like your, your organza bags, your, yeah. your paper bags. Um, I noticed Al had some paper yeah. Some paper boxes folded up. Uh -huh. You can put those in this yeah. storage out of the way. It's all. I don't know about you. I've got a big drawer because I had an old chest of drawers, and it's a mess. Mm. A, I dread opening. I'm going to have to transfer it all into Deflecto um, at some point. A, it's a big mess trying to find anything in there. Yeah. Things like your receipts. Um, Gosh, yeah, that's a good you know, idea. Keeping your all your paperwork, mm. your invoicing. Yeah, genius. Brilliant. 11 pounds and 95 pence yq df 92 well. is your code for that one the what sorry back oh the wall mount i don't know what i thought you said oh you've got to have this do you know i can remember the first deflecto show that i had um, we had it on air, but we didn't what? actually have it to sell. And there were so oh, many no. text messages, people saying, oh my gosh, I need it, I need it, I need it. And we didn't have it at the time. But now we do. It's brilliant. It's such a genius idea. I love it. Anything that makes your life easier. Oh, absolutely. And you can slide it along. It yeah. doesn't have to be. So you can put whatever, you can lift it off, put whatever project you're working at. Like mm. If you're limited to space on the wall, pop one yeah. of these on, keep your, your stacker there mm. and just fetch out what you're working with so that it's to hand and the rest yeah. is all stacked away and interchange, interswap them. Gosh. Interswap them, that's not a word, is it? It is now. It's just such a clever piece of kit. It really is, isn't it? So this is for the bar that yeah, it, it just it screws to the wall really, really easily. Even us ladies could do it. I'm telling you, I could do that. Easy peasy. Um, £7.95. So and, and obviously, if you want a couple of those. So yeah. uh, the length of that one is 55.9 centimetres. It's well worth multi buying, isn't it? Oh. And just covering that whole wall space. <laughs> if I, I think. spend the time going. <laughs> 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 Amazing. They are about to sell out. I'm sorry if you missed out. So the last deflecto item. Three draw. Oh, this is like a jewelry box. <laughs> That's right. It's, it's jewelry it's box. It's so isn't it? posh. This one. Um, so let's just take. <laughs> Take this off the bottom. I love this. And I'm with you, I think jewellery box. Yeah, it's like a, a really modern yeah. jewellery box, isn't it? You know, you could dress you... any house with this. Oh, yeah. yeah, definitely. There I think you, they should have this in every show home. Um, so this, three drawers. I think it's got a foot on here. Oh. Um, three drawers you've got here with three individual compartments in each as well. So that, I mean, that's, yeah. That's lovely. Storing your jewellery, how often do you guys say, 
don't just drop your your, your chains in, lay yeah. your chains out. Yeah, so they don't get so tangled don't, up. Don't get them tangled. It's ideal. And also the fact that this is a little bit different from any other jewellery box, isn't it? You're not going to have to rummage through no. to find anything because yeah. you can see where now, everything is. So mum, sorry love, I'm, mm. I'm going to call you out now. Uh -oh. So mum's got wooden ones, which yeah. are beautiful. Um, but then she has to go and root for which one's exactly. got what in. Yeah. If, if these were stacked up, you know exactly you which one they, they're in. everything, can't you? I just think it, it's a, a very modern take on a classic jewellery box it's, it's as is. well. You know, it, it looks fab. I would have to have that on my dressing table, on show. You see, I'd leave it like that. Yeah. However, if you wanted to, yeah. you could decorate that till the cows come home. Imagine. Could you imagine doing a pattern with your Seraloon and then having pattern the bling all the way oh, over it? Oh, my gosh. That would look amazing, wouldn't it? £19 and 95 pence. So you've got three drawers, three compartments in each of those there for you as well. So lots more storage. And I just think this is so lovely. It'd have to be, it'd have to be on my dressing table. But again, it doesn't have to be for jewellery. You can put all no, sorts in of it. Of course, but, yeah. But you and I were both jewellery box. box. Yeah, that's a lovely jewellery box. Can you got imagine there. taking that to, to someone's house if you're going for, and I always think if you're going to somewhere for um, a commission to, right. to go, because what uh, I've always yeah. done is I've gone round, taken some samples, taken samples of of raw materials but put, taking samples of made up jewellery yes. and you can put that there and then they can see what's Finished coming. Finished pieces as you well. You know, that would look lovely. Yeah, definitely. That's amazing, isn't it? Uh, 1995, that is about to sell out. I've got one left oh, of those. Shall I take that um, Oh. Okay, so... Okay. Diary. That one. Um, Angela Edwards' book. Now, if you haven't already got this, you need to get this book in your life. It is absolutely brilliant. Um, you've probably heard before many of our guest designers, many of our customers that have come along to our workshops here at Jewelry Maker um, have shared their stories with us. Um, and for most, you know, it does start out as a journey of starting a hobby, making pieces of jewellery that then you get compliments on. People ask you where you got that piece of jewellery from. You tell somebody you made that piece of jewellery, it might then be that they say, oh, would you make one for me? I'd love one of those. You make one for that person. It might be then that they say, would you make one for me to gift to so-and-so? I'll pay you for that piece. And that's how the journey begins for so many people. So this book is about perhaps starting up your own business. If you are thinking um, of starting up your own business, um, ditching the hobby and perhaps run it as a profitable venture if you like. So it gives you lots and hints and tips in here, ideas of how to grow a, a business and um, ideas and understanding the principle of pricing as well because obviously we're all different when it comes to pricing and maybe for some of us it's because we don't sell enough so it's as you were saying earlier on Alison there's so many things to take into consideration yeah. when it comes to pricing don't undersell yourself. Um, it's about uh, ideas for online selling as well. Um, and if you want to upscale your business and grow a team. So, you know, it takes you through every yeah. step right from the beginning, right through to growing a very, very successful business. And lots of our guest designers have done just that as well. Uh, with the help of, of um, Angela Edwards here at Jewelry Maker, it's a great gift idea for anyone. It's a great read and it's a really easy read actually. I have this book as well and uh, do you know what? I'm not, I don't read very well. No. So I struggle to take in lots of information. I always have done. I can't hold that information. I can't read huge yeah. books with lots of print. But I'll just show you actually. It's a nice just, pace, just to give isn't it? Yeah. You know, it's not like you look at that book and think, oh my gosh, that's going to take me forever. <laughs> Teeny writing crammed on a page. Oh, yeah, yeah, and you oh think, God. oh gosh. Yeah, it's not like that with this at all. It's a really, really easy read. 0800 644 655. 12 pounds. That's good and 95 pence for you this afternoon. 0800 644 655 or on the web at jewellerymaker.com. 
I am JT68 is your code for this one. Get it home, you'll love it. Uh, Sylvia's there, Elaine, Marcia, Kimberly, Susan in Fife. Um, and, and do you know what as well, what I love about this book is that even having sat here for as many years as I have and talked about a business and stuff, there's still things in this book that I hadn't even thought of, that I hadn't even given a second thought, you know? It, it's having that other perspective, because there's always something, and someone goes, do you never thought of that? Yeah. Do you never thought of that? Yeah. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. I love that book. Um, right, let's have a look at this one. Oh, the business planner, this one. Uh, so this one, business planner, it's like a diary. It's, yeah. Oh, I like that. A little bit of mindfulness in there as well. Love it. I love a bit of colouring. Oh, nope. there we go. <laughs> Pretty, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. Uh, so this one um, is like a little diary you've got here, a planner that's been developed for people um, who wish to focus. It's like, I'm all about guest designers. I always say, I don't know how you sleep at night. <laughs> because you must have literally ideas just coming into your head. And loads of our guest designers have said that they've got the, the, their notepads yeah. next to their, <laughs> next to their um, beds as well. If you've got any ideas, write it down. If you've got a, 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 an image that pops into your head, sketch That's it out and things like that. I do. It's I write mad, isn't it? I have a, a, a tablet by the side of me. Yeah. And, and I have woken up and I thought, because I've got the world's worst memory. Those of you who don't know me very well will we'll soon find out I do get the world's worst memory. Making a note of it, but this helps. Yeah. It helps focus you. Mm. It does help it focus does, you. It does, doesn't it? It's really good. And I think because it's, it's mapped out, rather than mm. being kind of mumbo-jumbo of, you know, all your thoughts yeah. and things, you've, you've got that planned out. So it is a planner, very much like a calendar, very much like yeah. a diary. There is a calendar um, in here as well for you to mark out any of your events and craft fairs that is coming up. It really is fantastic. I like 100, 6, 4, 6, 5. You see, I think of this as like, because the other one's giving you all the information. Yeah. This is helping you set it out so you can follow it. And, and it's like going on a course. Have you ever been on a course and you write things down? Right, and I have to do this and then I have to do that. And, notes of and, notes of notes. Yeah, so this mm. this helps you go, oh, right, well, I need to put this here. And I yeah. need to think, right, I need to, what am I doing then? It just helps take you through mm -hmm. and focusing your thoughts. Yeah. Definitely, and it's it's and it is a, perhaps a thought process that when yeah. you have just turned it into a business again, there might be things you forget. There's little helpful reminders in yeah, here absolutely. to remind you of those bits that you may have forgotten about. It, it's like a, a, a dedicated to-do list with the diary all rolled into one. Yeah. Um, with helpful hints as well. Mm, definitely. Does that that's, make sense? That's a great price, that is. It that's is. brilliant. Love both of those. Right. Um, oh, oh. Do you know what? This is like original jewellery maker storage. I love this one. And this one as well is brilliant. I've got one of these and I use it when I go on holiday hand luggage. Again, if you can't, if you can't take a load of things, you can put jewellery in this one, cosmetics, cotton wool pads, everything and it folds up pop it in your in your suitcase <gasps> look at that alison that. oh Chains, they don't tangle cb tubes brilliant isn't it oh, i love this one it's like oh, it's like a jewelry maker original back of the bathroom door back of the wardrobe the door i've only seen the front of it these are brilliant i love them they're so wow. handy um and a great gift idea as well so if you know somebody that has a huge mass of jewelry um for yeah. take as you said earlier on alison you know when you're going to see a customer yeah uh, a client and you you want to show them different samples and yeah. examples of kind designs of and gemstones you can hang them all on the back there. and there's a lot of them as yeah, well yeah, how many is there so one two three four five six seven fourteen twenty eight twenty eight twenty six there oh right that's uh, so a twenty seven uh, twenty seven of those so and and you can't you don't just have to hang one chain on one no. of them you can get a lot on them so as i say i've taken mine on holiday before necklaces that i've just popped on there and then rings and earrings and things in there cotton wool pads you know <laughs> anything goes in there but it's because it's space saving. Yeah. That folds up. That takes up no room in your hand yeah. luggage whatsoever if you are travelling. But of course, with a hanger on the top, sorry, Alison, right. you can just pop it on the back of the bathroom yeah. door. 
And also, because I know someone who uses this in the house and they put all the gemstones in and yeah. then turn it round so that they're not so obvious. Um, or you can hang it in the wardrobe, you can put it away. So it's a place to yeah. hide. I like that. For your, for your most precious ones? Hide them. Yeah, that's a great idea, it really is. So on this side, there's 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 of the... Yeah, uh, 15 of the, the smaller um, ones here. So it might be that you just have that hung next to you in your craft room and you've got different findings in there, little bits of thread, needles, whatever it may be. And then you've got four of the larger pockets. You could have um, your business cards, your, your contact yeah. cards. You could have your, what are they, what are they called um, that we do that you download? That, um, Oh, the authenticity. authenticity cards. They fit perfectly yeah, in there, Yeah, because they? they are. A, they're a card, a credit card. Yeah. Kids' storage, kids' oh. toys. <laughs> Don't even start me, Alison. <laughs> yeah, that's brilliant, isn't it? I love, I just love how that packs away so neatly in your yeah. hand luggage. It's brilliant, that one. Sorry, Alison. It's all right, I'm enjoying um, it. Where next then, Beck? Look at the time. That six there, that one there. <laughs> um, this is great, I love this show. <laughs> it's brilliant. I don't know how we've managed to get it all in the studio. Um, <laughs> these ones, I mentioned these earlier on. So these ones I use for cosmetics. They're brilliant. Your liquids, your limited, especially with your hand luggage as well. So just pop in your moisturisers, your eye serums, whatever it may be in there. Lots of customers have texted them before and said they use these for tablets as well. They're oh, yes, great little organizer. pill pots. These are uh, for popping your tablets in there. Or alternatively, beads. <laughs> whether that be gemstones, whether yeah. it be seed beads. Smaller and findings. I can't remember, but... Are these the ones that can fit a whole tube of seed beads in? I would think that will be a bigger one. I don't know. That won't, that won't fit a tube, uh, not, a, not a big tube, that won't fit a big tube in. That will fit a smaller tube. I think you need a yeah. bigger one to fit the big well, tube. Because I remember it was Gemma Crow that did it once on air and we were literally like, no, that wouldn't fit. Uh, I haven't got... Have we got a big tube of seed beads? Oh, oh no, I haven't, because that's not my bag. I could be wrong, oh, yeah, can, it could be the bigger ones, as Alison oh. said, but it's just because I can remember when we did the experiment, but I can't remember what size that the... Um, I reckon it'll be those. Yeah, I think you might be right, you know, the bigger ones. I'm just going to try anyway, just to see what we can do. Might you, do you know what? You might be right. It wouldn't fit the six O's. They take too much bulk. Oh, look at that. That's a nice colour, that. That's beautiful. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, there's something there. I am. I am determined. I mean, obviously, you'd have to be very careful when taking the lid on and off. You can do it. I think I've lost about. <laughs> I've lost. There's about eight. There's about eight on the desk. You could do it. It would fit in there. Obviously, be really, really careful. So again, I'm just going to experiment just to show you. You can do it. I <laughs> know oh, you wouldn't want to. You wouldn't want to dip in there, would you? It looks too perfect. Um, <laughs> but like me to put you those can. Away for you. <laughs> Alison, I don't think I can let you because you're going to be Sorry. there for a very no, long no, time. No, I won't. No, I won't. Um, but, do you know what? Oh, there you go, bead scoop, genius. You can do it. It will fit in, but obviously you've just got to be cautious when uh, taking the others on and off there and moving it. Thank you so much. Oh, 800, 644, 655, £2.45, herbs, spices, cosmetics, tablets, whatever you want to put in there. You've got six individual tubs that all just include... <laughs> and they make a good... Squeaky toy, yeah. <laughs> it's a good job jewelry dog is not here today. Uh, oh. GPBN26 is your code for this one. Do you know what? As a new viewer, I'd be coming in. I'd be coming in and I'd be getting these today because if you spend £2.45 pence with us today, you'll get two Genuine Gemstone Strands Getting Started DVD free of charge. There's no minimum spend requirement. <gasps> 
-hmm. Alison's thinking, why did you do it? Why? I told you we couldn't fit them in there. Um, right, coming up after the break, the kits. I may still be putting these on. There stands a very good chance. Um, so hopefully we'll have the second kit of the afternoon and your second demonstration. <laughs> I tell you what, don't go anywhere. It's going to be Christmas soon. Blue Sapphire. <laughs> and I'll still be putting these away. Blue Sapphire coming up for you. Um, I think, should we just pour them onto a piece of paper, do the funnel trick? Oh, go on then. Yeah. Have you got a piece? Don't go anywhere. I'll be back in a few. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always making improvements to give you a better shopping experience. We've recently upgraded our website to make it more user-friendly and easier to navigate around. We now have the Guest Checkout function, which allows customers to check out quickly without creating an account. Our homepage now informs you with what's currently live on the show, recently aired items, and today's deal of the day. We've improved our website navigation and added new categories to help customers quickly find the products they want. Our online range is growing fast with over 7,000 products available for you to purchase. And don't miss out on hundreds of brand new clearance lines with more added every week. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Create, wear, share. My name is Helen Bromfield uh, Jones and I come from Swansea and I've started making jewellery um, because of Jewellery Maker. Uh, they completely inspired me. Um, I got made redundant from my job of 16 and a half years um, and I was flicking through the channels and I found Jewellery Maker, which is now my life. The first experience for me was I set my jewellery up and I thought I'm going to get all these customers maybe rushing to me. Uh, it didn't quite happen that way <laughs> and I thought, oh, what am I doing wrong? you know, um, and I thought, oh, what should I do? But then I started thinking about it and logically I thought, you know, you need to embrace customers, you need to talk to them, you need to explain that they are gemstones, they're not plastic. You, know, you need to say to them, you know, these gemstones are from, you know, India or they're from, you know, wherever, you know, America, if it's turquoise and the meanings behind the stones, you have to know your stuff. Think about what you're going to do firstly, obviously. Make sure you've got a range of designs to suit different pocket sizes, shall we say. Think about the gemstones and have an array of them um, and also less is more. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 65,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. I'm Tony Johnson. Um, I live in Essex with my husband and my little tabby cat Bert. I'm a dental nurse by day and a crazy passionate jewellery maker by night. <laughs> my first experience at a trade show was um, Christmas time. Uh, I think it must be two years ago. A few people commented, oh your work's beautiful, yours really lovely, um, very detailed which is really nice to have strangers be really positive about the work that you're doing and something that you're really passionate about that it's not my full-time job you know it's it's what I do in the evenings and at weekends often you do more than one day so you'll do a whole weekend or, or three days the first day will always be quieter than the second day guarantee they'll either come back in the afternoon on that first day or they'll be back on the second day but don't panic Trust in your work, smile, it improves, it gets better. Just keep going, don't give up. a helping hand to get started with Jewelry Maker? Are you stuck for ideas and need inspiration? Then visit our Jewelry Maker website where you can find our video tutorials. 
Expand your knowledge and skills with these easy to follow jewelry making demonstrations. Whether you're a beginner, hobbyist or business owner, there's always something new to learn. It couldn't be easier. Simply click and learn some new jewelry making techniques. Good afternoon, welcome back. It's busy, isn't it? <laughs> we had so much stuff there. Do you know what? The, 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 oh, uh, probably it was about five minutes in the end, actually. The break there was like... Um, it was like ground force. It was like a whole team that just came in and take everything away quickly. <laughs> it was just absolute Clear that, madness. put that back. Yeah. Sort of stuff from behind. And you'd never know if anything had happened before. Um, but if you have just tuned in, we did have just uh, a whole hour of deflecto. There may still be some items left. Uh, if you go along to the website www.jewelrymaker.com a lot of things were selling out because it was last of stock but there may be something left so do get yourself to the website uh, and have a little look and add it to your order even i don't i forgot to mention that whole hour alison the size of the storage still only 3.95 when you posted i know like i say i had a, i had two boxes when i had ordered my first lot of the deflecto and i think they were about two and a half by two and a half cube Gosh. Two of them. <laughs> same story. It's amazing. Same, same, uh, same postage. Brilliant. How it's how absolutely can we brilliant. Get away with that? I, I do I not know. know. <laughs> um, anyways, this hour we've got uh, another kit coming up for you and a second demonstration from Alison as well. But just before that, I need to bring you these <gasps> sapphire cubes. Cubes. But you know, it wow. doesn't matter what the gemstone. The cubes are so popular. We've got them coming up for you in the next kit as well, so you might want to use these as an addition. Oh, nice. Because there's some, there's some mm -hmm. lapis tones oh, in there that yeah. go lovely with it. Mm, beautiful. We can mix and match those up wonderfully, couldn't you? Yeah, yeah. Now, if you say sapphire to anyone, you automatically think blue. You do. Um, and it's a gemstone that is synonymous with royalty. Other than diamonds, it is the world's most famous gemstone. And you're never really gonna hear anyone say they don't know what sapphire no. is. No, again, it's one of those, it's known, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's so well known. Um, and it always used to be um, kind of the first choice for an engagement ring. Yes. Um, and, and many of you may remember your, your, your parents, your, gra your grandparents, your great-grandparents, perhaps having um, sapphire engagement rings. It's, it's nine on the most scale, it's corundum. Um, so it is incredibly, incredibly strong and durable as a gemstone. It really will withstand the test of time which is why um, it has been a great choice for an engagement ring for many many years you know that being a piece of jewelry that you're gonna wear day in day out in the 80s when uh, Prince Charles and Princess Diana got married um, sapphire sales went up ridiculously massively it kind of put sapphire back on the gemstone map in terms of a choice for an engagement ring but do you know what? Whether it be an engagement ring or, in fact, here at Jewelry Maker, we make sapphire so affordable, whatever the quality, whether it be a bead quality strand, whether it be a gemstone quality strand, it's affordable so that everybody can wear it. Yeah. It, it, it's one of those gemstones, as any of your big five are, you think your big five, you think mega bucks. You think that that perhaps is something that you're never ever going to be able to get into your own personal collection. We've made it possible here at Jewelry Maker. And yes, we bring you bead quality, we bring you gemstone quality, but again, that means that we're bringing something for every budget. Seven to nine millimeters in size. Now that's 60 carats across wow. two, four, six, seven individual gemstones. Wow. So individually, they are huge. They are gorgeous, aren't they? Now, I would ask you what you would do with these, Alison, but obviously you've had cubes <laughs> in the kit. I have had cubes in the kit. So those designs perhaps give us an idea of what you would have done with the sapphire strand. Had you had that? 
<clears throat> they would work, but being so much larger, do you know mm. what I'd want to do? What's that? I want to make one into a ring, okay? A very specific statement ring. So I would use the um, drill hole. Yeah. I would want to put um, either gallery wire or... or um, some woven wire, mm -hmm. whether you pull them out halfway round, so you, you right. get it halfway. This is why you need you need the, the drill hole, because right. I don't want anything coming over the top. I want I want that gemstone to be sort of, have something round the bottom, be it gallery wire, be it some woven wire that yeah. you've, you've pulled out, so you've mm -hmm. just got the point four with yeah. a bit at the bottom. And then you can, you can hide the way you've attached it, yeah. so that it looks like it's sucked in by, by the wire. Ah. I mean, you could you could glue it on. Yeah, yeah. You could yeah. glue it on if you wanted to, but I just think that would look amazing. And then you've got the top half of this amazing gemstone completely exposed and available to view. And yeah. have that on a pendant, or if you did it on on um, as a ring, or if you did it as a pendant, it would look mm. amazing on on a. Oh, imagine. On a bracelet. Yeah. I don't know how how are you with your Avengers movies. It's gone over my head already, Alison. <laughs> so you could actually make a gauntlet yeah. and you could pop these in your gauntlet. Like like Thanos has got a gauntlet. Oh. Um, what's the stones called? What are the stones called? Oh, I don't, I don't. Yeah. No, the, 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 the tesserae. Tesseract. 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 Sorry. So it's like... Wizard of Oz. I'm okay. with you. Okay. Any other film? <laughs> no idea. But they... they yeah. They, they look great, and I think they're a very masculine. If you mm -hmm. did it with a plain band round, it would be quite a masculine yeah. because it's got that very structured shape. Yeah, you could have an amazing yeah. ring. Yeah. I, I like it. Nineteen pounds and ninety-five pence. That's sixty carats of genuine natural it's sapphire. Ridiculous. Amazing. Just amazing. Right, look at these. What fun <gasps> is this kit? Oh, that one there. <laughs> I knew you'd go wow, for that. Wow, look at that. <gasps> I like that one there. That oh, sort of pale greeny yellow. Look at the quality of that lapis. I know. I know. Look at the pie white inclusions you've got there. I love this. <gasps> you've got sandstone look, in there. Look at that labradorite. Look at oh, that yeah. labradorite. Sorry, Pete. I just had to bring in that labradorite. Yeah. Look at that. Well, that sandstone next to it. Wow. It's beautiful. I love these. Now, what I love about these strands is there is something for everyone, yeah. isn't there? You know, they're just so incredibly versatile. They Look really at are. That. Look at that. Look at that. Hats green. off, Ben. Hats off. Do you know that? that it's like emerald. It's like Zambian emerald, yeah, that, that green onyx you've got in there. The cube. Yeah, brilliant. Look at that. Um, now, I've got two multi gemstones. There's a malachite on that cube strand. I know, I know. Oh, wow, in fact, there's the a couple of malachites. Amazing. And um, Amazonite? Yeah, Amazonite, malachite, sunstone, lemon quartz, amethyst, lapis, appetite, carnelian. Goodness me. They are beautiful. Mm. Having multi gemstone strands, but also these two different shapes. Yeah. And can I just say, just going back to what you were saying earlier okay. on trade shows, tassels are really popular. Those tassels, these are my favourite tassels on any strand. And because of the popularity of rainbows yeah. at the moment and unicorns and everything multicoloured in designs, these tassels being made in the proper way, yeah. with the proper technique, Alison, I think that I would just take those tassels, all four of them, sterling silver shepherd hooks. Oh, just make a pair. And yeah. I would be very comfortable at selling those for £10 each in sterling, yeah. just the tassel earrings. So I'm just but thinking, in, in my head, moment. yeah, so popular. I'm just thinking, well, that's £20 yeah. before I've touched any wire or any gemstone. I don't know where this kit is going on price. But, okay, so, let's say, let's say I'll be really conservative. Could I sell them, Alison? Could I? I mean, is the this... Tassels. But again, no, yeah, um, but I'm, what I'm saying is, in sterling, is yeah. £6 too low in sterling? Yes. Like, yeah. Would you go £8 minimum? No, I'd probably go £10, 10. in okay, sterling. OK, I'm going to go with £10 then. Sterling just, silver, just silver, to... sterling silver, loot. My, my 
brief for this was, yeah. was to make quick makes mm -hmm. that you can do. So they're not the most expensive makes yeah. in the world. If we go back to how I was doing it before, mm -hmm. I mean, things like these necklaces, you could, you could sell them. I've made, was it nine out of this kit? And I've still got God. stuff left over. I was running out of time with the yeah. two kits. So, so even if you said, even if you took it to the very lowest, and let's say the cheapest earrings for a fiver. Wow. Let's take the others. Let's say ten pound a piece. Yeah. You've got ninety pounds worth. <gasps> you know, it, Goodness it's. Me. But then you've got multiples. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Again, the the little le necklace you like. Oh, I you're love gonna be looking that. at fifteen pound for that. Easy. And I would sell them. I wouldn't sell them as specific stones, even though some of them, you could say definitely, I would sell them yeah. as multi-stone multi pieces. Multi-stone pieces, yeah. Um, Love those. Um, now, you've got 130 carats in the rondelle strand, and you've got 100 carats in the cube strand. So the cubes are ranging from 3 to 6 millimetres in size. Your rondelles are ranging from 6 by 3 to 11 by 5 millimetres in size. So two amazing multi-gemstone strands. You've got shapes for everyone. You've got gemstones for everyone. Pieces for the gents. Yeah. Pieces for the ladies in there as well. You also uh, are going to get your silver plated round copper wire. 10 metres of your 0.8 and 10 metres of your 0.4. The pieces that you've made, Alison. We're not talking rocket science here. Okay. I have pinched because I had so many um, head pins in the other kit. Yeah. So I've, I've utilised some of the head pins. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, the, the simple little necklaces like these necklaces, oh. they're so pretty. The, the light going through yeah. those gemstones is so pretty. Oh, isn't that just stunning? Just four gemstones on a head pin. Um, Pete, can I ask, can we just have a look at my favourite, which is the necklace furthest away from me over there. Oh, I thought it was a multicolour, I thought it was multicolour beryl. It's just, look at that. How pretty is that? Oh, it's so beautiful. And that, in fact, the price, the price on our screen right now, the price on our screen right now, next to that necklace, I, I wouldn't bat an eyelid. £30, that necklace. There you go, Alison. Cash <laughs> on the table. Thank now, you. can I just say that a third of the stock has already gone at this price. And guess what? It's not your price. Nobody pays any more than anybody else. You will all only ever pay the final low closing price tax. So all of you that have checked out, forget £31, £19.95, Alison, Fab. for all of that jewellery. So the ring, which is Amazonite, Ooh. that I would sell for £20. Wow. Money back. Three gemstones, Done. wire, amazing, absolutely amazing. I add, um, that's that's all the that's all the one mil I have left. Yeah. Oh no, this is the that's the other kit. That's the other kit. That's so it's point four kit. and point eight. Um, in this kit. I add quite a bit of the point eight to have. Where's that strand? Where's that? I've got so much stuff down here. Sorry, I did have. Don't worry. Probably an equivalent amount of of the point eight left. Yeah. Um. I still have some just about of the point four left. I tell you um, though, Alison, nine pieces of jewellery for twenty pounds. I know. How much does that work out to per piece? I had stuff left over. Oh, this math should be really easy. I know. It's been a long week. <laughs> How much? Two pounds and twenty-two yeah. pence. But like I said, so if you work it out, if you split. How many elements do we, so if you split those, split them down, and then work out how much per piece, because you've got so many more gemstones on there, then, then. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I didn't actually say that, Ben, actually. I just said to Pete, Pete, can you pass me those earrings? Ben said, Hannah wants to steal those earrings, Alison. Oh, but look. So you could do those with the square. You know, it's just on a head pin again. So those were the uh, varicite oh. from earlier. Those two kits go so well together. The yeah. varicite and this kit really, really go well together. But what I love about all of these pieces, Alison, yeah. is like you say, you know, they're, they're, they're simplistic designs. We can take any gemstones yeah. from our stash and make and then, these designs. Yeah. We can make these earrings. Sorry. 
Would you do me a favour? Sorry, Pete. Can you fetch me the three pairs of earrings that look like that? So there's another two. Yeah, I just want to... So, so oh. when we were talking, we're talking trade shows, okay? So what I'm saying is make your elements so you can make all of those elements up and then just add what gemstones you want, whether they're the, the, the queen in the middle or whether they're the two, the two princesses at the side. Look, yeah. I'm going to have to hold them up, Pete. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, these earrings. Oh, Alison, look at them. They those. look nice, don't you? Oh, my Now, gosh. I will say, um, these are using, I just used the one mil because I didn't have any earring findings. Yeah. I wouldn't use one mil to make the earring right. findings. Uh, you know, um, either get some or use the 0.8, but I was just making them out of the kit. As yeah, an example, yeah. Yeah. they'd be a bit uncomfy in your ear with the one right. mail. Okay. So I would use a proper yeah. earring finding. But that having said, it, you could make it out of the point eight quite easily. I love them. Absolutely love them. Um, wow. Look, there's a lot of people multi buying that kit as well. I don't blame you. Jig, 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 jig. So I've, 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 got, I've got the ring if we have time. Okay. But I want to show you with the jig because. because Excellent. For a trade show, you want to maximise the amount you can make. Is that the our jig? Is that my one? No, that's mine. That's your one. Oh, OK. That's all right. We can use that one. <laughs> that is my You're... jig. Mm, I, I think it might have disappeared. Ah, OK. Oh, we can <laughs> use that one. Over there somewhere. So, so this is, this is um, oh, gosh, I can't remember. Centaur, thank you. The centaur light. Right. And what it is, you've got half of it. Um, can I borrow your blackboard for a minute? Of course you can. Just for a second. Because it will look, you'll be able to see it better. So the, the bottom half is square and the top half is rounded. Mm -hmm. the, this makes a difference with what patterns you can make. These jigs are the best ever. Uh, they are, we, oh. we, we, really? we got them in. And they went. By the time I think I was on with Zena, and by the time we'd finished talking about them, yeah, they'd gone. So each one. Two minute auction. Went. We had 150. Yeah. And they all sold gone. out. We've got 55. Oh, we've sneaked them. Um, so I know some of the others are coming up later on. These are brilliant. And what's so brilliant about them? When you look at the depth of this, mm -hmm. it's quality. So it's a nice thing. It's good quality to yeah. hold. However, the key is it's flat. Now, all of the jigs that I'd used before, the pegs go straight through. Can you see how the holes ah. only go part way down? Yeah. So in most other jigs have a leg. Yeah. They have, well, they have four, right. usually. Yeah. So if I pop this down, uh -oh. what you do is you're actually turning this on the smooth of the yeah. base rather oh, than having brilliant. to twist your wire it makes such a difference does it if you have dexterity issues you can basically you're holding your hand to steady the wire and you're yeah. actually turning this which is so much easier it's kind of that to do the work for you then, absolutely effect, isn't it? so so when you've got pieces of kit like this if you're doing a craft fair mm. you can you can churn out you can sit there and say right i'm going to make 20 of those fittings Amazing. And do them and then change it and do another load. Yeah. You don't have to even use them straight mm -hmm. away. You can use different gemstones. You, and then when you have a display, yeah. you, you've got options. So do you display the earrings with the necklace where they match and have a collection? Do you have all the same <sighs> gemstones, tones together with your collection? Wow. Or do you have all the same style together yeah, yeah. with all the different gemstones? So you have two options. And I guess the difference... So you can multiply. You know, I mean, we, we've seen yourself, Alison, yeah. do demos with this where you're using your bail makers yeah. or something like that to make the same thing. Yeah. But yep. it's consistent. With the jig, it's consistency, it's consistency every single time, isn't it? Absolutely. Consistency, it's much quicker, mm -hmm. much, much quicker to yeah. do. Um, this necklace, so the necklace, the two, the two necklaces, the drop, multi drops. Yeah, yeah. On the jig, so quick. Wow, so I can't so wait quick. To see this. That one and the the multicolored little cube one. Yeah. So so quick. Um, and if you want to know how to do them. Oh. See, this is one of my favourite <gasps> makes. I'm going to. I love that, but this is one of my favourite makes I've ever done. So simple and on the jig. 
I adore that. Oh, no, don't go there down there. She oh, is. No, go up there. Can I say, Alison, that. that is... I love that. That is one of my most favourite pieces of jewellery that you've oh. ever made. That's the, 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 the picture on the front of the cover. We did an amazing... Um, the kite shapes we're getting now, or the shield shapes, that was the green fluorite. It's the best strand of green, green fluorite I have ever seen. It's stunning. Do it. I've, I've got Amazonite ones. I've got. Um, I've got yes. about four different of that shape now. I'm waiting for the Labradorite ones. I think ones. I need to borrow that at some point, Alison. Mm. <laughs> right. Anyway, so yeah. demo. Sorry. Um, how many of the jig do we have now? I've got five left. <laughs> <laughs> five left. I'm sorry. I, I love this. I've never seen it before. Have you not seen no? this before? Uh, I'll leave, uh, if, shall I leave it on the black? Is it easier for you to see, Ben? Yeah? There we go. Yeah. Yeah. So we're doing this. So I usually start, I, I just pop that in, in into a, a hole. So I'm going to show you how to make the earring finding. Okay. Yeah. okay. So I'm going to come down. There's different ways of doing them, and I've done them in different ways, but consistency. So you can then just <gasps> turn. Okay? Go to the next peg. Turn. Go to the next peg. Turn. You see how you, you're going to have to do... Whoops. See, I lost my concentration then. You're going to have to do one of these. Yeah, I'm going to have to, aren't I? So, turn. Pull your wire. Keep, keep your finger... It's this tension. finger that's keeping the tension, and that's... You just have to lift your finger up to go by the peg. Lift your finger back up again. So you can... And, and the, biggest, the biggest thing... Now, I came on the outside with this style and did round that way. Okay, so we've now made, how, how long was that? Seconds. Seconds, yeah. okay. Slip your white off. If you want to, right, so there's a couple of ways of doing it. You can either tamp it down with a pair of pliers. Mm -hmm. I tend to just slide it off. Now, you can pull it out, it'll pull the pegs because I do it quite yeah. tight. So I just kind of ease it off. If you do pull the pegs out, it doesn't matter, you just pop the pegs exactly. back in. Okay, so... You've now got your shape. You can then flatten these bits. Mm -hmm. You can put another piece of wire inside, weave it together, which yeah. is what I did with the other one. So I did, let me pull this out of the way. This shape down here was the necklace. Right. So it was the same for both necklaces. Yeah, yeah. One, I one I just wrapped round mm -hmm. and one I wove. Okay. okay. So we've got this now. We're just going to trim it. Trim there. Trim there. Can I? I'll give you that one back now. Okay. Thank you very much. So all you've got to do is pop your, make sure those are straight, and then I just turn that downwards. Ah. Yeah. And then you can just squidge those to make right. sure they're tight. And then you kind of do that a little bit yeah. just to get it in the same plane. You can leave it like that, yeah. but I tend to I tend to just to marry them up a bit. Keep that one that way, and keep that one that way, and then so they both go straight at the top. Yeah. And then you've got your earring <gasps> finding. So you can make lots of those. They don't take a lot of yeah. wire. You can use the ends of your wire. And you could do that with sterling. You could do that with st absolutely. You can do it with and sterling. Actually, I would feel. I would feel quite confident because... So you can have a go? Yeah, I have, and that's what I do, because I'd feel quite confident with, in doing that with sterling as well. <laughs> that, did you go two it or doesn't three? Matter, whatever it doesn't matter, wherever you go. Go, 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 but yeah. So bend it flat from there. Yeah. That's it, okay. So go all the way around that. So don't forget, you're holding that flat. Oh, you flat, twist the thing, turning. don't you? Yeah. There's me trying to do it with... Yeah, because it's more awkward, because your hand has to come over there and... So... And then I you think... twist the other way. Okay, you can go either way, it doesn't matter. No, it absolutely Is doesn't that matter. Okay? Yeah, it's absolutely. Sorry, Pete, Ben, are you trying to watch me? But you see, it's it's not Oh my gosh, this is and easy you're peasy. Create those the same every single time. Yeah. And if and if and if it does um come over the top while you're doing it, all you've got to do pop it back over. Alison, I love this. And do you know I what? Know. It's sold out now. <laughs> it's so addictive. So that way... So and that's you do it, it the same it. each yeah. side, that's it. It doesn't matter which way round, whether you go outwards or inwards. It doesn't matter. There you go. Take that off. 
Can I borrow yeah, your pliers? Yeah, yes, you can. Oh my god. This is so much fun. I, I could sit there all day and do that. Yeah. So when you're, you know, it's the sort of thing you could possibly do in the car while you're traveling. So yours has got this nice sweep at the top, but you could leave it and just put a jump ring in, make a pendant. <gasps> yeah, but you see. Consistency. Like, yeah, and you, like, I'm not a wire worker. Yeah. That, the, the work's done for me. It's brilliant. Oh, my gosh. There are That's loads amazing. and loads of patterns. If you look for... Yeah. Wigjig have their own website. You can go on and they get patterns. We've got patterns. If I have a look in here... What a genius we've idea. We've got... So, in, in here... Now, it's easier to see when you get <clears> it. So, you've got different coloured holes. We do quite a few different styles. Mm -hmm. Um this is the one we've got here. So there you go. You can see that. So you can see where all the the, the, the um, dots are. I think that's this one. I think that's the front one, oh, that top one. I love that. See, so, having done that now, I would I would literally feel so confident in doing that in ninety five sterling silver. Oh, absolutely. It's. It, I mean, that's. You're not going to mess. You're it not going to get it wrong, are you? No. It's not like doing something freehand, especially with sterling. There's always that risk, yeah. isn't there? And you think, oh gosh, but that. <gasps> if you're less confident with wire work, these are brilliant. Yeah. If you're confident with your wire work, hey, speed. that's fine. It's just time. It's isn't it? consistency and speed. Do you know what was the biggest thing when I was playing <clears> with this that I learned? Okay, so if I turn this around, that one there. I learned, because I do a figure of eight chain. Okay. Okay. Used to take me a few hours to do a chain. Mm -hmm. Took me about 20 minutes using the jig. <gasps> really? It brings making, which is what I made for that blooming necklace, which I left at home. Ah. It's what you, it's what you um, do with your time. So going back to our formula earlier, mm -hmm. that brings the price down. Yeah. You know, oh, so oh, so when you're crafting, the biggest, the biggest, um, usually the biggest financial outlay is your time. Yeah. So if you can optimize your time, mm -hmm. you know, to me, and I know people say, oh, I can do that without it. You can. I can. Yeah. I can do a figure of eight. Uh, you see that chain there? I can do that chain without the jig. Wow. But I can't do it in 20 minutes. No. <laughs> and get it consistent no, and even no. yeah. i can do it but it takes a lot longer yeah. so if i can do that then that becomes a viable mm. thing to sell yeah 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 that's that's the difference yeah. of, of doing it it's like having you can you can do bales without a baling pliers but the baling pliers gives you the consistency yeah, yeah exactly. you can make jump rings it using, is, it, it's just it's, it's having the tool right tools to use. for the job isn't yeah. it that you know, that obviously helps it and makes it easy. People can use lipsticks and pens yeah. as mandrels or whatever, but when you have the correct tools for the job, it just makes your life makes so much so easier. Easy. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So these, uh, uh, I, I can't, I can't say. Well, do it enough. If there had been any left, I would most certainly because yeah. that's just it's it's easy. It's easy. It is. It, oh. it is easy. It, there's so there's, there's three different types, and I think we've got some coming up in a few weeks of the others so mm. so keep your eyes out okay um because because i've got some new designs coming out <gasps> and they will have patterns with them very very exciting so they're, they're, they're just fab to use and again you can have that set up that's why i'd say do a lot of the same design yeah because you can have it set up and do a load of that design mm -hmm. if you create your own design yeah um and you can again you can go on wig jigs i think on the internet give you the the blank patterns okay or you can photograph them and, and just use different colors where i've put dots yeah. um and you can save them and have like a pattern book mm -hmm. yeah you know so so you can you can um i take you through the three different um jigs okay and i think there's about four or five patterns with each jig that matches awesome so. Oh my the, gosh! The, yeah, the this DVD pattern comes the pattern. In, the, yeah. in the in the DVD as well. Um, so this has got your um, Olympus light jig on there, yeah. your Cyclops jig, and, and your centaur, centaur which jig, is, which is what we have which here. is the one we've just used as well. Uh, only twenty five of the DVD. Oh my gosh! Be quick! Be quick! Be quick! Six pounds and ninety five pence. They are the so last twenty five. That necklace, Alison. <laughs> I 
Indeed. How long is that? What, what kind of length is it on well, the Well, I could, I could make it to whatever length you like, oh, really. <laughs> I can't remember what, how I long just, the chain I, was. You know what I mean? Like, I need to wear <laughs> that piece of jewellery. I need to wear that I'll piece of jewellery. I'll have to fetch jewelry. it with me. Okay, TY50. Righty ho. Um, is it this one here? No, is that one? Is that this one? one? Yes. Like this one. <laughs> Have a look. It's all right. It's all right. Have a look. If you have this. time later, we'll do the ring if you've got time, though. Um, storage. More right. storage. Seed beads. Perfect for seed beads. Perfect for your space of beads. They, they, come, they come out as well, so you can take... And they, oh, they slip slide. So yes. And nobody knew. It wasn't until very recently we made this discovery, was yeah. it? They're brilliant. And also, if you pop them onto like your uh, kitchen roll holder, yeah. uh, you can yeah, you can spin you can, them around. You can spin them around. Pop them onto your kitchen roll holder. Spin them around. Stack them up. Brilliant. LDBN eighty nine is your code for this one. Oh eight hundred six double four six double five two ninety five. That's bonkers. How many? One two three four five. Eight. I was just working out if it was for tablets, you see. Well, seven you could, days of the week there. and one spare. <laughs> <laughs> one blank. Uh, that, that, I think that's probably the most uh, popular use for these outside of the jewellery box. Yeah. Is tablets with these storage bots. Um, £2.95. <coughs> excuse me. Cough. <laughs> Apologies. Sorry, Alison. Because the other thing you can do with them, yeah. I'm very sad, is you can actually make little, <laughs> you can make little patterns with them. So you don't have to do them in a circle. You can start making like a little track oh, around. Oh, I see what you mean. Like yeah. an S shape or something like that with them. I'm very sad. No, I don't know. Uh, Two ninety-five. I'm going all the way around my craft table like, like you a, could, like a, a train, train track <laughs> of, of stuff. LDBN89 is your code. Oh, the bag. Alison, now you have this. So, I have the in fact, one. I think all of our guest designers have them, don't they? Have you never seen well, them? I've only oh. seen it once before, and to be honest, it was just in the office when they launched, and all of the guest designers, everybody wanted them. Everybody wanted these bags. The yeah, one I thing thought... I noticed about them is how strong, it's probably the strongest they take bag, I think. Something like 65 kilos. It's ridiculous the amount they take. It, I think, I think um, when we had them on the other day, um, I'm trying, I think it was Ross was saying, no, it wasn't Ross, um, it was Wayne, and he was saying you could get a third of a kangaroo or <laughs> this one. You could have got my Labrador in here. 65 kilos. Do you know what I love about it? This, I love this. That's cool, they got isn't it? They are. That's, that's just... You know, it's, it's back to your life easier again, isn't it? You know, you're not like, tying yeah. something up and tying something. I learnt something as well, that you do that... And it keeps it, and it keeps it together so it doesn't pop open. It won't... It's brilliant. So how many do we, do we have, Becky? Because we didn't have... Uh, yeah, OK, we've only got 20 out. We didn't have a huge quantity to start with um, when we launched them. But we so did the red as well, didn't we? So we, you've got the red and the grey. I have the red one, but this isn't yeah. mine. It's one of the few times I've actually came without it because I didn't have as much stuff. So uh. I actually, Well, actually, to be fair, it's still got all my stuff that I took to the cricket because I took it to the cricket. Love it. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Padded, beautiful, it's fab. Yeah. No, I did, chin, I did. Cans of chin and for a second. <laughs> if, if you're going to an event, yeah. right, security nowadays, mm, you have oh to have gosh. a bag search. Yeah. Look, you can see everything all at once. There you go. It's fab. <laughs> Imagine that. Have a look. <laughs> 35 and a half by 37 by 22.4 centimetres. So 65 kilo. 65. 65 I'm not very good with kilograms. I work in pounds or stones or 65 kilogram. 65 kilogram. You've got 65 a little kilogram. Go. You've got a pocket there. Put all your paperwork in. That's where I keep all my pants. 
You got, you got, so sorry. You got pockets here, yeah? three pockets here, sorry. <laughs> sorry. No, it's fine. I just found 65 kilograms is 10 stone in oh, weight. Maybe, maybe I've got that wrong then. No, is that right? No, I must have Does that Does anybody wrong. know? Maybe it's 65 pounds, is that lighter? Pounds. Yes, it's 65 pounds, pounds not kilos like... though. <laughs> no, it must be 65 pounds then. There was 65, okay. It's on the packaging. If the packaging is around, it says it on the packaging. So you've got little pockets there Kilograms. all the way along. One, two, three, four. Plus you've got... Uh, where's pounds. the... Uh, there's there's, there's your, your bits down here where you can pop all your pens and stuff. Yeah. Yeah? Mm. Sorry. No. <laughs> Don't you apologise. And it just... And it felt sorry. No, I, I just, I it's just brilliant, <laughs> isn't it? So we think it's sixty-five pounds, not sixty-five kilos. Yeah, sorry. 65. No, I just wanted I to double check. That is you, a lot, isn't it? You'd struggle to get wow. it. In, but when you think how much, how many sea beads That's you could so get in strong. here? There's, <clears throat> in the tubey bit, you can put all your sea beads in there. Yeah. Jobs are good. Amazing. <clears throat> sorry, you can fifty-nine pounds. Sorry, fifty-nine pounds. And 95 pence. And they just close up so flat. So they've got a, a, a floor. You just yeah. There's a little tab on the floor. You pull that up. Look at all On the inside, nice. you just pull your little tab up. Yeah. And it folds flat. Wow. Completely flat. Because it gets the thought behind it yeah. all, isn't it, with things like this that amazes me. Quality. Um, it, it's been through a good quality test. Um, my dog tried to chew it. <laughs> it's always a good test, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. They were like... Would you ever, you know, see how you get on with this yeah. bag? So I took it home and, and the dog went, oh, look, I could chew the corner of this. I was like, oh, my God, I've got to take this back to the studio. Um, but no, didn't mark it. Because, again, just thinking outside the jewellery box as well, you know, like tradesmen that tradesmen. carry around tools yeah. and things like that as well for plumbers and things. That's brilliant, isn't Picnic. it? So strong, that is. Yeah, see, picnic, that's automatically what uh, producer Becky and uh, director Ben were thinking when in terms oh, of yeah. how many bottles you can you get, get in there. You get quite a few bottles in there and you can carry it. Yeah. See, you can... I'm just going to show you now. Ah, uh, look at that. Only got three of the red ones. The red ones have been uh, the more popular then. So you can see the inside much better there, yeah. can't you? Yeah, let's hold that up and there then you go. can see the tabs inside that just li and literally pull up. In. Just pull up. Can you just see them at the bottom there? It's just going for your shopping, just, you know, taking yeah. your craft supplies to a show, taking your craft supplies to Just makes it really professional. Anything oh, yeah. like this, I think, makes you look so professional, doesn't it? Just using it as a bag. Yeah. I just, I just love it. Why not, hey? Why not? It's a very smart piece of kit. You could, you could, you could embellish this again, couldn't you? Okay. If you wanted to hot fix on there, yeah. um, and do anything like put your company logo on there. Yeah. You could do Ooh, all of yeah. that, couldn't you? Yeah, you could stencil your logo Because if you're it. carrying it around as well, you know, you'd be a yeah. walking advert for yourself. Have your company uh, website address on there, yeah. you know, some of your details on there. That's a really Only good idea. three, only three chances. FBQK 94, £79 Ooh. and 95 pence. No, 59 pounds <laughs> and 95 pence for you this afternoon. Final three chances. Now, remember, you've got a 30 day money back guarantee. If you want to get it home uh, and have a look at it, those magnets are brilliant. It's so, it's so yeah. strong, it's so it is. sturdy, isn't it? Fabulous. And I think we were the first in Britain to, to have it. Wow. I think. That'll be why there's none left. Yeah. <laughs> uh, FBQK94. Uh, do make sure you check those out. The three. Wow. Fantastic, isn't shape. it? Yeah. Uh, so you're going to show us another demo I then? I am. Thank you. Sorry. Mm. So, the ring. I just wanted to show you the ring. Lovely. So, I've done it in point eight, but I'm just going to show you the weave, which is a three-strand weave. It's my favourite um, ring shank weave. Absolutely love this weave. Um, right, I'm going to undo that. There we go. So with this weave, it's it's got a front and back. Now on one of the other pieces, mm -hmm. I've actually used this on the purple one, the okay. purple cabochon. Yeah, yeah. So you've got the front showing and the back showing, but you feel the front, the back when it's as a ring shank, it, because the wire Gosh. goes all the way down, just lies beautifully on yeah. your skin. It does lie lovely on your skin. That'd be very comfortable, wouldn't it? Yeah. So, 
It's really weird. I've, I've done this weave on um, Alison's Six Favourite Weaves... Um, DVD. No. Um, workshop. Workshop, yeah. thank you. That's the one. Um, and there's another one coming up, I think. Um, and it's really funny because um, the first time I did it, um, most of the people struggled to get it. And the second time I did it, they got it like that. Really? Just different people. I just yeah, find yeah. it fascinating the way different mm. people pick up different yeah. things and that's why i love workshops everyone's different exactly oh oh i've got a workshop ideal <gasps> for to do to go with this yeah. on the 11th there's still some places and it's finishing it's all about finishing ah. off those finishing touches Okay, so, all about so that. next Wednesday, yeah. which is the Sorry. 11th of September, if you Plugged. go onto the website, www.joymaker.com, there is a section where you can book workshops there. Alternatively, dial through to the call centre, 0800 644 uh, Tell them you want to come on Alison's workshop next Wednesday, the 11th of September, and they'll put you uh, on the workshop. Okay. That'll be exciting, won't it? No, it's been a while since I've run a workshop. Gosh. So, we've only got three wires yeah. for this ring shank. We're going to go once around the first, I'm going to bottom, middle, top. Okay. Okay. Or one, two, three, whichever. So we're going first round the bottom one. Then we're going to go once round the middle and bottom between them. Once round the top and bottom between them. Then we're going to go all the way around the top one, all the way down the back till you get to the bottom one and all the way around that bottom one. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's. Once you've gone round the bottom, you go round the bottom and middle and between them, round the top and middle between them, and then you go all the way round, and that's where some people struggle because they're so used to doing a figure of eight right. and changing direction that yeah. they, you go all the way down the bottom. So if, if I show you the back, you can see where this wire goes straight down the bottom. Mm -hmm. so, so we go through there through there and then when we come here we're going to take that wire all the way down that bottom and having these wires running all the way down the bottom gives you that smooth feel as, yeah. a, as a ring yeah, shank. Yeah. So once you've done that, these squiggly type rings, I look, these rings just go like nobody's business. Delicious. You can do, mm. you can do, um, you can do them adjustable, you can do them without the gemstones mm. across the middle if you want. Well, I was just going to say, that's probably why they're so popular as well, is because one size fits all, yeah. they're adjustable, yeah. aren't they? So, mm. so whether you make them adjustable, whether you fix them, it's entirely up to you. Yeah. Once you've done, now, end to O is usually about two inches. Okay. Um, I've crossed these over because that one's actually fixed to hold those gemstones in place. So, so right. And I also slipped, so that one's a bit bigger. <laughs> But as a, as a trader, anything that's adjustable, anything that varies, one size fits all, yeah. is great because you don't have to have six of the same things in different sizes yeah, yeah. where you might sell one of them, but which size are you going to sell? Course. So you're carrying yeah. six to sell one, mm -hmm. so you could sell yeah. one of these, great. You Excellent, know? Yeah. So when you bend it, so if I wanted to do this end to O, if I bend it there, watch how this springs open. Right. And it's now sliding down to um, an S, S, T. Right. Yeah. So when you do it, actually fasten it. Oops. You want to do it at a smaller size. Open it, <coughs> and then it slides. That's that's ah, roughly O. Perfect. So yeah. if it's smaller, you can push it, and it'll open it yeah. up a bit more. Yeah. Yeah. So whether you put these so that they cross over or not mm -hmm. is up to you. We're then going to take our gemstones. Now, I, I matched the gemstones on there. I had, they're random strands, so you may or may not be able to do okay. it. Okay. Okay. So, I love the Amazonite. Oh, so, what I did, I've got two, um, I'm not sure, are they a lemony? Let's just have a look Because they looked a bit sorry. brown on, on, on mine, because my colouring, my lighting at home is rubbish. It does look it's like, like a, a bit quartz, of a lemony quartz. But yeah, it's, it looks it, it's like it's a version a... on the beer quartz, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, that one. Yeah. Anyway, so I've I've done different ones this time. Mm -hmm. those, those were all the same. Now I'm just gonna. I want to come up with my wire. So we've got our three. So I want to become come between the bottom and the middle, because if you come up through there, what what it'll do is push those two apart. Right. I want to hold them together. So I'm going to pop my wire through there. 
go through my drill hole. Now, if you do that, obviously it's not going to fit. So you have to actually ease it so that you've got enough wire. Come here, there you go. So it'll sit, and I've sit them so that they're um, at an angle. Now you could leave that as that, is, that is and put the swirl, yeah. and that would actually make a mm. lovely ring yeah. as, on its own. So let me just pop that through there. But what I did was actually added the other two gems onto the end. So I'm going to pop that round that wire there. So keep that angle. So this one becomes a fixed one, and then I'm going to pop one of the other gemstones on one side now whether you go for the same angle whether you go for something else you position it where you like so I'm gonna come where's that one that's crossed over there okay but then what I did was I took the wire underneath straight across so that you're not really gonna see it it's just crossed straight across the middle Again, pop up between the bottom one, i.e. the one nearest you, and the middle to give it that space. And you're popping the other gemstone on the end. Just there. There we go. Finish it off with a few loops. You want at least with the 0.4. I always like to have at least three loops to secure it. Okay. Finishing it between two wires. You can trim that off in a minute. Then we're going to pull these around so I'm going to pull them quite a way round okay and then the last one you're going to kick back out so these are two are going to come round we're going to trim those off so I want a small loop on the inside now I would do the both at the same time so right. you're trimming them to the same yeah. length um, but just to save time I'll just do the one okay. pop my loop in the top and then when you get to the point where it's meeting, just give it that curl so it keeps that curl coming down. Yeah. Take the next one. You want it a little bit longer. Again, do them both the same size. Pop your curl in. Little curl. And then do the last one. We're just going to... I've cut that one a little bit short, okay. but it'll still work. Right. Um, I'm going to fetch it more that way. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I would have that a bit longer so you get that bit of a turn upwards. Now, when you've done that, just make sure you squidge those so you've got no um, rough um, sides yeah. meeting. Pop them back on your mandrel because you can see, trim all your wires off when you're finished. You can see how this isn't really fitting. Can you, can you give us a, a shot of that, please, Pete? Yeah, so can you see how that's not really fitting? So your finger's round, so you would then push that down. If you want, tap it lightly with okay. the hammer. Yeah. Just to get that, so that when you put it on your <coughs> finger, it hugs your finger. Wow. And then you do that with the, with the, the both sides, mm -hmm. and you get your nice little ring. That's beautiful, isn't it? Gorgeous yeah, but design. you can play with these yeah. to your heart's content. And you could do that with different shaped gemstones. Oh, gosh, got your absolutely. Rounds. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't yeah. have to be... Do it with Excellent. rondelles, rounds, yeah. or whatever shape you want to do. Just trim off your wires. Yeah. Make sure you, you know, make sure one of the one of the big things is make sure you've got no rough edges. Yeah, of course. Because there's nothing worse putting it on. Someone Ooh. scratches it and then goes. No, oh, thank thanks. you. <laughs> I don't want to do that again. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. So there you go. Fabulous. Thank you for that. Thanks, oh, Becky. Thank you, Alison. Um, if you do still have that kit in your basket, you need to check out. We've literally got a handful left. Such good value. And that's it. Isn't that just £19.95? I know. Crazy. Nuts, I tell Brilliant. you. Um, right, some more stackable containers for you now. So we know we can fit a whole tube in here, no problem, because we've got them in small ones. But I won't do that demonstration again. Um, these ones are the larger ones that we do, the Beadalon uh, stacker containers that you've got here. So you can get lots in these yeah. ones. From your jump rings through to your beads, whether it be spacer beads, whether it be gemstones, whether it be seed beads, it's entirely up to you. Down to cosmetics, spices, herbs, anything. Uh, ZM, 
BN19 is your code for this one. 0800 or on the web today at jewelrymaker.com. Get involved today if you haven't already. Um, if you've just joined us, perhaps maybe you've been out this weekend, maybe you've just got home from a week away or something. Um, and you've just tuned in thinking, hang on a minute, what's going on? Back you have missed out on a lot today. That said, I have just checked the web. There's quite a few items still available, actually. We have Ooh. had quite a few sellouts, um, but there's still quite a bit left. So we had Deflecto in the 3 o'clock hour. We've had lots of storage for you uh, since 1 o'clock this afternoon. Get yourself along to the web, www.jewelrymaker.com. If there is anything still available, that's where you'll find it. You can still add it to your order. You've only got one postage in any one day. It's just three pounds and ninety-five pence, and honestly, with the storage that we've had, all the deflecto and stuff that we've had, that is exactly what I'm saying, Becky. Becky says, "So you're saying I could have bought every single little bit of deflecto, yeah?" And it all, it would, ha it would have to come in the huge boxes. All the display that we had this morning as well, that will come in huge boxes. It's three ninety-five. It's not per item. It's for everything. That I know, it's crazy. brilliant, isn't it? Uh, lots of you coming in for these. £2.45. Can I remind you that if you are brand new to us here at Jewelry Maker, you've never purchased before with your very first purchase, you will get two Genuine Gemstone Strands and a Getting Started DVD free of charge. There is no minimum spend requirement. You could come in and get these and get two free Genuine Gemstone Strands. So you know when you're sitting making these pieces? Put them in the hand. We Still use those them. in the sh in the studio yeah. all the time. Yeah. Just fill them. Just fill them mm. full of your components. Uh, pretty much every person that's checked out has multi bought fours, twos, threes there as well. Well done. Um, and which one? Sorry, Beck. Similar but five. Right, I don't have those ones I here. Think it's been tidied away. But similar, but smaller. And there's five. I've got the little drawers. These are so cute. Oh, these are cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, so these ones all stacked together really neatly. It's like miniature deflecto. It is, isn't it? <laughs> the way that these stack together, yeah. And of course you could put these in your deflecto as well. Yeah, of course you could. See, these ones go in side by side as well. So if I just or take that one out. Yeah, top and bottom, <laughs> side by side. We made a, we made a bridge once. <laughs> You could, <laughs> you could. I mean, look at that for storage. <laughs> look at that storage. for storage. Just pop those out, your seed beads in there, yeah. your little spacer beads in there. Great for your delicate findings, isn't it? And of course, because you can take them out as well, you can take... And that's the great thing about the deflecto storage as yeah. well, is when you need whatever um, colour or size or what, however you've organised your things, you just take them off and take that one, pop that in your craft bag yeah. so that you're not taking a huge amount with you. Absolutely. They're great, aren't they? Um, all the way down to just two pounds and 95 pence amazing Brilliant. value and there's 10 of them 10 of them there as well i might go i i, oh, I think it would be really satisfying to see them all color graduated with cb oh, an ombre oh my gosh i would imagine. have to ombre them I, yeah. would, I would have to ombre them and not let anyone touch them can you imagine i oh, know because my husband had come and mixed them up deliberately because <laughs> I, I like gosh, everything organized and he comes and um, so these ones, five individual pots, slightly smaller. Again, if you're multi-buying, they can just stack up and up and up and up and up and up and up. 0800 655 lmbn 9 So five pieces um, you've got there. Cosmetics. Yeah. That's my favourite with these. Nail art again. Yeah, yeah. all your little sequins yeah. and glitter. Um, if you've got kids that are using, you know, stationary little bits and pieces as well. It's a really, really great storage solution. It's tidy, mm. isn't it? Really tidy. LMBN09, £2.49. pence. 45 pence, I don't know where the nine came from. Uh, 45 pence, 0800 644 655, multi-buy as many of these as you like, one postage. Now, 
We've got another hour, Alison. Wow. We've got one more hour. It's gone so quickly I today. Know, it's absolutely it. flown. And bless you, you've, we set you a challenge. You've not and even... I've been busy. You haven't even had a chance to look at it yet because we've been so busy, haven't we? Um, so, yeah, we've got to take a look at Alison's challenge in the next hour. We'll give us some time to work on it first. That strand, I know, the multicoloured agate strand. Absolutely stunning. Strand. That's coming up for you in the next hour. Um, what else do I have, Beck? I just said that. Do you want the, you want the well, rest of the agate? Ah! <laughs> I, I've got the rest of the Do you know what? Just stay tuned because we've got oh, what about so the little ones? Which ones? What about you? Oh, the little ones, the, the white. See, this is Alison. This is, this should, this tool should be named after Alison <laughs> Tarry, the spiral maker. Alison Tarry is the queen of spiral making yeah. aren't you yeah egyptian uh, egyptian spirals the crinkler tool the crinkler's great the crinkler's brilliant um and lots more coming your way as well don't move a muscle we'll be back with you in just a couple of minutes time My name is Heather and I am now retired. I used to be a nurse, but I have to say I am really, really glad I retired because I can now concentrate on jewellery making. I was on a search engine and jewellery maker popped up and I thought, hmm, okay, I'll have a little look at this. That, I'm afraid, was the addiction. That was the start. When I first started making jewellery, and I didn't know about jewellery maker, I got some bicones and I started making something engrossed in what I was doing and then I looked at my hands and they were pink so please please check your beast <laughs> my happiest moment from a trade show probably when I got a sale my first sale and it was a pair of little um, Swarovski earrings, not very expensive, but I was over the moon. I was absolutely ecstatic. Do you need a helping hand to get started with Jewelry Maker? Are you stuck for ideas and need inspiration? Then visit our Jewelry Maker website where you can find our video tutorials. Expand your knowledge and skills with these easy to follow jewelry making demonstrations. Whether you're a beginner, hobbyist or business owner, there's always something new to learn. It couldn't be easier. Simply click and learn some new jewelry making techniques. Our Jewelry Maker community is a fantastic platform to share, learn, chat and make new friends. So why not like our Facebook page and join over 64,000 like-minded people? Our brand new Get Started with Jewelry Maker page has been created to provide help and guidance for jewelry making newbies. If you need design suggestions, hints and tips or help with perfecting your jewelry designs, we're here to help. Head over to facebook.com slash getstartedwithjm where our talented in-house designers are happy to answer your jewellery making questions, offer inspiration and get you started in your jewellery making journey. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. If you have a question or a query for Jewellery Maker, then you can contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewellerymaker.com.
Good afternoon, welcome back to Joymaker. Um, if you have just tuned in, oh my gosh, what a show it has been. It's been absolutely amazing. Uh, trade show this weekend here at Joymaker. Yeah. There's so many treats with, that we've had already that you may have missed, but actually may not have missed. If you go along to the website, there may be still some items available. So everything that has been on air today since 8 a.m. this morning will now be on the website. If it's sold out, it says sold out. If it doesn't say sold out, you can still get it. So go and have a look on the website. I know there's been some amazing treats for you oh, this morning. Yeah. Um, and throughout this afternoon as well, it has been fabulous. Um, right, let's bring you... Oh, of course, you've got the strand, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, I was looking for the other half of the strand because I put it down here. Unless it's been tidied away. Don't worry, I'll just pinch a few. Um... There were a lot of them. Actually, Alison, don't worry, because Ben got a recording earlier on, didn't he? Uh, Look at that. He's going so back in time. Oh, we found the other half of the strand. That's all right. But look at that. You can see that. So that's Brilliant. before we cut the strand, or I say we, before <laughs> Alison cut the so strand, which has only just been in the last five minutes, because you've got a chance, have you? Oh, <gasps> oh isn't it look so lush, isn't it? Yeah. It really is. There's so many greens mm. in there as well. Now, each strand may vary. So um, that strand there, oh, actually, I've only got half the strand here, haven't I? So it could be the same strand. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of green. That's predominantly green, I think, that one, which is brilliant for me. Um, but it might be the oranges that you're after. You may get reds, you may get pinks in there. It's a multicolored agate strand. And because it's a dyed strand, we can see an absolute a huge array of colours yeah. in our, in our multicoloured agate strands. So it's always worth multi-buying if you can, um, if your budget will allow you to. So basically, I'm always recommending it. Wherever we may get differences between gemstone strands or cabochon packs or whatever it may, might be, I'm always saying multi-buy um, because you always tend, I think, as gemstone lovers, we're always drawn to a particular gemstone in a strand or a particular cabochon, aren't we? Yeah. So if it's something for that particular piece of jewellery for yourself, definitely, definitely multiply. It might be that you multiply and actually don't send any back at all. But again, that's up to you. Having a double drilled gemstone, we don't have yeah. we don't have a huge amount of them, yeah, do we? No, we don't. I we can don't. probably count on one hand the amount of times I've I've seen a, a, a double drilled gemstone. I know that they're, they're slowly getting a few more yeah. in, but they're such such a nice a nice piece, and I love these because they've tapered it to yeah. make it. You could make this out into a stretchy, yeah, because yeah, because they've actually tapered the sides. And, wow. and Pete's going to Pete's going to come up and show you that now. Oh, is he, is he run off? Yeah, he he's gone off. So, so on the sides, instead of being straight, yeah. they actually go in a bit. So instead of sort of sitting like that, yeah. So you can have that curvature. Yeah, and going they round. still snugly buggly. So, aren't so they? instead of sort of, you can see there the V that's created. Yeah, yeah. And then it just sort of nestles. So you could have them. Wow. Literally, it. I've got one mil wire through this. Yeah. Wow. So you could make very easily a stretchy from it. Oh, you so imagine. easily. And there's plenty there because I've yeah. taken half the strand. Goodness um, me. But having that, what I wanted to do, <laughs> what my brain wanted to do, was to make little panels to go in between these, mm -hmm. which I'm not going to have time to do. Okay. So if I if I pop that on there, Ben can probably show you. So I was going to do a little a little fancy piece on the jig. I was just going to say, you know, what you could do. Yeah, on the yeah. jig, so you could do a little a little squiggly design mm. on the jig. That was the idea. <gasps> Obviously, wow. I got distracted by yeah. deflecto and, and, and all sorts and of other bags, things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So, but what I will do is just jump ring these together, which gives you another okay. different... It will give you a very fluid feel. Yeah. So the elasticated yeah. will be quite Snug. fixed. It will mm. be amazing. It will fit beautifully. Yeah. This just gives you another feel. Yeah. So that's on a bracelet, but you could make this into a necklace. You can do this sort of thing with it, which would give you an amazing cuff bracelet. Oh, so wow. you can have, you can build it up. And the I'm, double drill is I'm, fab. I'm thinking so as well, I'm not a seed beader, but I'm wondering if you could add sections oh, of seed, in a cuff, yeah. sections of seed beading in between each of those. So if, if we, if, well, I won't take them off that. So if you imagine there's no, there's just seed beads there, no wire, then uh -huh. yeah, you'd seed bead. And in a way, it's slightly easier than wire because you, you, 
you could run a line of seed beads there and, and then half of them there right. and then do the same this side so yeah you could you could seed bead between whether you keep individual lines yeah or whether you do a little panel of peyote or something in wow. there which would look amazing little seed bead mm -hmm. panels come in through you could have them so that you take that out you have a panel in the middle yeah and then you can connect it they are so versatile you can literally just get a double one so easily like that yeah a ring seed bead ring dead <gasps> easy Gosh. Absolutely so easy. Yeah, and you could do that with your stretchy elastic. Could yes, do, you could make a stretchy all. ring. Yeah. Just put two two loops of seed beads going round. Wow. Perfect. Yeah. We'd look we'd just look. put just put have have that with the wire going all the way round yeah. and have do your do your um pull pull out your your Oh the wire the that wire. you did earlier yeah, on. Yeah, so you have a section of hang on, where did I put it? So basically, you could do that. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Thoughts then. You, you've set me off now. Hmm. Just undo that. So I've, I've. Oh no, there you go. So you could pop that on there. Ah. Yeah. And that on there. Hmm. So you can make that into a band. <gasps> Look at that. Be it as a bracelet, be it as a as a and you can see you can squidge this up. So this this becomes, mm -hmm. you know, this technique gives you such a, a different yeah. feel. But you can make that into a ring very wow. easily. But like I say, you can make mm -hmm. it into a fancy yeah. bracelet. To make it so easy, so easy to it connect. Make, it, it does make jewelry making so so much oh, gosh, easier, yeah. doesn't it? And I think particularly uh, from a from begin a beginner's point of view, as well, again a time saving point of oh, view, you know. Absolutely, to do to do, and I love doing bracelets like that. So so you you get a really broad cuff from it, yeah. Um, and you keep going all the way around. Wow. It looks amazing. Mm -hmm. And I put some gemstones through there and make this big cuff. Yeah. Because they're drilled twice, you can do this so easy. Yeah. If if you were having if you just had one drill at the top, you wouldn't be able to do it without prong setting it, doing some fancy wire mm -hmm. wrap technique. It makes it that much easier to just have those yeah. two drill holes. I absolutely adore them. And it's extra security, yeah. isn't it, in, it in is. your jewellery as is. well, having two, two anchor points. Absolutely, like. absolutely. And um, so how many gemstones have you got there, Alison? Is one, that two, three, four, five, six, seven. Six, eight. Oh, okay. That's good. It's on the graphics. Sixteen pieces. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Sixteen pieces all together. I mean, that could be 16 rings. That's nuts. 62 pence each. Wow. 62 so, pence. Making fancy, making fancy connectors. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you've used your jig, whether yeah. you make them straight or whether you do something like that, mm -hmm. makes it so much easier, gives it an extra dimension. I connect it to those two there and have those in the middle free and then you could pop something on the end of those. You, you've got so much, so yeah. much opportunity with the mm. double drilled. It just makes it so easy. You could very easily make some... Um, Cufflinks with them. Oh, that's a nice you idea, know? isn't it? Something for the guys. Absolutely. We haven't gone down the whole line of doing them, you know, sort of daisy chaining them through like that. Oh, gives you a I'd different way to that. do yeah. it again. Oh, whether wow. you seed bead round it, whether mm. you macrame round it, it would be amazing with all your medium. Goodness me. So easy to use. A little chuff chuff train there. <laughs> uh, 240 carats of your multicolored agate rectangles, 13 by 19 millimeters, 16 pieces on each strand. Well over half of the stock has gone. Well done to Ruth Norman in Sussex. Uh, Sheila in Warwick, she's got two. Gillian in Shropshire's got two. Diane in Greater London. Catherine in Swansea's got two. Patricia in Stirlingshire. Pauline in Norfolk. Rebecca in Essex. Collector in Essex. Marjorie in Dumfries and Galloway, you've got two. Uh, Laura's in Gwent, Vivian in the Highlands, uh, Jacqueline in Merseyside, Ros in Yorkshire's got two, Collector in London's got two, Susan yeah. in Harpshire, Janet in Yorkshire's got two, Tracy in London, Kathleen in Wiltshire, Gillian, Kim, Deborah, Collector in North Yorkshire's just got four, well wow. done to you, amazing, Patricia in Lingshire, Helena in Oxfordshire, Christine and Neela in Norfolk's got three. Do you know what, there are so many of you multibond and you yeah. can take as many as your budget will allow you to this afternoon as well. That's like 64 pence or something like that per gemstone. That's ridiculous. 
How much would you sell a ring for, Alison, do you think? Well, again, you're looking at a minimum. You've got to be looking at a tenner. Yeah. A minimum. And that's... that's I agree. Even for so, me, that's low. Beck, what's the carat weight individually on these? Fifteen carats. Wow. So like a fifteen carat solitaire ring. Gemstone ring, yeah. For ten pounds. That's a that's like that's Brilliant. a giveaway. So you've got like hundred and sixty pounds at ten pounds each potential in this strand. I'd like to do them as a choker as well. They'd make mm. a lovely choker necklace. So again, have a panel of gemstones mm. because what you can do when you do it as a choker, A it fits easy as a choker. If you're doing the panels, then you can drape. <gasps> You're, you're either either um, rosary linked or chain. Yeah, yeah. You can just drape it through and it gives the most amazing Victorian feel to it. Wow. It look incredible. That's so Alison Terry. It's very Alison yeah, Terry, isn't it? <laughs> um, if you still have that in your basket, make sure. Oh, do I, Becky? Do I? <gasps> oh, oh, my gosh. Alison and I were looking at these on the break. Might have bought these before. <laughs> Multi there these. can only be a handful of these left. <laughs> these Seven are and oh my word! <sighs> I think it's fair to say they are the finest quality that we have ever ever seen in it's Ethiopian incredible. opals. They're just amazing. Look at that. And they're even, even better. I mean, they're just incredible. Look at that. Right, I'm going to open the box. Oh, these are unbelievable. I know. Look at this. Just... Now, Alison and I were talking about um, one of the boxes that had, like, an absolutely enormous oh, opal in. And... I don't, many, don't, know, don't know how many will have, you know, really large. I mean, they're all really large, to be fair, aren't well, they? Yeah. But you just don't know what you're going to get box to box with these. Just love it. Oh, my God. <gasps> oh, no. oh. And they're rose cut, aren't I they? I know. They're so beautiful. Which you just <gasps> never, ever get. Wow, well, look at them. Yeah. Oh, hello. Yeah, I know. That's just... Pete, do you have any tricks on that camera? No, apart from my genuine skill. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> apart from his genuine skill. You've got, you've got every colour in there, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> there he is, cameraman Pete. Now, as Alison said, there is every colour in here. Just that love them. is everything that you could wish for in an Ethiopian opal. Now, if just this one that I've got here, let's say that this were set. Um, into gold because to be quite honest I think that's something that I would have to do um, in gold on the high street that by itself is a 1.15 carat solitaire Wow! so you're talking a really significant carat weight by itself and I still stand by my statement in that I, I haven't seen the entire world supply of Ethiopian opal but I've seen a lot and in the 14 years I've been working in the industry, I have never seen Ethiopian opal that has come close to this. No, like, genuinely, from the bottom of my heart, this is the best quality I have ever seen in Ethiopian opal. Of course, there's going to be better quality out there with premium prices. This is everything I could possibly dream of in an opal it is just breathtaking it's unbelievable the quality that you have within these opals reds oranges greens blues you've got coming through so if i get all of these on my hand i'll bring in the shadow hand um, and that is basically my hand shadowing out the lights that is simply because the studio lights wash out play of color in Ethiopian opals. So, in fact, you are seeing them in the studio, worst case scenario. Worst case scenario, okay? When you get them home and you get them into natural daylight, you're just not going to believe what you see. So, that gives you some idea there. So, that is in a camera. It's basically, that is called a light box. 
we've turned the light off um, to, to stop the, the lights from washing out that play of colour. Then that's so um, I'll move on to a different piece now. Let me show you the largest one that I've got here. So the largest one that I have in this particular pack uh, comes in at 2.1 carats in a single solitaire. Really handy if you've got those scales so that you can measure every single piece that you're selling and take that yeah. into consideration as well. Imagine this in a ring. Imagine this in gold with mm. this much colour. I um they I had I had them um I had some of the gallery wire and I I framed <gasps> them with gallery wire. It's stunning. Absolutely stunning. They're Love. gorgeous. Oh my word. They're just epic. They are, aren't they? Yeah. Unbelievable. Um which one I'm gonna show you this one as well. I had a lot of crew orders that day. I bet. <laughs> I can imagine, Alison. I mean, there's just... There's Ethiopian opal, and then there's this Ethiopian know. opal. We, we, you know, and, uh, you know, we're very fortunate here that, you know, our head of buying is also a gemologist, so every yeah. time uh, Marie goes to the gem fairs, she knows exactly, exactly what she's looking for and in I, every gemstone. I've got a feeling that... that they hand-picked all of these. Yeah. I've hand got a feeling each Look of them was... <gasps> Yikes. It's know. like... It's like a fire, isn't it? Mm -hmm. When you get those oranges and reds, it's like a fire. Now, those reds, again, this is something you've got to take into consideration. So... We pride ourselves on educating you here at Jewelry Maker with gemstones, and I think this is really helpful because when we look at Ethiopian opals, the more reds you see, the higher the price needs to be. Mm. That's a very sought-after colour. It's a very rare colour to find as well. Um, so obviously, all of these, they are all from the same parcel, but because they're different cuts, you will see varying colours in each one. Get them all home. Weigh them all if you've got the scales. I, do you know what, Alison? Just looking at this one here, I mean, I wasn't even moving it then. And yes. it's not the biggest one in here, but I'm taking into consideration the transparency and the play of colour. I'd have to have that set into solid gold. I'd yeah. have to take that to a jeweller's. And that's got to be... £100 in um, gold? Easily. If not For more one. in gold. I mean, look at that. Look, what colours can you not see yeah. in that Ethiopian opal? Think of all the colours that you want to see in your oh. opal. And that's without your hand. Exactly. <laughs> and that's worst case scenario yeah. in the studio. £129.95. So I've got two, four, six, eight. I've got nine pieces in this particular pack. In the next pack, you may get more of them at smaller sizes. You may get less of them at larger sizes. You're guaranteed to get eight carrots and i'm going to say that is as a minimum because i know and we've had this yeah. conversation about this particular pack that lots of them have been weighed on the scales individually and some of them have come in considerably more than eight carrots 129.95 i know is a considered purchase and i totally understand if you are thinking about it but these are last of stock i have a single figure quantity and i promise you you're not going to be disappointed that's not your price Oh my gosh, I need this opal in my life. I know. And and, and that's <clears> where and that's where it does become like that. I mean I love I love because I had one like that where, where it's got that almost blue. <gasps> the the blue colour that's coming through is amazing. Oh look at that. That's one. natural, Alison. I know, I know. Do you know, I know I've said this before, but I have. I've always referred to Ethiopian opal as the northern lights from underground. Yeah. So in my head, I've never seen the northern lights, and I yeah. really want to see them. I have this expectation, and I want the northern lights to look like yeah. this. And well, the people that I know that have been there have said, honey, you're going to be massively disappointed, yeah. <laughs> because not very often do you ever get to see them like that. That's what I want to see. Yeah. I, I just, that colour is just phenomenal. I've got three chances left. Just three. See, this is what I mean, Ben. Ben just said, imagine if you went and it was just okay. I think that's how I would be because I want to see this. So my expectation is really high. Yeah. So I think I would go and just be like, it was all right. It's no Ethiopian opal, is it? <laughs> 
It doesn't look like the Opal. Can I have my money back? No. Um, Cheryl in South Yorkshire, Tanya in Nottinghamshire, Lynn, Marjorie's there, Susan in the West Midlands, Collector in Devon, Trina's there, Anne's there, Linda's there. We're over allocated right now. I've only got three available opportunities, genuine opportunities. Do it. Can I just say, $129.95 was a considered purchase. $79.95 is still a considered purchase. Your card isn't debited until your order is ready to be shipped, okay? Your order stays open until midnight. If you're sat there now with it in your basket, but you're not sure, check it out. Because you've got until midnight to change your mind, to adjust your order if you need to. Rather than get to half past five and realise that they've sold out and <laughs> kick yourself... Check it out now. You've got until midnight tonight to adjust your order. IAJN94. <gasps> My gosh, they are just like the dreamiest. Oh, you won't be disappointed when you get them home. There's one. Becky said there's one. There's one. That's for me. That's Absolutely. Me. I, I was blown away. nuts. Do you know what? I'd love to see some valuations. Oh, gosh, yeah. I can't, I'm, I'm dying to get into mine. Oh my gosh. See. Oh, what? Oh, look at the pink. Look at the pink in that. <gasps> oh my gosh, this is nuts. And you know, you've got my favourite shape in the whole world in here. Four times over. The cushion. <gasps> look at that colour. That is incredible. Gallery wire. Oh, yeah, gallery wire. Those are made for gallery wire. They're also made, there's a technique um, I've Look done on um, the hearts. Um, They're amazing. They are. Look at that big one at the back. That's the one with the pink in, wasn't it? Yeah. I love the little um, drop shape. That's incredible. Wow. Um, do you know, again, if you've got the scales... I need some of those. You've got to have them. So, basically, I don't think we have them on the website. Um, I'm very fortunate enough to have them. So, scales, they'll give you gram weight in your precious metals. They'll give you carat weight in your gemstones. So, you just adjust it. So, you've got different settings on there. So, that's on grams. I'll change it to carat weight. I'm just going to stick this big one on there. Oh! 12.8 carats in the biggest solitaire that I have in this pack. Well, this is what I'm saying. With the Ethiopian opals, 12.8. Ben just said, go on, put them all on. So I just said, with the Ethiopian opal, that a lot of the time, and we've done this, this is why it's so handy to have the scales, we've measured these packs and they've come in considerably more than the carrot weight that we've given to you. Um, so the carrot weight that we've given you on screen... Are you going to put it under here? Alison's moving the board. Um, do you know what? That is... 59 carats. <laughs> Happy birthday. <gasps> See, this is what I'm saying. We, 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 uh, do you know what I think we do? I think we... We take these parcels. Wow. And, I th and this is, again, you know, we're only human. Everybody makes mistakes, but... I think all these parcels are measured so quickly. It's so fast-paced that... I mean, we saw the carrot weight change there. Alison did move the board. I did. Um, and it was... It was as it was in vision, which is why that changed. So it's just done so quickly that perhaps we go with the minimum from those... Well, I don't know, but this happens so often. Uh, so if you have got the scales, um, it gives you gram weight on there. So let's say we were doing a commission. Let's say um, I'd asked Alison to make me um, a sterling silver with a gallery wire solitaire ring with tanzanite. So if Alison measured her gallery wire, 
change this to grams, pops the wire on there, tells me I've got four grams of sterling silver that's been used in that design. So Alison will jot that down. And then um, I've got a massive 12 carat tanzanite solitaire because she's converted it to carat weight and then measured the gemstone as well. So Alison can come back and say, right, I've got a 12 carat tanzanite solitaire. You've got four grams of sterling silver. This is how much it's going to be. With every single gemstone, yeah. we can do that with these packs. That's why the scales, if you sell in, are crucial, I think. Because if I'm, if I'm buying, I want to know the carat weight of yeah. something. First off, I need to know carat weights. And obviously, our packs are measured as a whole. I can't promise that they're on the web right now. They may be if you want to go and have a look. So, I mean, with this pack, we are certainly under promising and over delivering and you'll find that more often than not with a lot uh, of these packs as well we do it with the strands as well don't exactly. we yeah exactly it's a minimum yeah uh, it's a minimum so um i have two four six eight ten individual cabochons in this pack we know it's not 45 carats but we're pricing it based on the fact that we've got 45 carats Alison, just out of interest, yep. off the top of your head, if you said to me, yeah, I've got a 12 carat solitaire, Hannah, yep. and I'm using four grams of gallery wire, how much, how much would that be? So sterling silver, oh gosh, 120, 150? Uh, I would have The job's Easy. yours. <laughs> um, and that would be amazing for a 12 carat solitaire of Tanzanite. We're at 89 wow. pounds and 95 pence. How many do we have, Beck? Mm. Ah. We've got 12. No. 12 chances. Oh. I have no idea how we've managed to do this for you this afternoon. That is ridiculous. All I know is that you need to be checking it out because you could get your money back on any one mm. of these gemstones with a precious metal. 39 pounds and 95 pence. Two, four, six. I said I had 10, didn't I? And we had 59, 58, 59 carats. How much is that per? 399 per, per gemstone. Carat. Oh, per carat, it's not even a pound a carat. No. Going on what the graphics say, not what we actually have. Uh, Anila's in in Norfolk, very regular customer there. Well done, Marjorie in Dumfries and Galloway. Uh, Collector, you've just checked out Susan in the West Midlands, Karen in Norfolk, Liz in Surrey, Ali in Essex, Web, uh, Rebecca in Essex. Collector in North Yorkshire, Jacqueline in Somerset, Ingrid in Kent. I've got multi buyers now as well. I'm Quantities are going up. 39.95. My gosh. I will see if I can bring those scales to you. If we have any in stock, I will see if I can bring them to air at some point. Okay, uh, we sent a message asking for the code. Um, I think they're they are brilliant if you if you're doing a oh, craft just... show because to be able to take one of those gemstones yeah. and say right this is a twelve exactly carat getting, yeah. or a twelve yeah. an over twelve carat yeah. you know and obviously that twelve carat solitaire is going to be considerably more than the yeah. two carat solitaire you know so you know if for example you've weighed that and your customer says ah. £120 a little bit too much, a little bit. Ask them to pick another one. Get, yeah. Pick another one, we'll weigh the carrot weight and, you know. Work it out. Yeah. Wow. Pat's in in Menorca. Don't blame her. <gasps> we haven't had a weather check today. Um, Ben's going 26 degrees. It's half past five. Menorca. What, uh, what do you reckon, Alison? I'm going to go 28. 28, Pete? 22. 22. Oh, chilly. I'm going to go 30. <gasps> 23. Oh, well done. oh, Pat. Oh, chilly that, isn't it? Mm. Mm. But still, mm. nice. I'll take 23 degrees today, I tell you. Um, thunderstorm on Tuesday in Menorca. Oh. Oh, it's that time of year now, isn't it? Unless you go out of Europe. Yeah. Anyways, right. A tool. Jiggy, jig, jig. Oh, would, should one? we do the spiral maker? Because Alison is the queen of spiraling. Um, um, where did I put that one? If we had to play, guess the design. That's my first thing, Alison Terry. Only spirals, Alison Terry. Um, shall I give you this, Alison? Yeah, go on. Because. I'm guessing that you've used this, to, uh, to be fair, 
Alison, well, you definitely use this, but you do a lot of these spirals freehand now because yeah, yeah, you do so yeah. many of them. I, I do, I do the, the scrolly stuff. Um, mm. The spirals are fab. So, so when you're doing like um, an Egyptian weave yeah. or something like that, that's where you get the spirals come into their own. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. So you, you, you're opening this up. Um, you put a little spacer between each of these to hold it at the, the height. So make a, just make a jump ring okay. out of your wire. Ah, Pop it between there so yeah, that yeah. holds it up. It allows it to be free. So I, I won't do that at the moment. Mm. The, the um, key has a little groove in it. Right. So this is where your wire is going to go, yeah, ah. in there. So you pop that into your hole. Is there a particular gauge of wire um, that we can't go over? Or? Yeah, I think I think it's a point eight. Yeah, that. So I don't think the one mil goes okay, through. So I'm point eight. Pretty sure. Yeah, the one mil okay. one mil so won't go into eight. the groove. So I had an inkling. So you need to line that up. So you're going through this. Um, hang on. There you go. You're going through there. Underneath, bearing in mind, you'll have you'll have set it so that it's it's um, got the spaces, and then you there you go. Line up the groove. Pop your wire through the groove. Maze. Oh, I missed. Hang on. There we go. So see how that's come come. There you go. You can just see the the end of it mm -hmm. showing. You want to pull that back just so that it's just towards the edge and then you literally uh, now I'm just holding this just to get a bit of tension because mm. I want it nice and tight so when you make spirals by hand what can happen quite often is they'll jump up on top of yeah. each other so if you want to do the um, Egyptian mm -hmm. um, bracelets and things you'd you'd measure this fold it in half yeah. spiral one up take it out and yeah. then put the other one in mm -hmm. So we're just going to... Do you know what, as well, Alison? It's the, and I don't know why, I can't tell you why, but it's the one thing I really struggle to do freehand. I just can't... The scrolls and the spirals. The spirals? The spirals. I can't. Because the scrolls, if you want to do the scrolly bits, yeah. the jig is yeah. the way to go with those. Mm. But the spirals, it's very difficult to get it that flat. Yeah. Because it makes... It's and not, you'll I just get consistent spirals... So Every time. I can put that back in and go so the other way it, to do yeah, the cage. Yeah, you pop that back in and do the other way. Yeah. If you struggle to 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 locate that, you can actually do it before ah, you put it in if you want. Idea. It just makes yeah. it it just makes it longer. So you could actually pop that in there and then, and then fasten. Yeah, yeah. Then sandwich it in. Make sure that mm. goes through there. So. You Amazing. don't have to try and fiddle, Such but you will you will get the knack of of, of yeah, threading yeah. it through. Mm. And bear in mind, you would normally have the spaces, whereas I didn't, so yeah. I was pushing against yeah. that smashing little tool. Consistency um, again, isn't it? It's consi it is absolutely mm. consistency again. Amazing. And speed. Yeah. So, all these little tools make life so much easier. Oh, I do. Don't know. They're it's fab. Brilliant. Um, but if you want to have a look up, look up um, Egyptian in, e Egyptian bracelets, Egyptian yeah. bracelets um, or necklaces. It's fab, Ooh. absolutely fab. Nice. Make sure you check that one out. DRBN50 yeah. is your code for that one. Uh, the crinkler tool. Oh, we had to play with this earlier, didn't we? We did. I can't help it. I could sit there all day and I would have if Alison hadn't stopped me. <laughs> um, it's I just, I, I just, I mean, look at that. Look at that. I love, again, it's consistency. You know, trying to do something like that freehand, if you're doing, you know, your, your, um, your chain nose yeah, pliers, yeah. It's, it's just so much more time consuming, isn't it? It is very, very much more time consuming. Tell you who loves this, um, Gem Hawks as well. Ah, yes. She loves doing yeah. the crinkles. So we could, obviously, you know, for some very kind of funky modern designs, yeah. uh, you know, obviously get, getting that shape in your wire. So that's this one. Uh, that's the one we used earlier. You simply just take them off yeah. um, and replace them with the shape that you want to use. So there's a little hole just at the top where you pop, feed your wire through, uh, feed your wire through and then twist, it yeah. just feeds through and it will give you this as an end result. How would that work, Alison? Could I use okay. that to channel set? You could. If I did a couple yeah. of those and I went so, to channel sets, the cubes, because I think cubes oh, would fit. Oh, the cubes would look great with yeah. it. What I'd do with it is I, I, I like putting it between. <gasps> ah. Yeah, that so you good, can use it with it? different colour metals. Mm -hmm. um, you can use it, so if you take that one away and then you can pop it, attach a gemstone to each of those, yeah. 
which looks fabulous. Mm. Um, you can use it if you turn it that way up. Then obviously you've got places to hang things from. So you ah. can make, if you turn this into a bangle, then obviously you can yeah, attach yeah. it almost like a charm ba well, bangle. It's, it's, it's the first time I've ever thought about channel setting cubes because that... Yeah, because it'll... If you had, yeah, um, they would just sit in there. Obviously, if they're the right now. size, yeah. um, you could just sit them in there, couldn't you? Yeah. But it's a little bit big. Yeah. But. <laughs> um, RNBN90 is your code for that one. 0800. Just need a price, Beck. It was 9 95 oh. <laughs> she said. First time oh, you've yeah, done that today. Mm. Um, right, so, um, the Rima, yes. Um, oh. The Rima tool you've seen this got for here. Ages. Do you know what, neither have I, not this one anyway, because we have one in the, like, the, the, the standard tool kit, if you like, yeah. don't we? There's like a, a um, one of those ones in there. So this one, you've got your tips. You're not going to lose them. They're inside the tool. So you just need to unscrew the end. Unscrew the end. And there's your mandrels that you've got there. So um, this generally happens. A lot of the time we hear about it with pearls, yeah. don't we? Because yeah. um, pearls may be reamed. Sometimes a lot of the dust can get trapped inside the drill holes. So we do need to um, ream them more often than not with pearls particularly but you can do that as well obviously if you want to set a, a little larger drill hole yeah, yeah. in your pearl as well absolutely. can't you absolutely absolutely so you can use it in any um well not diamond obviously yeah but anything that that that's got a lower yeah. um, hardness to it yeah yeah um you can alter the hole with you can also use it with your clays yeah um, you can, if you've got some drill bits, you can pop a drill bit. So if you want to drill ah. something, again, like your clays, to drill a hole yeah. where you don't want to use um, a, a, an electric drill because yeah. when it's dry and you want to put a hole in, it's delicate. Yeah. So using something like this, you can get that precision right. and just gently twist it with, and ah. you, can, you, can, you can make the hole in it yeah. a lot easier. Um, things like that make it very easy. It's but they are, it's a very professional tool as it's well, look, I yeah, think, it is. isn't it? It really is. It's a quality is. tool. Yeah. Um, and this one as well has got the grip on. So the one that comes in like the standard toolkit that we have here at Jewelry Maker um, doesn't have... I, I like the handle on this. I like the fact that you've got a really good grip yeah. because obviously when you're reaming your gemstones, you do need to be very, very careful, you do. don't you? You yeah. don't want to be slipping at any point. Um, and with that, you've got that firm grip on there and um, zmbn79 what i always say with tools particularly um with tools sometimes it might be that you're thinking oh i don't know i don't know you know i've already got one but is that going to be any better if you go to fifo and have a look for this particular item have a look at reviews i think that is always a great way yeah. particularly with the tools you might already have something similar but perhaps not this particular one so you're wondering whether this is going to be any better have a look at those reviews on fifo if ever you purchase anything from us here at jewelry maker you'll find that you do get that follow-up email asking you to leave a review it does only take a couple of minutes if you could that would be a huge huge help um, so do rem and remember, so you've got a 30 day money back guarantee. You have? Righty ho. Not that I've ever used it. Somebody <laughs> <laughs> um, sent something back. Yeah. Have you seen Sorry. these, Alison? <gasps> no. Oh, these are amazing. These are absolutely. Absolutely beautiful. It's the penguin shell, and I can remember the first time that I had the penguin shell, I was expecting to see something that was black and white, if you like. Um, but it comes from the penguin winged oyster, um, which is where it gets its name from. I just, I love the deeper tone that we've got yeah. with these from your, your kind of white uh, shell. I love the Don't deep me, tone. That, that to me, I'd have to leave them like that because oh. that's just so so tactile they're, they're just meant Stun. to be like that Stun, yeah, yeah. just be strands but or not. i think the way that they the way that they hang i'd have to put them in a window or in a wind chime oh, or in a mobile they'd look amazing wouldn't they yeah the iridescence it's just Brilliant. beautiful um i love I, if you have a look at this side of the shell as well i love i love this side of the shell yeah it'd be quite nice actually if you could use them in a tree of life as your moon you in could. a tree of life, Absolutely, you? So you, you could, could use either side or yeah. maybe make that a design um, whereby that, that moves. So you've almost got that real brightness of the moon oh. there, if you like. 
and then that side as well with that matte finish. I love these, Alison. They're, I find these quite ethereal. I think it's because of the moon shapes that you've got with them. They're absolutely fab. Are they drilled straight through? Yeah, straight through oh, the centre on these. So actually, earrings, maybe if you were just to use two of those, just yeah. to sit them like that, pop them onto a head pin. Yeah, I think that as an earring would be really nice. And with the movement as well, as they catch the light, you're going to get to see incredible. all of that beautiful iridescence. Uh, ZD GP20 is your code for these ones. You've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48. Wow. So again, if, you, if you're thinking about it, you've mm -hmm. got, you know, 48, yeah. 14 pairs of earrings. Gosh. At a minimum of five pound each, a minimum. How many? How much is that? Fourteen times five, please. Is sixty seventy. Seventy pound. Oh, I was going to say sixty eight. And that's at five pound each. That's Goodness ridiculous. me! Amazing. Well done. Oh, is this is what I think it is. Oh. 925 Central. sterling silver wire. I tell you what, give me a real 925 sterling silver. Give me the jiggity jiggity jig. <gasps> and um, wow. I I'd just be there making all of those components. <gasps> oh, yes. I'd feel really confident with that jig, I tell you. Excellent. Five metres of 925. Five metres. Do you know what? We had this the other day and... I really, it, I don't know if I've, I've seen it many times before, but I really don't think I had. I was really shocked that it was five metres. I've seen the three metres, yeah, yeah. but five, five in meters. sterling I know. is brilliant. And Alison, you know, from your from your point of view as a wire worker, point four, if you're rosary Lincoln, if you're doing it's any essential. weaves, yeah. you're going to get through a lot of it, so you're going to need five metres. Yeah, one metre doesn't go very far. No. So to have five metres in the sterling means means you can do things like those necklaces, you can yeah. do things like, you know, weave your earrings, you can do things like rosary linking, mm -hmm. and, and it really comes into its own. Wow. Oh, it's fab. It, and do you know what? The grammage here is huge yeah. as well. You've got six and a half grams wow. of 925 sterling silver. Also as well, I think, you know, if you've um, run out of your featherweight head pins, let's say, um, your 0 0.6, the standard head pins, generally speaking, are 0.6 yeah. millimetre gauge. If you need just that finer gauge, but you haven't got any featherweights, 0.4 is brilliant. Yeah. If you've got your 0.25, even better. Um, but there are a lot of gemstones that don't have a sizable drill hole on mm. them. So sterling silver your point four is an essential as far um, as i'm concerned absolutely absolutely 800 six triple four six Trying double five under ten nine pounds and 95 pence just nine pounds 95 pence that's amazing value for you and you know what you can multi-buy if there's a particular project that you're working on if you love your rosary linking oh, oh my god rosary limp li limping <laughs> rosary linking viking knitting anything like that you you need your point four you know um like you said doing a rosary link doing a briolette <laughs> wrap Ben's now Rosemary, Rose, Rosemary Limping. Nine pounds <laughs> <laughs> and Brilliant. 95 pence. Mary and Jerry Weldon, Margaret Valerie, Beverly Collector, Jenny Carroll's got three, Angela, Jackie, Valerie, Elaine, Joanne, loads of you there. Just make sure that you check out. Deal of the day. <gasps> Deal of the day. Oh. Oh, so I love How much was that bundle? Oh, well, you're about to find out, Alison. It's your deal of the day. I was looking at those. Huh? <laughs> Do you just love it when Ben cuts you off like that? <laughs> Mid-sentence, mid and he just presses play. Oh. <laughs> I think they're an amazing thing. Don't walk out. Go in there. Come on, Alison. Let's go. <laughs> 
Pete's coming as well. Any excuse, Pete, any excuse. Um, I think what Alison was trying to say is that she loves this bundle. I do. <laughs> She's back. Oh, look at all of these, Alison. Oh, they are so pretty. I dared speak. <laughs> he won't do it again. He's been told off now. Um, stunning. Look at those gemstones. Would go perfectly with this double drill strand. So we were Why looking at they? putting gemstones between. Would yeah. look amazing. Absolutely brilliant with with your wire, all your wire weaving. Oh wow! Stunning oh. with it. Oh. Have you got a favourite strand? If you could only pick one, Alison, from this bundle. Oh no! I know I can't do it. <laughs> mm. That one, that one, and that one. Well, it's all right because you don't have to pick one. You will get all of them. You will get all of them. I love that tiger's eye, though. Oh, my word. Do you know, I just love... You've got Peridot. You've got wow. Adventurine. You've got Tiger's Eye. You've got Garnet. You've got Lapis. You've got Rose Quartz. You've got Clear Quartz. Another strand of Adventurine. And you've got Amethyst in there as well. <gasps> and the Labradorite. And the Labradorite. Ten strands. I need that. Even just like that... As a multi-strand bracelet, how incredible does that look? It just looks so pretty. I so need that. Look at the sparkle in these. They are magnificent. Now, I've always, always said that for me, when it comes to designs, less is more. I love these delicate strands that we have, whether they be microfaceted, whether they be three mil, four mil, I just love stacker bracelets. Um, and they're so on trend at the moment. And you'll see lots of stacker bracelets by lots of big jewelry designers. Rarely do you see them with big genuine gemstone carat weights. A lot of stacker bracelets tend to be um, with cord and yeah. maybe uh, you know a simple um, sterling silver connector in the centre or a gemstone connector. You don't really see um, stacker bracelets that have significant gemstone carat weights. There's a massive, massive carat weight here. Becky, do we have a breakdown of the carat weights with these at all? Mm. Yeah. All together. <laughs> oh, you see, you're adding it up now. I thought you had the information. <clears throat> She's just adding it up. Um, so, have you got individual carrot weights? 195 carrots wow. all together. All so, that is pretty things. much an average of just under 20 carrots per strand we're looking at there. Massive, massive carrot weight. Amazonite, 15 carats. 20 carats of amethyst. Adventurine is 15 carats. 30 carats of garnet. 20 carats of your lapis. 20 carats of peridot. 20 carats of your clear quartz. 15 carats of rose quartz. Tiger's eye, 20 carats. Labradorite, 20 carats. Look at oh, that. Oh my oh. gosh. Oh, all of those. £49.95. And, and here, look at this. Look at these bracelets. Um, nice. Sue will round have put these together for us. Kumihimo? It's a, a little idea. Yeah, Kumihimo bracelets you've got. And it doesn't that just look beautiful? Mm. Multi gemstones, Kumihimo. You can just pop spaces in between them if you want to. Um, you could just simply oh, use them so as stack nice. bracelets. I mean, that is. Uh, genu generally, you can get two stackers from one 38 centimetre strand. So I've got 10 strands, it's 20 stacker bracelets of significant carat weights for £49.95. Oh, can I have a look at those, please? I of course, need you can. These. She needs them. Needs I them. Do. They're beautiful, the aren't they? quartz is just so sparkly. Well, they are the sparkly, <clears throat> but oh my gosh. They're perfect, aren't they? Oh, we've got enough for me to get someone to get off. Maybe. Oh, wow. Maybe. Um, right then, let's squeeze in a couple of more auctions if we can. Oh, Alison. Oh, look at the colour of these. Oh, wow. Wow. 
a beautiful shirt and I love these drops. How easy are these to put into your jewellery maker? Oh, jewellery making pieces. So easy. Head pins, loop, sherpa tuck. Job done. Well, oh, the, the dropper earrings. Yeah. So easy. That I think they've gone to be photographed. Ah, right. Oh, are they on the end? Oh, it's all right. It's all right, Pete. Yeah. It's all right. So, so popping them on those on your finding. <sighs> Ooh. Uh, no, it's not a, a finished finding, but one yeah. of those. You get the idea. Yeah. You could drop those down. Pair of earrings. Oh, good wow. to go. How fabulous there would they look? Have a, have a, have there we go. Have, have a, a finished one. one. <laughs> Oops, <Oopsie>. sorry. <laughs> Oh dear. There you go. You get the idea. Look at that. And they're just such a versatile yeah. shape. Great thing about shell, you don't have to care for them in the same way that you do with your pearls. You know, you can put those in your ears and then spray your hair with as much hairspray as you like. With pearls, they need to be the last thing you put on, the first thing that you take off. We need to be very, very careful. With this gemstone strand, you've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32. 16 pairs of earrings. Chanel use shell. Yeah. Chanel, Chanel. use shell. Why not? Oh, exactly. Exactly. Beautiful. You can guarantee your consistency of colour and you can mm. guarantee your size and shape. So if you're doing things, um, say bridal, where you need a consistent yeah. colour for some reason, where you need a consistent shape, perfect. Mm, yeah. Absolutely perfect. And, and the finish on these is oh, utter perfection. Yeah, it's just absolutely. utter perfection, isn't it? So if it is perfection you're after, these are definitely, definitely for you. Christmas gifts. You know, you could make 16 pairs of earrings here. They would look amazing. Use them with your 925 solid sterling silver. If you're selling them on, they've got to be 15, 20 pounds a pair, haven't they? Surely. Easily, yeah. easily. Um, so we've got some more slightly different colour for you. So I'll bring you oh, this back, nice. actually. Oh, I feel an ombre coming on. Oh, Ooh. they're so pretty toned and together. Ombre would be perfect because there's not much in it, no, is there? no. We're not much in it at all. Paler, and then we're done. Yeah. That's Look at beautiful those. together. Even just the two tones, beautiful mm, together. Perfect with your attire today perfect. as well, Alison. So I'm thinking, remember the bride, remember the bridegroom, bridesmaids yeah. perhaps yeah. as well. Make them into flowers, put them on a fascinator. Oh, so yeah, you could do them for the flower girls, maybe on a little tiara oh, or a headband, lovely. couldn't you, yeah. as well? Um, QB GP69, so it's your lavender colour we've got here. Which is that one there? There we go. Um, so same size again. You're looking at uh, 12 by 8 millimeters, 38 centimeters strand, seven pounds and 95 pence. Brilliant. Just one on a pendant. Yeah. One on a pendant with base metal. Money back. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I gosh, think yeah. So easy. Amazing, aren't they? Pair of earrings, double your money. Yeah, QB GP69 is your code. So again, if we're going with the quantity that we had before, 32, 16 pairs of earrings, pendants, just perfect. Simple jewellery making. Gosh. That's going to give you the most professional look, professional finish with these. Even at a five or a pair of earrings. Oh, I know. 16 pairs. Put them in your Christmas pounds. crackers. Christmas crackers. Stocking yeah, fillers. Absolutely. Genuine gemstone stocking fillers. Yeah. Why wouldn't you? Exactly. Amazing, amazing value you've got there. If you're just coming through, make sure you check out your baskets. If you're on the telephone lines, press your number one button. That will put you straight through to the call centre and you can confirm. Keep adding to your order. I think we can squeeze one more in. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. oh. Ring. Nice. Look at these. Very awesome. quick rings. Ooh, Perfect size. Centre drilled. Plated wire, sterling wire. Look amazing. Very easy. They are beautiful, aren't they? Um, 150 carats in total you've got there. 10 millimetres in size, 38 centimetre strand you have there. Natural Brazilian amethyst you've got here do you know i love it when you get these multi-tones yes the strands. i do really beautiful aren't they it's just absolutely gorgeous you've got a bit of everything in that strand haven't you there's about 40 no in fact there's about 50 wow rough count on there 40 to 50 gemstones on that strand 40 rings let's go with 40 40 rings quick makes alison yeah absolutely five i reckon you'd get at least an eight mil oh easy yeah. But this is this is what you look for. So so you have your hero pieces mm -hmm. for your store. Yeah. You have your expenses pieces, but you also want the little pieces 
um, children coming by in. Yeah. They're both present for their mum. Well, imagine a little wish bracelet. Just oh, one of those on a wish bracelet. Yeah. Beautiful. Pretty. Mm. Eight pounds and ninety-five pence is all you're paying this afternoon. Remember, prices go back up at eight a.m. every morning. Prices reset. Go back to the original web prices. So the only way you can secure these deals, I know which one you're looking at, Alison. The one that looks like a little purse there, doesn't that it? Because it looks like it's got <laughs> a little envelope. flap on top. Little envelope of am of oh, I'd have to use that. That's gorgeous. Um, Alison, you have been amazing I've had as fun. always. Finish my bracelet. Oh, I forgot. Sorry. Look at that. Finish the bracelet. At that. Perfect. It wasn't wow. what I was planning. You didn't have all the time in the world, Alison. No. We've been very, very busy this afternoon. So don't worry. That's amazing. Look at that. Beautiful, isn't Works it? so beautifully. Um, That's simple. When are you back? I'm back on the 12th. We've got the workshop on the 11th, if yeah. you haven't booked in. And then I'm back here on the 12th. Morning, with... mid, late. I'm on the morning. She's on the morning on else. the 12th. Uh, and I'm back on the 12th now as well, next Thursday. But do stay tuned because Jenny Cleary and Laura Binding are up mm, next. Whole e oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Wait until you see what's coming up for you this evening. Don't go anywhere. Um, whatever you do for the rest of your evening, have a great one. Have a safe one. I shall see you here next Thursday. Take care. I'm Tony Johnson. Um, I live in Essex with my husband and my little tabby cat Bert. I'm a dental nurse by day and a crazy passionate jewellery maker by night. <laughs> my first experience at a trade show was um, Christmas time, uh, I think it must be two years ago. A few people commented, oh you're working